Did you bring a sweat towel? <laughs> oh no, it's, look, it's locked up. It's just... Oh jeez. It's just you. Oh no, no, it's nobody! Nope. Oh no. That's the most unflattering shot ever. No, I've seen... I've seen unflattering shots. You're very good at taking unflattering shots of me. Oh no, look it. As we hit go, it just c crashes. Oh. Well, well at least fine. everybody can kind of hear us. Maybe? At least everybody will hear me squeaking this across here as I trace the design. two cameras back. It's working. It is working. You can talk to people a little bit. Hi, I think. Uh, yeah, they're saying it's back. I see you. Okay, I have about five more minutes of standing here doing this. So uh, Morgan says yes, we can hear you. Okay. No, maybe you can talk to some people who might interact. Oh, sorry, I was trying to find the... Uh, <laughs> Welcome to our heart open. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, if you guys hung out while we had technical difficulties, thank you so much for that. We are here to paint. I, I was trying to find it on the computer because I hadn't had it pulled up. We're painting a unicorn. Is it working? Yeah, but I have to go through and do everything that I did for the oh, last all, little bit. All the setup, setup, the pre show setup. Yes. Bear with us. Now you yes. guys can see what it looks like yeah, while you're setting up. Sorry. Like, I don't know what happened. It was all good to go, and then as soon as we hit start streaming, it just stopped. We rebooted, uninstalled, reinstalled. It wasn't working, but I don't know. It's kind of working now. You got it going. You're our hero, Dan. Sorry about that. <laughs> we couldn't do it without you. You can't actually do it without me right now. <laughs> I'm doing this. We couldn't have fixed it without you. Uh, I am trying to find the tutorial. If you guys haven't been to one of these before, if you go to stepbysteppainting.net, there are a ton of designs. Hey, you took almost taking your place. There's a ton of designs up there that you can print out. Um, what are you doing? No, no, no. This is a bad idea. You can print them out and use carbon transfer paper to transfer them onto a canvas. We are painting ours on 8x10 canvases tonight. No, oh, no, I can't see me. You can't really see it very well, but I already traced the design onto our canvases. Uh, Brittany with the My Hero Super Chat. Thank you so much for the support, Brendan. and thanks for showing Thank up and Brittany. hanging out while we uh, figured our stuff out. So the tutorials, uh, you can follow them or you can just kind of wing it, but it'll show you step by step what the person who designed the design did. I'm, I'm trying really hard here. I don't know. Maybe if I just go to Facebook and click the link. Let's do that. How's everybody doing tonight? I saw Sam said it is snowing. It is uh, 100 degrees again here tonight. There we go. I will find it. Uh, Hannah's already born with coloring. <laughs> that was quick. All right, all right, I found it. We do have cat cam set up tonight here. Well, we will again. Dan's working on it, but yes, we will have that. Uh, we got the corner all set up. Since Dan's desk is still in the dining room, that has become cat corner. That is the most useless area of our house. It's too big and narrow to put the couch over there or do anything. There's a window on that wall. So that's just kind of always been our whatever corner. Dan's desk usually goes there and then the cat tree, but tonight it is just cat corner with that. Uh, Trash cat tree is still there. It will be taken apart probably tomorrow and put in the trash because it's tired. It looks decent on stream, but aside from the, the ropey stuff that you can tell is coming off, but the whole thing is really tired. Those baskets are wearing through. Topo's gonna fall through if we let him hang out on them much longer. 
Uh, Michelle says hello from hot Colorado. Wilton says it's raining here. Oh, you guys have weather. Oh, she meant it was snowing in her TV. Gotcha. I missed that part. I was going to say. I had old school snowing. static for some weird reason before. That's fun. Did you make that happen or just did it? No, it was a feature when it was all going crazy. Nice. We are almost to the tutorial. This one is a pretty easy design and has a lot of room for customizing it how you want it. It says it takes two hours, but you guys have been here before. This is never done in two hours. I'm scrolling down. Oh man, I don't know what else I had on here. I guess that's what we're going for. Yeah. It looks good to me. Well, Dale said, okay, well, now that we're back, let's try this again. <laughs> let's I, do it. I agree. Oh my gosh. I don't like how there's two of you two close like that. Yeah, why, why are you doing that? That's weird. Yeah, I'll just... The top and the bottom of me? This is just for the cat cam when I have the cat cam on. Well, oh, sorry. you're still just setting up screens? Yeah. That's it, I give up. I, I gotta walk away. <laughs> okay, so this is the big paint one, which I could probably make it bigger. Are you able to slide that monitor up a little bit? Because the camera's right in front of it. Two hours, if not talking, and no breaks. Bigger <sighs> it's never gonna happen. Oh, that would be great. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, Scott, yes, I agree with you. Uh, it's, it's hard to even remember what rain is. We did have it like two separate weeks in maybe March. We got a couple of days of rain. Um, I don't like being wet. I like the rain. I don't like going out in it and getting my feet wet. And I come in the house and my shoes are all wet. Not that I wear shoes in the house, but you know, I got to take them off right at the door. And, oh, I just don't like being wet. You're making everybody dizzy. Uh, moving things around. Yeah, sorry. It's all very technical, man. It looks complicated. I never pay attention for any of this. Uh, Brittany says in Washington, I don't remember when not rain. Aww. I would like it to just be overcast and not like it's gonna rain feeling. Not the humidity, but just like that, that gray feeling. Obviously there has to be humidity, but that's not the part I'm going for. Almost time for you to compete with us, Dan? Yeah. Okay. Are you frustrated? You got this? Me? Oh, no, not at all. No, I'm not frustrated. I'm not frustrated because this is what happens all the time. So no, there's nothing We're to shake off. Used to it. I just, I just fixed it. I don't know what happened. I mean, I do know what happened. Electronics go crazy sometimes. And I gotta stop messing with it because I'm trying to be a stream perfectionist. <laughs> Okay, so, hi everybody, it's me, it's me, <laughs> You're here. it's Dan, uh, so I'm ready to paint unicorns, I'm concerned uh, about the blending of the colors, but that's what we're here for, but Sam says, I have a cold, well, that's, Ooh. that sucks, I sent you a Pokemon present, I hope that makes you feel better, <laughs> it should, uh, okay, so, okay. the background on the sample painting is a light blue, are you going to do light blue, or are you going to do something different, actually, I have... I have light blue, I have aqua green. Do you have a picture of the painting? I do, it's... You can try it here. Yeah, I think the light blue is probably pretty good. Show... I don't know how that shows. You can try to show it in here, it would look like I can switch the names. Oh wait, that's the cat cam. There, I got them in the right order now. So you can kind of... You can kind of show... Okay, yeah, I think I'm going to do... I think I'm going to do a blue because... That's what we yeah, are going to be painting. Because it complements like the colors that are on there. On there. I forgot I can stand this up. Uh, oh, or just close everything. <laughs> Brittany says, yeah, it's Dan. Laura says, hey, Dan and Crystal, hello. Nathan says, what's up, Orifice Dan? Dale says, hey, Dan and Crystal, hello. And Hannah says, I think I'm going to work on my therapy workbook. You could just draw on it. You're like drawing it. Like, that helps, right? 
Uh, yeah, because it, it counts as art as well, so you get double credit. Yes, I'm painting the background, the light blue. Yeah, I think so I will do that too, Wilton. So Ooh, I'm excited she, to see what Wilton's is going to look like. She starts up, right? She's really good. If you guys have not seen her work, um, if you guys are, are painting with us tonight or working on any other sort of artsy, craftsy sort of thing, when it up, make sure you post a picture yes, in the Artist definitely. Family group. I would definitely. love to see it. Um, she sure starts with the blue and then does the white, but because we're not going to really stop too much in between, I'm going to do my white first that's not going to screw up the blue as much as the blue will screw up the white. Is it, okay, so I should do that as well. I would recommend I'm try. I'm going to try to go with like kind of what, you, what you're doing right now. Um, we do have cat cam for in a little bit. We'll go over there and we'll cat cam it up. Uh, I still am using my paint brushes that Brittany got me. Thank you so much. Oh, I forgot I got to chew off the other ones. Fancy pants. Mm -hmm. Yep, and I have a stabber. Ooh. That's for cake. <laughs> Tiny slices of cake. That's what I'm saying. You've got some little paintings you've got to get done tonight as well, right? Uh, yeah, I do. That'll be good. That'll be good. Man. Okay, so I need a brush. So this one's pretty easy, but she does go in with a little bit of a light blue, I think. In the white? For the, the shading. Can you see that? Mm, yeah, I do see that. I'm going to work on a picture in the Gone of the Snow Dog coloring book. Nice. Where's Sarah? Sarah's here. Are you working on the... I mean, Sarah's going to work on whatever, a thousand dot to dots. <laughs> uh, have you been working on your Mario Kart skills? Yeah, when's Mario Kart? Is that next week? Brittany, I don't know. Brittany, when's our Mario I'm not Kart? Sure. I'm not sure when Mario Kart night news. Uh, Helen with the Super Chat, thank you so much. With the Happy E! News, it says, how's it going? Hi, Helen. It is going well. Hey, Helen. Do you do you all watch F one in your family? I'm going to the trap, which is a poke stop. Nice. Where's, where's Marco? Marco, it's a poke stop. KK says hi, Dan. Hello, KK. It's on the twenty second. Do I get my own? Well, I have to have my own white. You can use mine. I have more than enough. Okay, I'll use some of your white. We went out shopping today to get the, to the Goodwill, but we didn't find anything good there. No, it was kind of. It less. was just Will. There was a, a couple few books I was interested in, but they were a little pricey. Is everything getting painted white? No, just what? just the unicorn's head. Yeah, that's just this face. line here, right? Yeah. What's well, you went out? To that's this the line. hair. So you want the hair also? No, I. Well, you did went over the hair. Look, you went over your line. Oh, that's. Let's, okay. let's go up to that line. I right. covered the line. How can we start it at the bottom? I didn't. I started right in the middle. I just made my way to the bottom. Don't worry, Dan. There's no wrong way to do it. Is it like making your way downtown? <laughs> sort of. Uh, do you get your art supplies at Michael's? I do. It's so weird. We just got done painting for the last three Sundays, <laughs> and now we're painting again. Yes. And at some point we have to go back, because I noticed that the outside of the patio is not painted like that top. The, the inside and the underneath is painted, but not the outside. It's fine, because I need to reshoot some of those oh, oh, review videos. Damn. This I is why spilled, we have a table I, Look, I already spilled paint on me, everybody. Uh, what's up, Morgan? I wish I was painting, really. Wanted to make the unicorn look a look like a dark fairy Viking horse. Oh, you know I bet I mean? your version would be amazing. Yeah, you she always does, like, spooky Halloween versions of everything. You should paint this at some point when you have, you know, not two small children running around. I have, like, the worst songs stuck in my head lately. What song? Like, uh, I, one in particular, or just all the songs that have been in your head are terrible? All the songs lately that have been in my head are terrible. Give me some examples. Uh, earlier, it was... What was it at the store earlier? It was really bad. And then it was Nelson, I Can't Live Without Your Love. I can't live without your love in a bitch. I didn't even like that song from back in the day. I would wait for it to hurry up and end so something else good would come on in the 90s. I don't even think I know that song. You would if you saw it. It was not... Our jam. Um, anytime I have bad songs in my head, it's usually because you've walked around the house singing it. What's the worst of the bad songs that I sing? Um, you do Live in La Vida Loca. Um, and not that Live in La Vida Loca is the worst song. It's the worst one to be stuck in your head because I think you only know one line. Uh, it's just the best part of the song. Like, And then it's just stuck in my head. It's just the best. And then the rest of the song doesn't matter. Uh, what's the other one? Du, 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 du. That one. 
Yep. But I don't even know if you know any words to that song. You just no. Like, make the the notes. I don't listen to lyrics. I just like the beats and the things. But I don't know why everything's stuck in my head like that. It's not like I celebrate Nelson. <laughs> don't you know? No. No, I don't. Uh, Sarah, we don't though. Hi, Sarah. Remember for twenty five months, super oh chat. My Thank gosh. you so much, friend. We've been doing this Says forever. yes, Dan. I've been practicing my Mario Yay. Kart. I played some last night and more this morning. I've mostly been doing one hundred CC. Good deal. Mm -hmm. Good job. I'm excited to do it again. Laura says, I need shading lessons from you. I will try to show you what I'm doing here. If you guys check out that step-by-step -step painting, it, it's step-by-step. -step, so she shows you, let me see. Like, you can see here, she's showing you like where the shading needs to be. Um, one of the big things is less paint. Always, always less paint. Don't go in there with a full paintbrush get most of it off on your palette first and then take it to the canvas because you can always add more. But if you do too thick of a line, then it's no longer shading or highlighting. It's just paint. Coloring. Yeah, you, you've now just changed the color. How's it going? I am doing swell. You probably want to try to get your thicker blobs out. Just flatten it out because it'll dry like that. Righto. Uh, by the way, is your roof leaking? I saw your ad for somebody to fix your you roof. Better go, you better go get it. Oh, uh, it's not leaking. It's just um, it's we have sad. the swamp cooler, and I don't think this one leaks, but the last one leaked a lot. I think this one was leaking for a while, and you fixed it. But just over the years. It's old. It's it's starting to sag a little bit. Yeah, the whole, like it just needs a new roof. The roof is on fire. Which is kind of funny because we live in a place where um, we don't really have a lot of you know rain and moisture. The but roof is really tired. Our roof has water damage. Um, and sun too. Yes. So it's new roof, new swamp cooler. Bottom. Don't forget to go around the bottom of your canvas, or don't, because usually you don't do that. But... I usually don't. It's weird. That's like so much more painting. <laughs> it's really not. <laughs> oh, mouse is back. Hi, She's just saying it's working. It is. I had technical difficulties, and I combated them. I won. I won. What a time to have it do that. I <laughs> know, right? It's crazy. There's an unbelievable amount of streams that have, don't have issues until, like, we hit start. You know, the, whether the TV's blowing out. Well, oh, that was the worst. <laughs> there's just no, there's no fixing that. Yeah, it's cost a lot of money lately. <laughs> the TV blows out, right? But it all always happens, like, at the stream. Like, almost unbelievable. Like, that can't happen again. Like, there was no reason for this. Like, I've been setting up for, like, I've been setting up for the stream for, like, what, the last, like, two hours? Yeah. Like the last two hours I've been setting up and everything looked fine. The cat cam was fine. Everything was fine. And then... Oh, no, sorry. I didn't scroll back down on the uh, everything chat. Everything's not on. You never do. You never, ever do. Um, I'll with a super, super so chat. Thank you so much, friend. It says, just a twofer for you guys. I got some 80s jams on the radio while I'm arting. Working on some Thanks. Irish terrier art for reasons. Ooh. If I get anything done, I'll post it. Yes, please do. Yes, please do. do. Thank you for the super chat. Happy Saturday, everybody, and you, Mouse Queen. Uh, Morgan has that Rasputin song in her head. I don't know what that is. Ra, ra, Rasputin, lover of the Russian queen. I don't I, know what that, that is. That I don't know. Uh, Mel says, okay, more of a ten for. We appreciate it. Thank, Thank you, you, Mouse Queen. Is it like by Kanye? <laughs> what? I don't know who sings that song. And Wilton says, hey, I like Nelson in ninth grade. LOL. Gunner and Matt were cute. <laughs> they were all blonde. They were all blonde. And it was like Willie's Nelson's grandsons or something like that. No. And they were called the hair. And they were called Nelson. No, and I don't had, think they were. They had long hair. Was that the two twins? Yeah. My mom liked them. I mean, it was like really popular, especially it was really popular for the people that like uh, one's bitten twice shy and like those things. So yes, your mom loved it for sure. 
Yeah, but ni- uh, Nelson was still like 1990 hairband or so. We still didn't scroll down. I know, because I was reading more things, and I... You do it. Bam. I can't paint and run things. I gotta keep up with you, because you always paint so fast. Try to slow it down. You can take it. Um, t- you can take it through the middle here if you don't want to reach over. It's okay. I have slack. Just I have lots of slack today. Walk over all the pieces. <laughs> right. Hey Dan. Yeah. Just he wrote a song about a sandwich. Oh shoot. Well, well it's more of a rap, really. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hi, <laughs> hey, Jess T. Nancy always gets TV commercials stuck in her head. Me too. Me too. I I want to Nan- with Nancy. Uh, I want to do slogan night. I want to do slogan nights that. I give the jingles and you tell me what it's from. I think that would be great. Yeah, you always talk about yes. that. Um, Christine does not understand how a swamp cooler works. So it, it, it's it got like a water input, like the water line is connected to it. And there's a pump and it pulls water in and it, it has a tray at the bottom that fills with water. And it, does it spray or drip down onto? I've never been on the um, roof. Yeah. I don't actually know so how it looks. It's like a it's like a box, and there's big sponges, and water goes down the sponges, and inside there's a big fan that blows air into the house, and it sucks the air through the sponges, making cooler air, and then it blows that on us. So it's you, kind of you know, like when you go to the air. fair and you get the spritzy bottle with the fan on it. It's it's kind of like that. Yes, yeah, but without the water. That's the technology. Uh, yeah. Um, where am I missing? I was trying to figure out right now if we have to go in there. Let me go to the top. I feel like all of it should have white for the color to stand out. This ends up all hair. Um, so did you get both of the ears? No. no. This all of the other ear or just the outside of the ear? All of it. Okay. And then we'll go in with some blue. A BRM bug. What's up, BRM bug? The super, super chat. Thank Hi, you so BRM much. Hi, BRM bug. Happy Saturday, dude. Uh, happy, tree- happy little trees night. Let's get oh, paint. <laughs> I love it. It is. I don't, I want it like closer. I think I'm gonna, well, you know what it is? It's because we're doing white. When we start doing the colors, if it looks like it's still too far away, I'll zoom in better. Okay. But I think we're okay. Uh, Morgan says double check your insurance and see if you have a wind policy and then track when the last windstorm was. We had our roof completely replaced and covered by insurance. Here's the thing, Morgan. We've made two pretty large claims in the last two years, and I think they might just drop us. They don't want, they, uh, they, they don't want us to do any more claims. Yeah, apparently, they're, they're done with us. Apparently, they're done with us. <laughs> I mean, like, they paid them both out, no problem, but they were both pretty significant claims, so I don't know if we should push it with them. It's hard to get a mobile home insured. Like, you have to go to certain companies that will insure them. I'm asking with another super super chat. Playing. Thank you. Was watching some reruns of Live Live with You Know Who. <laughs> like Live with Live. Oh, good. Are you back to Are you back on the Regis kick? Okay, sorry. Uh, she says the canine version that she's drawn of Regis is an Irish terrier, so that motif is is rich in her brain. LOL. Man, that nostalgia hits hard. I'm glad you're back at it. It makes me feel better. Does it? It makes things feel normal to me. It's fair. I get it. And once again, thank you so much, Mouse Queen. Okay, so I did that. I feel like it all should have white on it for the colors to pop, but I'm not sure if that's right or not. Um, white is not what you use as an underbase, actually. Remember, okay. you use the the titanium, oh, the unbleached right. titanium, which we can do that if you want. Um, that's okay. We'll see how it comes out. That will definitely make the colors pop more, especially uh, like oranges and stuff. Those are not gonna show up. Well. Those definitely need an underbase, which we learned and done before. Also, there's some air blown around here, so we gotta hurry because the paint's kind of fast. Okay, that works. That worked well. That white went on there for, for me. I gotta grab all my stuff. I, the stream, like, sucked up the last 30 seconds I had. What is all your stuff? Like, oh, my, my drink's over there. Uh, Hi, it, hello, it everybody. Be. I'm sorry. That threw me all off. <laughs> I mean, it did throw me all off. Like, I knew what to do, but I was like, don't leave, everybody. Don't leave. But y'all have been through this before. Uh, Jody says, hope you Hi, don't Jody. mind me just resting while I watch. You're not here to entertain us. We're here to entertain you. You do whatever uh, makes you feel do good. Do I need to speak in this voice? I can go turn up the bass if you want it to be soothing. Alexa says, hi, friends. How are you doing today? I am great now that we got this all set up. Alexa, take a 10-minute break. 
<laughs> Your name is not Alexis. Oh my god. We're gonna have to go have a talk. We're doing great. It's a great day. I don't think there's any cats. We can get the cats going here in a second. I don't think there's any they cats. They ate before we started, so they're all resting. For a little bit, sure. okay. Do you want to do the titanium under the hair and... Uh, Will it make the colors pop better? Absolutely. Then yeah. I mean, we have time, right? Yeah. He's so spoiled. Oh my god. Hey Dan. Yeah. Where did Phil Collins record all his songs? Uh in the air of the night? Ooh, that was good. No. <laughs> in the Stu Stu Studio. Stu Stu Studio. <laughs> uh KB Arts says, Hi, I'm good to see you guys. What you painting tonight? Let me see if I can That's more of a fun fact though, because not he did. screw this up. Disabled the keyboard when you put it in this mode, but I guess not. It does disable the keyboard when you put it in that mode. Do you need a keyboard? No, I need it. I don't know what's happening anymore, Dan. Uh, I don't know. You might... it, it's cropped oddly, but this is what we're painting. It is a unicorn with rainbow mane and shiny. Oh, oh, oh. now it's my head. A unicorn. This is the studio. studio. Thanks. Ooh, Jody sat in the sun for my friend's graduation today. Oh, that's the worst. Why are graduations always just in the hot sun or wind? Or just, it's always miserable. Mel says, going back and watching that stuff coupled with really old commercials is really nostalgic for me. It takes me back to a time when life was different. Absolutely. And kind of simpler. I agree. Dan loves to put on old commercials. Like on YouTube, they just have videos of all the old commercials. Dan loves that stuff. Throws music book at Dan. Stop singing! Uh, 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 nope. Dan, Ma Mouse, Dan, Queen, Dan, Mouse Queen Dan, just Dan. threw a music book at you and requested uh, that you stop uh, singing. Phil Collins is the jam. I like him. I hate Phil Collins. I don't know why. I just cannot stand his music. I'm sure he's a great person. I don't know anything about him personally. His music is not entertaining to me. So the problem with doing this, though, is it's going to cover up our lines for the hair, but I don't think that's too big of a deal. Oh, no! Wow! Cause music's gonna be loud. You're gonna feel it. No, but it's not music. You're just yelling in my ear. I couldn't find any of the cats. The cats will come out in a little bit. I'll get them to come out. Okay. So there is the unbleached titanium. If you guys don't know, the unbleached titanium is the like cream-colored one, and this works really well as a base for lighter colors and to make your colors really pop. So I'll always put it under yellow or orange. And it gives you a base that you're not going to get from white or from just coat upon coat of the lighter colors. What are you doing? I was kind of getting it a little bit more on yours for right now so we can see. Jody says a part of her... Sorry about my arm. ...wants to so throw snowballs at you. Uh, you know it's warm, so I would gladly take snowballs. Yeah, that wouldn't be a punishment at this point. I mean, no. Morgan wants to know what's red and smells like blue paint. Uh, what is this? Red paint. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my gosh. Sam likes your hair clip. What'd you put in your hair? One of my butterflies. <laughs> yeah, I was just trying to keep the hair out of me. Uh, Lily says, while you're painting your unicorn, I'm going through my old art file and watercoloring my old art I forgot about from old art class or old art projects. That's awesome. Awesome. You know how many unfinished projects I have? All of them. So many that um, one time, you guys probably saw Dan's story where he uh, he took a picture of me. I had gotten some like peel and stick tiles. I ended up returning them because they weren't what I wanted. But I got peel and stick tiles to put on the fireplace. And I was down there kind of lining them up, taping them up, seeing if that's what I wanted to do. And Dan put, took a picture of me. And he posted it. And Blake saw it and screenshotted it. Like three days later, he screenshotted it, texted it to me, and was like, Really? Like you don't have enough projects you're in the middle of? Did you really? <laughs> he did. Where do you get all that sass from? That's me. weird. Me. That, I, I taught him that. It's not from Dan. No, that's definitely from me. That whole uh, nature versus nurture really shows. 
Uh, well, who wants to know if you've ever seen the Colin Blow commercial <laughs> from the 80s? Yes, it's Colin Blow. Yeah, I think that was a Phil Hartman sketch. Oh my gosh. 50% off full menu item prices at Domino's. You literally have pizza in the refrigerator right now. It's just popped up on my screen. I was going to like pull the chat up on here so I could look at it without looking up. Oh, it worked. Oh my gosh. That's handy. How is Blake doing? Blake is doing well. He'll be back on Monday. That's tomorrow. Monday, Monday. No, it's not. Uh, uh. That means I only have two days left of this. Tomorrow's, tomorrow's not Monday. That means I only have two days left of this PlayStation Five. He left here. I've been I've been playing his PlayStation Five here and there since he's been gone. Since he's been gone. Is, is this part um the sky behind it, the blue behind it? I, I don't know which. Uh... She added like more curls on here. So you do you, Dan, however you want it to look. Uh, Mouse Queen with a super, super chat. Dan, I swear to G, I will get you at the next antics. I'll string you up by that sequin tie. What? I'm joking, really. But please, spare us your less than golden pipes. Hey, <laughs> um, Mouse Queen? You know what? I'm going to sing this next part then. No, you paid money to shut me up. All right. <laughs> um, it is a new... Super chats to shut Dan up. <laughs> it is a new uh, sequin tie, because my old one was tired. Thank you so much for the super chat, but uh, the old one was tired. The new one, however, is nice and tight and sh sparklier. A cyber husky with her member done. super chat member for 14 months. What's Thank up, you friend? so much. Says, I'm considering doing a craft booth next month. It will be work to get ready, but I can use the extra money. Gilly's meds are getting expensive. Yeah, um, I did. We were talking about that. You wanted something and asked me where it was. And, uh, and then you just didn't do it? No, I told you it was in my my bucket of things from when I used to do craft uh, shows. Yes, I was looking for a coupon. That's what holder. it was. Crystal made coupon holders. Crystal, you still have coupon holders, huh? I do. They're in my bin of things I used to sell at craft shows. Who needs a coupon holder? I was looking for a coupon holder because I saw the coupons and things are expensive, and I was like, I'm a coupon since I go to the store and get the stuff. I'm gonna start couponing again. Crystal coupons. We went through a couple of years of like hardcore coupon in. Yeah, we got lots of stuff. Um, we never have to buy dental floss again in our lives. No. Ever. I think I decided that if there was a fire, I think I, is that what I said? If there was a fire we had to escape, we would be able to take all the dental floss and tie it together and escape down the like, Empire State Building. Yeah, there's a lot of dental floss in this house. They're good for booby traps. <laughs> Yes, there's that. My, I feel my painting feels confident today. Yeah? yeah, this is a really simple design. Like yeah, it's I gonna be like, hard to I screw feel, it up. I, I feel I feel good. Oh no, my my chat went off my full screen. My chat went off my screen. My cat cannot. Dan, are you okay? It's Saturday or Saturday. I am okay. I'm great. Uh, Christine says I used to do craft fairs and got millions of compliments on my crafts, but never sold anything. Yeah, I sold a handful of things. Um, one time, uh, I did it for free, so the few things that we sold, like, paid for our gas to get there because we drove to Arizona for it. Um, one time I broke even on the fees for my table. And that's it. That's why my craft fair items are sitting in a bin in a closet. I made, like, all kinds of barrettes and tooth fairy pillows oh that's what i should do i should we should dig that out to get you your coupon holder and then i should take a tooth fairy pillow to bradley when i go out there because he's going that's to... what we need to do what we need to get the tooth fairy pillows out we'll start punching each other's teeth out instant profit if you guys would like us five bucks i will sell you a tooth fairy pillow and you could get like depending on how many teeth you have you could like make so much money on it on just a five dollar investment right you pay five bucks, we send you the pillow, you pull your teeth out, boom. You put it under the pillow, you're welcome. Forget NFTs. <laughs> it's NFT. Right under your pillows. NFT. Dan. Right under your pillows. Dan. Since I've been gone. Can you read that super chat, please? I got the greatest ideas. Uh, 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 uh. Mouse Queen, the super, super chat. Oh my gosh. Thank you, Mouse Queen. Happy uh, Saturday again. I should look up on eBay if there's any exclusive Reach brand ties and send you one. What would that be? Did he have his own brand of ties? Not kidding. When Millionaire was uh, huge for a short time, he had a shirt line matching on his 
uh, matching his on-screen monochromatic look. Is That's it, brilliant marketing. If it said, and thank you so much uh, for the support, Mouse Queen. Oh, um, your break timer is done. Your break timer is done. Hey, Alexa, <laughs> Alexa, stop. She was thank supposed you so much. to take a break. Um, if it said Reej on it, it was like unique. That would be cool. But like, I don't be wearing ties. That's I wear that funny thing. But like, I don't you wear don't ties. Know how to tie a tie. I don't know how to tie a tie. And like, even when I worked at NASA, I did not wear any ties there. To the people's chagrin, whatever that means. You used it correctly. My favorite. Yeah, I, there's been a lot of new people since I told this one. Get us a little bit. I don't know, maybe. I hear <laughs> I hear the Elote person out there. Uh, when, I was, when I was working at NASA, we had like, it, it, it's just like the office, and it's just like office space. And so I'm sitting in there with the cubicles. Just imagine like the setting of the office. It was a little bit more narrow than that. And I'm in my cubicle working, and we had safety stuff coming up. They were pushing lots of safeties, lots and lots of safety, the safety stuff, right? So they're pushing the safety stuff, and I ended up changing the background of my computer to like the safety like logo thing of like, oh, we're safe here at NASA. And the boss comes, the boss's boss comes down, right? He comes down, and he already doesn't like me. He thinks I'm a wise guy. He says my pants are too baggy. I look too young. He wants me to grow a mustache. <laughs> and I'm like... I don't think places of employment can require that, they but go can't, ahead. They can't. They just wanted to try to get us to look older, right? So, so then... So then, he comes down into our offices, and he's walking around. He's talking about the safety thing. And he looks over at my computer and he sees that it's on there, a big, you know, big background thing. And he's like, are you patronizing me? And this is for everybody. There's like 10 of us there. And just with the quickness, I was like, I don't know what that is. Because I don't, <laughs> I didn't know what that was at the time. And everybody lost it and started laughing. And he didn't really find it funny. And they're all laughing. Made, made him like mad. Yeah. And he left. And yeah, um, he thought that I was uh, like lying about that. <laughs> And I'm like, no. He didn't know you well, did he? He did not know me well. He, he did not know. He did not. And everybody who was laughing knew you well enough to know that you were not kidding. Uh, by that point, they probably knew. They probably knew. I didn't. I honestly didn't know what that meant. I didn't. I thought like I was. That was good. Like I thought he liked the fact that I did that, even though I probably. I can't remember, but in my mind, I think I was just screwing with everybody and doing it just because they were making such a big deal about it and wasting so much time, uh, like uh, making everybody aware of it. And I thought maybe it was a good thing, like he was stoked about it. So that's why I had to ask what it meant. I wasn't being disrespectful when he said that. I just didn't know what it meant, you know? Uh, the Gaming Hand with Super Chat, thank you so much with the hundo percent. Happy Saturday or Sunday. Where, did, where are you from, the Gaming Hand? I feel like you're. Uh, we said you're not from the States, right? Nobody calls it the States here, by no. the way. Uh, thank interested. you so much for the super chat. No, the L's are being pounds, so that's from from Brit. He from Brit. Remember my Britain accent. Your one accent you use for everybody. Anytime you ever do an accent. Are you friends with the Queen? I imagine everybody is there. Um, I couldn't imagine Dan in a cubicle. I can't picture a cubicle in a work situation or otherwise. I was uh, I was quite the computer person back in the day, back in my time, you know. But I mean, I guess like. When I worked there, the space shuttle exploded, so I don't know what that says. How good were you at your job? How good was What I? exactly was your job? <laughs> I know, right? Oh, I have a hair. Oh. I have a hair on my canvas and I can't get it off. No? Uh -oh, it's in the paint. It just lives there. No. Why not? It's okay. It's okay to live for it to live there. Dan. What? You know it's not okay for me. What if it becomes a famous painting uh -huh. one day? I got it. It's probably your hair. Uh, Jody with the super chat, thank you so much. Hi, Jody. Hey, Ann, yeah. what sports do cats play? What sports do cats play? Uh, puss and boots ball. That's my answer. Hairball. Hairball. Oh my god. Rizzo plays that. Rizzo goes, <laughs> and then it shoots out like a rocket. And she makes sad little squeaky <laughs> noises. And it lands on the ground, and I go hobbling over there. 
Does the cats own me? And I pick it up. Thank you so much for the super chat. I did not get it. Morgan said, you were pretty cool back in the day. Now I'm old. But she didn't say that part. <laughs> now I'm old. You're still pretty cool in my book, Dan. I don't know, Morgan. I think your dad was doing cooler things than I was. Mine just came with a more prestigious price tag, or like a name to it. Where, what else part? What else parts? Whatever part where you're going to do the hair. So like down into here. Thanks. Um, Probably the horn as well. Uh-huh. Because I don't know what color you're going to do that. I have like a gold here. I also uh, have this one that's supposed to be iridescent, but isn't really. Right. We gave me a hand says, negative on that. I know. Um, I care for my disabled mom 24. So you do it. And good job on that. Um, I've got a boogie in my finger and I can't get it off. Uh, just, dude, just like find the nearest ledge and get it off of there. You know? Dan, yeah, prestigious. Are get you it, sure? It, 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 I am. I am. I know you look. Sam says, I think you're awesome, Dan, in all caps, in the same breath. No way, Sam complimented you? Uh, yeah, somebody else must be typing <laughs> on, Sam's account, on Sam's account. We are Pokemon friends now. Oh, are you? Yeah. The, the uh, real life friends is still up for debate, because she's got your number. And an extra set of my stickers. <laughs> you know, I had to deduct that in my taxes, right? Like, <laughs> like... The reshipment? Yeah. This uh, paint water now looks like glass of milk. I like it when it's blue. It looks refreshing. It's not, I assure you. Please do not drink the paint water. I like sharing a paint palette with you. For do now. You? Well, right now. Why? We haven't had to fight over the dipping meat situations yet. We dip well, though, like when we eat salsa and chips. We rarely, we you rarely always crash things. your hand into mine, and usually it looks like it's on purpose. Usually what happens is there's a breakage. There's some sort oh, of... Oh, you always leave broken chips in the dip. It's, they need to be rescued. And But you won't rescue them yourself. You're always trying well, to get no, me to do it. because it was me the one that caused the accident in the first place, so i got to step aside. I have to be towed out. My chip has to be towed out of the salsa, or whatever or whatever we're having, you know? It has to be, like, like taken taken from there. You know? It's your job. You broke it. You have to take it out. Are you sure? I'm positive. Did you hear about the passenger who had to be escorted off the airplane? She left... She left... She let the cat out of the bag. I don't get it. Jody, what did I... I don't get it. Oh, no. But I can't go to bed not understanding that one. A mouse me with the super chat. Hello. Uh, sharpens nerdy blade of knowledge. That should be a real item in a game now, Queen. <laughs> it should. Sam says, if I type in caps, it seems to get red. Well, stop typing in caps. Your name's green. It, uh, it shows up, right? I know. What's up, Penelope? Happy Saturday. Uh, Mouse Queen, again, the super chat. Thank you so much. Are you guys left-handed or right-handed? I am right-handed with everything. Um... I can't really do much with my left hand, but it's not totally useless. I am right-handed except when I hold a bat or a golf club. It feels better left-handed. I, I physically can't, like, I don't have the range of movement here to, like, do it. It goes this way. It looks like you're dancing. <laughs> That's a really bad um, dance. I think I'm just right normal right-handed. Normal right Mouse Queen says I'm a hardcore lefty. Oh, the, she was shot at the Leftorium. <laughs> Remember the Leftorium? Mouse Queen, what is the worst inconvenience for you in being left-handed? Because I know there are a lot of left-handed products now. You can get stuff that's more comfortable for left-handed people. But on a day-to-day -day basis, what is the biggest inconvenience in your life? I would think it would be dating apps, since it would be harder to... Can you go to left-hand mode, the dating apps, so you can swipe the right way? You think that makes a difference? I don't know. How do you... Do you, have, you have to full... You don't just tap? I guess maybe tapping. I don't know. Here come all the lefties, like the vegans. They're coming to tell us they're left-handed. You asked about it. She asked about it. 
Damn, look at you attack all the left-handed. You know we have to stay neutral so that way the left-handed and the right-handed people <laughs> both like our stuff. I just think it's funny that, like, as soon as the topic of left-handedness comes out, all the left-handed people are like, I'm left-handed, I'm left-handed, I'm left-handed! That, that seems natural In to me. It came up naturally. Okay. Are you secretly left-handed? Liz, are you offended? Um, what is that tan color you use again, Crystal? And why, Christine Wilson? This is, um, let me make sure I get the name right unbleached titanium and we're using it as a base because if you were to just put certain colors right on the canvas it's not going to be very solid um yellows oranges a lot of these i, I usually use the the liquitex basics brand but artist loft is a comparable brand and a lot of their paints are not very opaque but if you put this down underneath, it'll give you a good solid base. So you only need one or two coats of the colors that are not as opaque. Yeah, hopefully it looks more popping. Because it's going to kind of sit on top of this. A lot of people, um, the fancy people, I'm going to get this wrong. They like uh, tarnish their their canvases. They like It's not tarnishing it's it. It's called it's something. Gesso? Is that what I it is? I think is what it's and called. And they're like dry brushing whites on yes, there and I, they're like I talked to Jean about that cuz Jean is a former art teacher, retired uh -huh. art teacher, and I asked her, "Should I be doing that on my canvases?" And she's like, "No, when you get them at the Michaels, right, at the Michaels. it's fine, just paint on them." If you're like stretching your own canvas, then you would want to do that. You like work it out and then it, the and then you paint over it. Yes. Not that I I'm kind of changing the shape of the horn here a little bit because the tracing went a little weird. And I didn't really like it. Oh, Mouse Queen's got a super chat for you, Dan. Okay, hold on, I'm coming. And thank you so much for the super chat. Uh, Mouse Queen, thank you. Uh, Dano, don't look at me. I already got your number and I'm coming for you. Yes, it may have felt like 20 years since my last win. But I'm ripe for a comeback. Oh my gosh. Did you make that up yourself? You, uh... Like, that. those are like good lines. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I suppose next Saturday is Dantics. Brittany? Brittany? Everybody? Brittany? We, have, we have something else going on, too. Is that on the Saturday? That's the two show? Saturdays, yes. So, Mouse Queen, I think you'll be able to sink your claws into me next Saturday next Saturday. Yeah, because next weekend is Father's Day weekend. We were doing regular dantics on Father's Day weekend. So far, so good. I'm... We should have done background before horn, because it's going to be hard to get in around these horn bits. So far, so good. I'm happy. Are you? Yeah. I can't promise what's going to happen in a little bit, but right now I'm off to a good start. What's going on? You Like, every day you drink out of this, like, 40-pound water it bottle. It keeps is, my water ice going? cold all day long. The ice lasts a really long time, so I always... I can't drink water if it's not ice cold. It's not happening, so it's just amazingly ice cold. Is that it right here? Is this it? That's the last little one. Yeah, I mean, they should kind of touch. See, I kind of changed mine up a little bit. Now I have the Happy Day song stuck in my head. <laughs> Why? I don't know, because I'm random. Uh, uh, uh. Um, Mel says, if I'm not busy with my pops, you better believe I'll be there. Thank you so much for the super chat. Bring I your, look forward to you yeah. uh, joining us again on bring your pops. It's bring, your, bring your pops. I have a hanging bit of skin here from where Ew. the cat got me. Ew. But it's like too much to just scrape off. You got me good. No cats? No, no cats. Have I done all the correct things? Uh, the... Yes. Yeah. Okay. Oh, there's a... The Gaming Ham says, you can call me Gordo. My friends do. Is that your name or is that... Because that's Spanish for fat. Is that... <laughs> why they call you that? Or is it your name? And I'll never remember it. But I'll try. 
Uh, uh, Harvey Comer, aka Harv, 1991. Hello, friends. Thank you for popping in. Says, "Hey, Crystal and Dan. Hope you're doing. Hope your weekend is going well. It is. It is. Uh -huh. You actually set up the air conditioner right in front of us, and the swamp cooler is behind us. So we're just in this vortex of cooler air, and I'm quite comfortable. I am too. This was a good idea. Sorry, it's loud for everybody. I know it's like not happening. Yeah, there's probably lots of background noise, yeah. but." Yeah, I'm hoping yeah, after we're the, not melting. I hope after the new roof and new swamp cooler that maybe we won't have to pump as hard to get such cool air. Yes. And thank you so much for the super chat. Oh. I am having a I am having a great day. I need to let this bit I should have started at this end with oh. the, the titanium. I need to let this dry a little bit, but I can start like here and here with the background. I need okay. to go into the restroom. Mine, so. mine will dry too. I'm gonna put it on the cat cam okay. and let's I'm gonna see if we can get some cats going. I do have a microphone over there, but everything's uh everything's been changed around. Uh, Jody says, Dano, knock, knock, like, at my door? Is it pizza? Oh, okay, hold on. Let me find my shoes. They're here. And then let me see if I can get some cats to come out for a few minutes here while this, while our paintings are drying for a second. Let me see. Let me see. It's full stimulation! Topo! Where's all your friends? from Helen. Thank you so much, Helen, if you're watching. These snacks came from you, and I just remind everybody that sends us snacks in the box, write your name on them so we know whose snacks it's are from. So, Coco is eating snacks that are from you, and so is Rizzo. Rizzo's down here. And Mooch is eating some, too. Rizzo's, uh, Anyone watched Miss Marvel yet? The gaming game? I have not, but I will. Maybe I'll try to watch it this weekend. Which one is the new cat tree? The new cat tree is the great one. That's the new one. That's the new cat tree. Where's the other cats at? Everybody, it's time to clock in. Clock in time.
you purchased from out here now. but I just wanted more color, so. Right now we need everything. And thank you, I appreciate that. Can you hear me now? In case you didn't hear me, um, house is always a work in progress, but thank you, I appreciate that. Uh, Lily, you might be running a little bit behind or just finally got to a keyboard to let us know, but Dan, Lily says that most canvases are pre-gessoed, um, all ready to use canvases a lot, but they are more like the canvas panels because, uh, I might have been typo there, I don't know, uh, because those are more paper size. Got it. That makes sense. Uh, Brittany says my stream lagged and when it came oh. back, Dan was just screaming, full stimulation. WTF did I miss? No 14 hour shift for me, just going in at midnight. Um, I, I don't know what Dan was doing. Yeah, Do we ever know what Dan is? What's that? My chat will be here quick. Your chat? Yeah. I don't know what you mean. My like chat will be here on the screen quick. Oh, it quit. I think it's said quick. Oh, looks like we're good. RFS roll call, count off now. Rizzo is cute. I can't, is she there? Oh yeah, she's hiding in the corner now. Yeah, there's Rizzo, Kamiko, Mooch, and Topo in the shot. Precious is in the bedroom. I was trying to get him to come out, but he was not having it. And I don't know where Kitty went. I think she might be in Blake's room right now. Uh, Penelope says, my baby's having party mix and temptations. She hated greenies. They go back and forth, and some of them, Rizzo's really picky. Rizzo loves the blue temptations. I think it's tuna or something. That's her favorite. She will always eat those. Other than that, she's kind of picky. Oh, the gaming hand says, my name is Gordon, and... And I know it's Spanish for fat, Crystal. I, I had to ask. <laughs> I'm sure if that's your name, yes, you absolutely know that. I like the name Gordon. I think that's the name of the lead singer of the Violent Femmes, so I will try to remember that that's your name. Hey, Dan. Yeah? Are you ready for a snack? Just, uh, you know what you got for me? Oh, cookies? Yeah. Okay, yeah, I'm uh, Jody says, knock, knock. Oh, I hate knock, knock jokes. Blake, used, knock. Blake used to always knock, knock at me. I would just tell him nobody's home. I like knock, <laughs> knock jokes. Who's there? Uh, who's there? Did you know that both American Disney Resort Parks has an amateur radio repeater in the park? I did not know that. I'm not sure I know exactly what that means. An amateur radio repeater. What is that? Please is that explain. Is like, get my walkie-talkie uh, on <laughs> at the park? Oh, Precious came out. I don't know what you're doing, but Mooch's face is right in the camera. Oh, Mouse Queen just posted a work in progress to RFS fam. All right, I'm going to try some other snacks. So snacks were from Helen. Oh, Sam posted something cool, too. Okay, here is Mouse Queen's work in progress that she is working on while we are streaming. Oh, we're tiny. I'll show it in a minute. Hey, just click on the... Click on the other, one of the other ones over there. Just hold the top one. Oh, these snacks are for Nancy. Thank you, Nancy. Here we go. Wait, it's not here. Thank you, Nancy. There's Mouse's work in progress. I love it. Let me see. Oh, good job. Good job. It's really cool. You got some talent. Um, Sam Ponit... Po Let me try that again. Sam painted this on her pot for her aloe plant. This is freaking adorable. I absolutely love it. It's kind of hard to see here. You guys can go to the RFS fam group to see the things. That's so cute. Those are awesome. What do you do when you paint on your pots? I have some pots that I've painted on and they've 
flaked off pretty badly on most of them. And, you know, I'm sure the, the heat and, you know, watering doesn't help. And I've looked into it online and they talk about like sealing it and stuff. And I've done that, like seal it before um, on the inside and stuff. I can't get it to work right. I don't know what the damn problem is, but I try so hard. I have one I painted like a, uh, a bunch of robots around the bottom and then like cogs around the top of it. Um, another one I painted just like all kinds of colorful. We just don't want to stay on there. Teresa is here. Hello, Teresa. I'm late again. No worries. We were a little late too. As soon as we went live, we had technical difficulties. Oh, let me put it back on the cats for you guys. Dan is feeding the cats snacks while we were waiting for uh, the canvas is to dry a bit so we can do our background color. Linda says, my name means loved in Spanish and beloved in Portuguese. Interesting. My name means brilliantly pure. I don't think it's a very good descriptor. Dan is Dan. <laughs> yeah, what's Daniel mean? Dan is Dan. <laughs> Sam says, that's the first time I painted one. A gray pot was boring. I get it. I, I am so done with plain old single colored pots unless it's got like a pattern of in the the pot material itself and then painted uh i my whole pot collection was all just boring terracotta pots because they were cheap and i've slowly been collecting i love talavera pots and used to be able to get them really cheap at home goods like big ones for like 12 15 dollars and i noticed the prices have gone up a bit lately so i haven't collected as many but places like home goods ross marshall's tj maxx those are great places to check for pots uh, Rite Aid as well. Rite Aid often puts their uh, like outdoor decor, spring decor, summer decor, that kind of stuff on sale 50% off. So I've gotten a lot of cute little pots like little owls and, and colorful little things like that. Uh, Crazy in Alabama is here. Hello friend. Thank you for joining us. We are working on painting although right now Dan was feeding the cat some snacks and now he's grabbing a Dan snack. I'm coming right now. Just washing my hands off myself. Mouse Queen with a Super Chat says, that picture started as a little doodle on scratch paper. That is so fascinating to me. I follow um, an artist called Monstromo. Um, her name is Michelle Romo. And she actually did, she did that, that one up there, didn't she? No, she did a different one, huh? Oh, for Kamikaze? For Kamikaze. She did the artwork for Kamikaze. And today, or it showed up in my algorithm today on Instagram, she had what was a sketch that looked like she scanned it in. What was a and Sorry, whoa, right. with the echo, right. um, <laughs> she put it on a computer. So I'm, I'm assuming she scanned it in. She might've sketched it on a tablet. I don't know. But then she was digitizing the whole thing. It was really neat to watch. Like I mean, she only posted a little clip, but just to see that process is really cool. Well, says I'm thinking of trying watercolor. I watched some videos and I think I could figure that out. My art teacher friend gave me a watercolor set and encouraged me to try it. I haven't gotten to it yet. I, she gave me all kinds of little like sets and kits to try, but I love acrylic. I should try other things. How come your cats didn't try to escape when Dan opened the door? Coco would have ran straight out. Uh, Kumiko does. Kumiko's our last in and out cat. Our previous cat tails would go outside too, but in general, they don't really want to go outside. When, when you opened the door. Didn't you open the screen? You had a blink notification. I thought you did. Uh, yeah, we do have a, a, a security screen door there, but even if they're laying right at the door, they generally don't run out. Mooch does sometimes. Mooch just wants to go outside and like eat some grass and sniff some bushes and make sure there's no other cats out there. So usually with us, he knows better, but occasionally he'll get past us. Anytime someone else is going in or out, he'll see the window and just be like, oh, my, the window's open, I'm going. Like the metaphorical window. But in general, they don't really want to go outside. Oh, they got so, yes, absolutely. They're so spoiled. Um, Mouse Queen with the Super Chat, thank you so much. Says, I'm planning to include a caption. Y'all want the cat cash? You gotta catch me first, pal. And yes, I had Regis's voice in mind. I could tell I tried to do that with my Regis. Dan's much better. Uh, Jody says, cat me outside. How about that? <laughs> I like my Regis. You have to say it like that. Gilman. Ah. That's my Regis. That's my Regis. That was good, Mouse Queen. Okay, I'm going to use a darker, like a turquoise blue for my background. You are welcome to use I, I like, whatever you I want. I want that. Okay, do you want your own plate now? Yes, please. Okay, I'm going to try to follow kind of what you're doing. I'm keeping up pretty well right now. You are. 
I love this color. Oh, I love this, this color. Really good. Um, if, should I go back to another camera? Oh yeah. Oh why? If there was a cat outside and someone opened the door, Coco would have attacked and made himself end up in the vet's office. Oh no. Mooch used to be like that. We've pretty much always had some porch cats. Like, there's always been a handful here and there. And when Mooch was younger, he would go outside and fight them, like like Heathcliff cartoon style. Just like, and then come inside all it pissed was. off. It was. Oh my god, I chased him out too. Like the girlfriend in the street with no shoes. <laughs> Yeah, he, he has had his moments, but he's old now. Like I said, he pretty much just wants to go eat some bushes and grass. Uh, Foxy Koala with the unicorn super chat. Thank you so much, friend. Hope hi, you're doing well today. Hi, Foxy Koala. All right, so you got to get into these tiny little spots, so you're going to want a smaller brush for that at some point. I don't even know if this is the one I want. Right now I'm liking this brush because it has enough paint for my patients. Right. I get it. I've got uh, four out at this point. Four out what? Four different brushes out. The uh, tutorial does tell you which brushes to use. I don't actually really uh, pay attention to that. I just use whatever feels good to me. I'm really liking this one from the Pack Brittany sent me. Which one is it? I like a just, medium size, yeah, it, the same size one I'm using. It's carrying some good. It's carrying some good momentum right now. Good. Yeah, you just have to find what works. If you're, you know, super into art, I'm sure you know which one's the right one to use for which kind of brush stroke you're using. I'm not. I do not know that. I'm not that skilled yet. No. I've been painting a lot longer than you, and I'm still not that skilled. So there you have it. <laughs> this is fun though. I'm having fun. Uh, do we uh, ask uh, who else was painting along with us? I know Wilton is. Uh, yeah, Wilton's painting. I don't know if anybody else really is. Uh, hey, Dan. Oh. Foxy Koala is painting with us. Awesome. Jody with the super chat says, what's a cat's favorite button on a TV remote? Power. Pause. Oh, that's so close. There was the button right ne next to it. No, it was a button down from it. Oh. Oh, my gosh. Uh, thank you so much for the super chat. One of these days, I'm going to get one right. Oh, we gotta go back when we're done with our background to do the shading on the unicorn. We didn't do any of that. Okay. So I have to hold my breath through some of this. I get it. Uh, Jess says, one man proposed that Geico switch their mascot to a kitten. Now, with only 15 minutes, you can save 15% on car insurance. <laughs> you know, I got excited for a second. Who said that? Just, uh, just because I am so... I want to fight the Geico lizard. I love the caveman. The lizard was okay. Oh God, stop shaking the table. Until he started complaining about the flat tire, and then I just wanted to punch that lizard. So I would love for them to change their mascot to a cat. I like that they brought back their old uh, mascots, the caveman, and I thought they had some other ones. That's the only one. What I was the right one with now. the pig that was screaming all the way home? Oh my god, I love the pig. That is my favorite gift. <laughs> Do you guys remember the pig that hung out the window I with don't the like it. the pinwheel thing? Get oh my god, that, that was my favorite. Get some clothes on. I loved it. Oh, Mouse Queen just got Rick rolled by her own radio. <laughs> That's great. Mel Shane is painting along with us as well. Sorry, guys. Wilton says there's a great tabby tuxedo cat around here who always comes in our yard to try to kick Gizzard's butt. All he ever manages to do to Gizzard is rip his collar off. He's what? been coming here for years. What is it? A cat, like a stray cat that comes in their yard. <laughs> uh, we had one, it was an orange cat with a big head, so obviously we called it Big Head. Yeah, I wonder what happened, where Big Head went. Um, we got a handful of other cats after he'd been here for a while, and then he disappeared, and then they all disappeared. You just find other places to go eat. Yeah, there's plenty of places around here. Plenty. You, you used to live up the street a bit, and you said there was a lady who would dump oh out my a whole bag of Right over our wall would be the field, and I was back there one day, and just screwed around, and... Like, there was, like, a 40-pound bag just, like, piled up there. 
I'm just like, stop shaking the table. Sorry. Yeah, the cats that we have around here, we do feed them. You know, if we see them out there and stuff, uh, they're well fed. Somebody else feeds them for sure. Yes. Dawn with the super chat. Thank you so much, friend. It says crocheting Hi, today. Posted my second amigurumi. Did I say that right? Yeah, that's, uh, yeah. On I'll RFS. Agree. Cool. Give me just a moment and I will get to that. Thank you for the Doris, super chat. Doris says, I'm so not happy with my painting. I hate when that happens. Uh, that's many of my unfinished projects are paintings I became unhappy with. The good news is with paint, you can usually just uh, paint over it and start over. That's another thing. Uh, my friend Nickel does that. Uh, she buys canvases and adds to them or paints over them. I think that's so them. cool. I love when they add the little monsters to the old yes. canvases. I think that's so neat. Your mama is here. Hello, Hi, mama. mama. I'm painting a unicorn. Why'd you say it like that? A unicorn with a U. <laughs> no, you're a unicorn. You're weird. I'm liking I'm liking this so far. How are you how are you doing with that? I'm good. I really like this color. Uh, Christine says I just ordered a pizza from a new place. Let's see how that works out. What did you get? Ooh, you'll have to update yeah, us. Yeah, I know. That sounds good. Uh Crystal. Yes. Mouse Code the Super Chat says, thank you. I uh, wanna hear a potassium joke? Yes. Okay. <laughs> I see what you did there. <laughs> Dan even saw what you did there. I did. I did. I knew. I mean, I couldn't. Have hey, hey, hey. I, I couldn't have told you it was K, but I get but that you, it's you got it. Yeah, I got it. Thank you so much. Yeah, I got it. Way to send a nerdy, uh, sciencey joke that Dan got. Yeah, did that mean that do it for you? That makes me happy. That I that I did something smart. I could do another smart thing, it, too. It, it almost balances out your uh, misspoken word the other night. Do you remember that? Mm -hmm. um, no, there's so many of them. Dan was telling me a story, and he kept saying the word Godiver. And I'm like, what the hell is a Godiver? He's like, you know, like a Godiver. Like, like a Godiver, like all swollen. Like a Godiver. Uh, he was trying to say cadaver. <laughs> like, he knew it was a word, but... Have you never seen it written? Uh, <laughs> no, like, I don't, no, not really. No. <laughs> no. So, uh, now cadavers are godivers. Much like whisks are now wisps around here. Yeah. With a P. Yeah. What's up, Dan? I was just looking at the photo to see if it gets a key line on it or not. See if it gets key line pie. Yes. Does it matter that I leave this undone and then go back in a minute with a pen after nope. I do like, all the fat parts? No, it'll all blend together. Uh, Doris says she's not feeling her painting. Was trying to do... Oh, sorry, it moved. Was trying to do a field with flowers. Makes me sneeze. Trying now to do a waterscape because you sneezed all over the flowers? Is that what happened? Oh, your mom says unicorns are beautiful. Did one of your cats go outside or is that just me? Um, not not like now, like one of them didn't go outside now. Uh, Kumiko goes outside. Yeah, that's Kumiko. Yeah, uh, here, I'll go back to the cat camera. So she'll, she's like sitting out, she's sitting out over there, uh, let's see. Oh, Topo just found the extra snacks that were up there. Um, Kumiko is laying, I think, in this corner here. Yeah, Kumiko's laying right here in this edge. I don't know if you can see her. Maybe I can get bigger. But she lays in the planter that's out there. Uh, yeah, I have to she's leave right, one of my big pots empty for her. She's right there. I don't know if you can see her or not. But she's right there. I should turn off this bird. I can't see her. Topo found the extra snacks that I threw up there. All on top. Uh, Mouse with the super chat says cadaver. C A D A V E R cadaver. Thank you. It was Godiva. Godiva. Uh, <laughs> it was Godiver. 
the diver. Because otherwise I would have thought you were talking about chocolate. Yes. Uh, Dawn says spatula is a scratchula in her house. Scratchula? Um, in our house, a, a, I almost said it the opposite way, a back scratcher is a scratch backer because when Blake was little, he got one in his stocking from Santa one year and he ran out and he was so excited. He said, all right, a scratch backer. So they are just forever scratch backers. He was pretty excited about that. Yes. Um, I also the super chat, thank you, friend, says, now get me Alex Trebek on the phone. Oh, wait. No oh, mind. wow. Out of Mouse Queen? Wow. She didn't say too that. Too soon, Mouse. Too soon. Kiss your mother with that she mouse. She super chatted to what? say that. Wait, she was talking about Trebek, though, Dang. not Reed, so No love lost there. Oh, AT gets flamed. <laughs> Uh, Sherry says, I mispronounced hors d'oeuvres. I didn't know that it was spelled that way. Oh, like many people who never heard it spoken as wait, a child. Wait, hors d'oeuvres? Yeah, oh, let's uh, see. Uh, no for some reason, it's H-O-U-R-D-O-R-V-E-S. Hors d'oeuvres. You're close. Closer than I would have anticipated. H-O-R-S. Right, which, which... No you. It was O for a while, but I, I know that... For some reason, it, I knew it was an H. Right. And Maybe then, I paid attention one day in school. I'm going to trust Sherry spelling. D apostrophe O-E-U-V-R-E. -E. Nobody actually knows how to spell it, so I'm trusting that uh, she looked it up or memorized it. Um, yeah, much like people who read it before they ever heard what it was or associated the pronunciation with the spelling, it was order. Or's divorce. Or's divorce? Yes. I like that. That's <laughs> yeah. Better. Yeah, if they called it Or's divorce, I'd be all about, like, I'd be even <laughs> more about divorce? it. Are you doing a new, another coat of blue? I don't think I need to. This is pretty solid. She does do some swirly doodles in the background. It's up to you whether you want to do that with a slightly darker blue. Yeah, I do. Do yeah. Uh, Don says my two-year-old asked for a scratchula 20 years ago, and you know that was just the best. Absolutely. Yeah. Those, those things stick for sure. They do. So when you get in around the horn, you should use a pointy brush like this Is one. Is this too pointy? No, that should work really well. And you were also, look at you learning. You like grabbed the right paintbrush. You're almost a real artist, man. You've actually successfully painted a lot of paintings on this, uh, on our paint nights. I'm impressed. We have, like, I, my skills haven't gotten any better. Today, this one is the first one that feels really good to me. I'm like, I got the strokes a little bit better and stuff. This is a really basic one that allows for, you know, it's not a lot of detail, not a lot of room to screw up. It's just big. Oh, uh, thanks. No, I'm, I'm saying like, this is an easy one. This is good for your confidence because it's an easier painting. It doesn't have a lot of discouraging detail. It is, it's, this feels, this feels good. Uh, my grandmother used to say them as horses de ovaries and she knew it was wrong, but good luck trying to argue with someone over age 80. No one wants to eat horses ovaries. I need to know how she knows that. Christine says, kids change our vocabulary all the time. My nephew renamed me when I was 19 and he was one. Um, yeah, my friend Nanda, uh, my friend Nanda, her name is Amanda. And somehow through childhood, I think one of her cousins said it as Nanda and that became her name. Like, you know, at work and stuff, I think people know her as Amanda, but it's weird to me when I hear people call her Amanda. Her husband called her Amanda and I was like, what is that noise? That's not Amanda, that's Nanda. It took him a while before he, like, when they first started dating, it was Amanda all the time. I'm like, that's not, that's not her name. That's weird. Mm. But uh, when she had kids, you know, Crystal's a little bit hard to say. And uh, when I was little, I couldn't even say it. Uh, instead of Crystal Lee Strawby, my name to myself, like, if you asked me what my name was, it was Tickly Bobby. So that's, that's stuck around. My mom likes to point that the one NASCAR out. The NASCAR driver? No, not Ricky Bobby. Tickly Bobby. Yeah, that's the NASCAR driver. Not quite. You had your name all, like, set out, like, your destiny was paved for you. <laughs> anyway, her kids, uh, they call me Aunt Kiki. 
which is weird. I never saw myself as a kiki, but apparently they do. And you are Dan Dan. Yeah, I don't have syllables, huh? Yeah, I think you started that, though. I think you wanted to be Dan Dan. And then, oddly enough, Bradley called you Dan Dan just all on his own. Like, they live in a whole other state and never talked to the kids who called you Dan Dan, but he started calling you Dan Dan. I asked for Dan Dan. I think you did. School buses are forever scooty babas to me, thanks to my niece when she was little. Yes. Scooty babas. Uh, <laughs> oh my gosh. KK says, Dan and Crystal looking good so far. Thank you so much. Thanks. KK has a cat named Kiki. Interesting. Water was Kuya Kuya. That doesn't even sound the same. That's a whole other language. Uh, Tickly Bobby, I love it. <laughs> yeah, so does my mom. <laughs> she likes to tell everybody that all the time. Oh. That's, Oddly enough, no other kids ever called me Tickle. I'll be calling you that yeah. forever now. Tickly by, in the store, just in the supermarkets. Right, where people can hear you. I'm going to have you paged. <laughs> uh, Mouse with a super chat, thank you. I would argue the same for screen names. I have a really good friend that I know her real name, but I'm so used to calling her by her screen name. Yes, we have a friend from way back when we started live, live streaming, and her screen name was Tamale Girl, and she will forever be Tamale Girl to me. Mm -hmm. Blake has friends that he plays games with on the regular and calls them by their, their screen names. That's weird to me. Yeah. Like for as often as they play games together and, and talk to each other and say each other's names, and they just call each other by screen names. The screwdrivers are goo gobbers thanks to my friend's kid. <laughs> Love it. I like that this one's lots of bright colors. It's fun. It is, huh? Not that we're really into the bright color part yet, but we're getting there. Now, Jess T says an ad just came on. Bob Ross and his happy trees. On this video here? Oh, I don't know. A, no, a TV ad. Oh. Uh, Lily says, our paintings look great so far. Thank, Thank you. you. Christina's Aunt Kiki, too. Yeah, two syllable names starting with a C or a K. I think it just goes that way. Morgan says, my nieces and nephew call me Tia Coco. It's supposed to be short for Cucuy, Boogeyman in Spanish. I don't know if I said that right. It's, it's taken after Tia Mecha, who is also called that because she was the mean aunt, as am I. Mm, that's Morgan? <laughs> yeah. I wondered why they called you Tia Coco. Am I just Dan? I'm just Dan. I'm easy. Nice. So now I want to like do another coat of this because it's like not. Oh yeah, not, it's not very even. No, yours looks good. Thanks. I have a darker color though. That helps. So you can see some difference around your horn, but that has less to do with the fact that you waited and more to do with the fact that your brush strokes were going in a different direction with a different paintbrush and you didn't make your paint blend very well. Just so you know, because you did ask if it made a difference. Right. It's not the fact that you- It's technique. Left it, it is technique, yes. Yeah, because the difference that you see there is brush strokes. Gotcha. It doesn't look bad, it's fine. Because even this one here is like, blotchy and streaky. Like right. That's how she did the background. And it's one of those backgrounds where it doesn't have to be perfectly even, kind of like when we did the, the Halloween one that you quit. Oh yeah, that's right. I've quit two of them. I quit some flower too. I was like, you screw did. this. I am not 
doing this flower. I still never went back and finished the uh, Hawaii Sweets. Oh, that one I did finish. I did not. I rarely pull out all my paints and start painting unless we're doing a paint night. So I enjoy doing this because it gets me painting. We haven't done this since last year, right? Uh, the last one we did was the fox, I think. I think that was early in the year, wasn't I it? I think so. I don't think we've done this since then. Maybe like January. Uh, your Uncle Danny, even Owen calls you that calls you that when he sees you on the TV. Okay, cool. I'll take it. Constable Dan. <laughs> yeah, that also works. It does work. Uh, Hannah goes by JJ on her mom's side of the family, and her last name pretty much everywhere else is <laughs> Brew. People just call you Brew? I guess that's kind of a cool name. Mm-hmm. All right, I do need a squoze of this. Oh. Uh, Doris says, another reason I was not a fan of my name early on in life, I have no nicknames except D. And to me, that's just people too lazy to say the whole name. I agree. My name is just your not my name. Name. Like, you always just go by your nickname. Because Dan is a nickname for Daniel. Morgan, do you remember the one time your sister Katie said, Oh my god, Uncle Danny! Your name's short for Daniel? Like, she had no idea. <laughs> like, as an adult. No, that's I great. will never forget that. It's interesting, as they, it's interesting that they see me as an old person. Not an old person, but like, the higher up of the family chain. Right. Because I'm such a dork. <laughs> I'm such a dork, and like all our all our family members always acted so much more mature, and then you have me. So that no one's ever called you mature, right? So that's interesting. Sarah says I never had a nickname either. Can't do much with Sarah. I bet somebody somewhere called you Sarah Bear though, because every Sarah I've ever known, their parents call her Sarah Bear. And I've known a lot of Sarahs. A lot of Sarahs. It's a really popular name. I prefer Sarah without an H, actually, though. So good, good on your parents for leaving the H off. How's it going, Dan? Mm -hmm. Still not painting around the edges there, huh? No, not yet. That implies that you're going to. Oh, uh, probably. We'll see how proud I am of this towards the end. No, you should paint around the edges now, unless you're doing a different color. Because you have that color out and you're using it. Oh, gotcha. Okay, okay. Come to the super chat. Thank you so much. Says it's when you're an thing. adult but struggle to find a more adultier adult when things get rough. I will always have the nickname Mouse in my family. Yeah, I don't. I still like go to my mom like, can you take care of this for me? I'm Danny in my family's always. There's no escaping that. Not that I care. No, they all call you Danny. My mom always called me Crystal Bug, so then uh, one time at work she called me Bug, and I was like, yeah, no, we're not doing that. No? No. Nope. You want everybody in the office running around telling your nicknames? No. Nope, I don't, I don't need them to know me like that. Oh, I thought this was uh, rinsed off, and it was not, and I put my fingers all over it. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, that's okay. At least you didn't smear your picture. No, I didn't. But I do have to get up and wash my fingers now. Oh, yeah, I don't know what happened. Hi, everybody. Ha! Ah. Hello. Megan says, how y'all doing what I miss? We're painting unicorns. I'm happy with mine so far. 
that's what it looks like. My unicorn sleeping. Sky Dreamer wants to know how the cookies turned out from Friday night. Oh, let me finish this background and we will try them. They're right here. We'll try them in a few minutes. Uh, let's see if the cats are up to anything. No. No. Nothing at all. Topo's by the front door. Precious is on the tree where I am. I got it. Uh, Hannah said my mom called me squirrel bait for some reason. Squirrel bait? Hey, squirrel bait. Did you did you catch a lot of squirrels? And now she calls me sis, and I secretly hate it. Tell her. Yeah. Start calling her sis. Look, people, you need to be more assertive. And if there's things that you hate, you need to let people know. Don't be afraid. Just think, what would Crystal do? She yeah. would say, hey, I hate that. Don't do that anymore. I mean, I try to call Crystal my ex-girlfriend's name all the time. And she said, you know what, Dan? That's not cool. And I thought about it for a long time. Oh, Dan. One time my, my boyfriend prior to you was, he came and visited me at work and he was leaving and his previous girlfriend's name was Jen and he was all, bye Jen, and then he left. And then he called me when he got home, he said, oh my God, I'm so sorry. And we've been together like two months. Like I wasn't that worried about it. Uh, I'm not really one of those girls to get like that jealous or anything. Like clearly it was a slip of the tongue, but he like felt like he had to make it up to me 10 different ways. I'm like, dude, I'm not even tripping. Don't worry about it. I did, is this worse? I did say my ex-girlfriend's name to one of my other girlfriends that wasn't you um, while making Whoopi. Yeah. And... How many girlfriends did you have, Dan? Oh, before you, nobody. This was a friend of mine. Oh, gotcha. And you were making Whoopi pies like the dessert? Yes. Gotcha. All right, layer two. Can I do a third layer on here? That is your call, but if you're going to do the edges, you should do them now okay. while you're using that color. Okay. Uh, Brittany with the super chat, thank you so What's much. Up, says, I posted my own I did last week. I might do a hair color funeral since I have to dye it a natural color for my new job. Aww. Boo. That's Wait, hold on. They want you, you work at a, at a dispensary and they want you to have normal hair? If you're security, maybe they, they think they'll take you more seriously. Thank you. I hate that. Like, every time I've ever had... Oh, wait, 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 wrong spot. Anytime I've ever... I hate that guy. See? See, if you hate it, don't be afraid to say you hate it. Um, anytime I've ever had unnatural hair color, I've never gotten anything from compl but compliments, even from older people. Um, my earrings, my ears are stretched to nine millimeters. Old people love them. They think they're really cool. Um, and when I say old people, I mean, like, people that you would think would be offended by, like, piercings and tattoos and stuff. Um, people like my eyebrow piercing. Like, it's never, ever been an issue as far as I know. When I worked at Claire's, you were allowed to have uh, up to two facial piercings. And so I did. And the district, so I did. the district manager did not like it. But I showed her the dress code and told her it specifically says you can have up to two. And so... That's what I did. She said, Jetson! Oh, Strawby! You're fired. She tried really hard, but there was never any reason to fire me, and I always won all the sales contests, so... Mm. Who's walking away on a windy day with her skirt blowing up, showing her underwear now, Cindy? Oh, is that what happened? It was her. Yep. In the parking lot? Mm-hmm. Yeah, she she walked out. It was, it was not when I worked at the mall, when I worked at the outlet mall. So, like, the whole front of the store was all glass windows. Mm -hmm. And... She came in, it was a particularly bitchy day. She, like, came in and just bitched everybody out about everything. She was just on one that day. And then as she was leaving, she walked away, and her dress blew up, and we all saw her underwear. Did it you was, all laugh? It was not a good look. We did all laugh. Was it regional manager underwear? Um, it was granny panties. Like, big old... She was, she was a big lady, and it was big old granny panties. And we hated her, and so we laughed at her. She was the worst. After that, I switched to a different store and had the best district manager ever. She was so cool. Uh, Teresa drew some pictures and said, that's my nickname in Chinese. I can't read that. <laughs> Where is it on the screen? Teresa Jones, like midway. Oh, that's cool. 
some nice kanji. And Sarah says, one of the doctors at work who's a few years younger than me called me kiddo once. I shot that down quick. Only people significantly older than me can get away with calling me that. I would be very offended if someone younger than me called me that. My old man boss Joe calls me kiddo all the time and I think it's adorable. Uh, he also calls his wife that. I think it's his placeholder name for when he like doesn't want to have to think of somebody's name. Because when he tries to say my name, half the time it's um, Angel who's the person who had the job two people before me. How many years ago has it been since Angel's worked there? Uh, like minimum five years. Oh, it, well, it's longer been than a that. while. She was there for a long time. Well, I've been there two and Brittany was there three. Um, in his defense, Angel was there a really long time. Like, I think she said something like 15 years. She was there forever. Um, and then sometimes he's, he calls me Patty, which is my mom's name. Just, just, if I hear him go, uh, I turn and look, because I know that's the sound of him trying to think of what name to call me. She brought some book the other day. Oh my god, yes. So he asked me on the 6th if I knew what day it was. And I'm like, ooh. I did so well on Pearl Harbor Day. Like, it's, it's like he tries to test me, you know, the younger generation. Like, you know what day it is? And I'm like, I knew it's Pearl Harbor Day. I knew that one. Um, and then, so he asked me on the 6th if I knew what day it was. And I'm like, ah, I don't. What day is it? And I, I didn't cheat and look at the calendar. I'm like, just educate me, Joe. What day is it? And he, he told me about how it was D-Day. And uh, he, he described it to me, and then I was like, oh, D-Day, yes, I know that one. I just didn't know it was that day. Um, and he was telling me about how he remembered he was, like, three years old, and he remembered seeing it in the newspaper and, like, asking his dad, what was that? And he was, like, describing the newspaper. I'm like, oh, was it in the L.A. Times? And he said, yeah. And mind you, he does not use the Internet at all, not on computers. He thinks I'm a genius because I can find anything on the Internet. Um, and he told me it was the L.A. Times, and I said, oh, I have this really cool book. It's the the front pages of the LA Times for significant events throughout like history of the LA Times. Oh, I'd love to see that. So I came home for lunch and I brought the book back to him and I opened it up to that page and I showed him and he was so fascinated with it. He pulled out his magnifying glass and he sat there and he read the whole page and then phone rang, I left the room and I saw him, he's like flipping through it. Um, he was done working that day. I came back from lunch at about two o'clock and he spent the next hour and a half alternating between reading through the pages and falling asleep on the book. Um, he's an older guy. He gets sleepy when he reads. I get it. It happens you to me, too. You sent me the picture of him. He, he was, was just in the book. He face first out. down <laughs> into the book. I'm like, please don't drool in it. Uh, but he spent the next hour and a half before he finally came and put it on my desk. I was like, all right, I'm getting out of here. It was it. He didn't work anymore that day. He just flipped through old newspaper pages. That's great. So hopefully that was a... Uh, Nice reminiscing for him. Are you done with your background? I am done with Oh, it looks good. Well, you, I, you got it pretty even. Yeah, I did. Good job, Dan. I want to do a different color on mine, though. Like, the background. Like, the swirly wanna, Yeah, do do that last, last. Can we do a cookie first? That's exactly what I wanted to do. Um, so, if you guys joined us last night, we made salted caramel crunch cookies, which was a cookie base with caramel squares cut up into pieces, toffee bits, pecans inside of it, and then flaked sea salt. If you missed it last night, y'all need to get some flaked sea salt. Go back and check it out. Flaked sea salt makes all the difference in the world. So I only made one batch on the show. It was 100 degrees when we started. and I think when we ended, it was 97 oh. or so. Um, currently, uh, can't tell you because there's an ongoing it's alert. It's 82 inside the house. Is it? Okay. That's nice and comfortable. It's 95 outside. Still pretty warm. Not bad. Um, but yeah, I only made one batch on the show. Introduction faster. Zip it. And then I put the rest of the dough in the fridge and waited till about 10, 1030 at night and started making more. There was a learning curve. If you guys watched the show, you saw they turned into pancakes. They were huge. The caramel gooed out everywhere. <laughs> um, I started making them smaller. It worked out much better. Can we get this camera for a second? Uh, Teresa wants to know how come some people here have all y'all's phone numbers. Um, some are family. Who's not my phone number? Morgan. I know Morgan was texting us. Go down a little bit. So this is how they turned out. It's a little blurry there. Um, the bits of sea salt, the pecans, the caramel. It's all here and amazing. Well, now you touched it, take it. Oh, you just dropped it in there. I also reduced the cook time when I made them smaller because they were burning a little bit. So if you guys make these and make them smaller, 10 minutes. 10 minutes does it. They look a little bit undercooked, but they'll finish cooking themselves. Is it cookie break? Mm. Oh no, can you get the cookie off my pain? No, I'm getting the salt off of mine. Don't eat over your painting. Oh, 
No, Brittany said you look so cute with your pouty face and your hair clips. <laughs> Do I have to have Brittany? The caramel that reached the bottom is a little tough. A little bit. It's so good. So good. These are amazing. You guys should definitely make these. The stuff I make on the show, I would say about 50-50. This is good, I'd make it again, and like, eh, it didn't really work. And then like, maybe 5% of the things I make, I'm like, this is freaking amazing. Those Snickers bars. Crunch wraps. Crunch wraps. That was on your show though, wasn't it? Oh, caramel stuck in my teeth. They're really good. They could use more nuts. I think they got a good amount. I thought they made fewer nuts. Oh, Hannah, yes, thank you. I will check the group. Uh, Wilk says, they look good. I tried to watch last night, but we were in the camper, and I couldn't pick up enough Wi-Fi from the router in the house for your stream to play. Oh, no worries. No worries, friend. But uh, these are definitely not on your diet, but they're amazing, and if it's cheat day, you should try them. But only if you can give away, like, 50% of them, because they're... You're going to eat them all. I promise you. Back right now. Can I see Eddie better? No. Yes. Uh, Sam says, I'm happy the stream is fixed. Whenever I first tried watching it, it wouldn't load. Um, if you tried watching it when we first started, it was technical difficulties on our end. Yes, Wilton, these would be a good dish to, to bring. I think they're, um, they've got some mass appeal. Are you waiting for the camera to come back or something? We can switch it back if you want. I was just trying to get it closer to cats. I'm They're eating cookies, so you're fine. They're doing cat stuff. Dan, Athena said it's a cute barrette in your hair. <laughs> he likes to steal my barrettes. The Gaming Ham says, I'm being tested for diabetes and renal failure. Oh, that's scary. I hope you're okay, friend. Um, I'm trying to bring my cholesterol down, but not really. Like, I'm supposed to be doing that. When you look at the list of things you shouldn't eat in order to lower your cholesterol, it's red meat. Check. I don't eat meat. We're fine. Um, salt. Lower your salt intake. I think I'm okay on salt. I don't think I eat that much salty stuff. Like, I'm not eating cup of noodles or ramen or anything. Um, oh, there was something else that was completely irrelevant to my life. And uh, then, then sweets. Oh, it's not happening. I, I, I like cookies. I like chocolate. I like cake. I like pie. I like ice cream. I can't not eat it every day. Some people have after dinner mints. I have after dinner chocolates. When I finish my dinner, I like to have a little square of chocolate. I usually break a piece off of the, the Cadbury chocolate these days because we've got a lot of those. My mom has high cholesterol. It runs in the family. Please, can I just have some meds? Just give me the thing that's going to lower that because... Otherwise, I'm going out eating cookies. That's just what's going to happen. Oh, Michelle, you made yours a, a 3D picture, and it's messing with my head. I will show these off very soon. Uh, Jody, back to the, the um, interesting s speech differences you learn from kids. With the super chat, thank you so much, Jody. Appreciate the support. It says, due to kindergartners, I call cows moo-moos. I like that. It's fair. Uh, the Gaming Ham says, I'm drinking too much. Oh, you should stop. Because it's that easy, right? Like me and my ice cream. Look, she made it a 3D picture. Oh my god, it worked. It did. It absolutely looks like it's That's coming cool. right for I me. That's cool. I love that. Who did that? Uh, this one is from Michelle Cook. Good job. Let's see if I can uh, show you guys the 3D-ness. Mm -hmm. So neat. It messes with my head, though. I don't know how that thing happens. And Linda says, you've got to have at least one vice, right? Come on. How can I not I mean, have delicious snacks? And Miami vice. Of course. Uh, Brittany says, this is my art project I made for my dad. 
That is his police badge, and 201 is his police radio number. It took me six hours. What's it made out of? The scraping things? That you scrape? What? Scrape? Is it like no. you scrape away no, the she things? painted it. Oh, nice. Let me see again. Oh, good job. Wait, let me see again. Oh my god. Dan. That looks good. Thanks. Can I see one more time? No. No, you can't. We've got, like, so much light going on in here, it's really hard to see the, the detail in the white, but you guys can check these out on uh, RFS Fam. No, RFS Family, I'm trying to remember. Uh, Dawn posted her second Amigurumi, Amigurumi, uh, turtle free pattern on YouTube. I love it, and this is so oh adorable. Oh I love it too. Will it work if you hold it this way? No, the other camera is better. Yeah, this is okay. better. Sorry. That looks so cute. I love it. Oh, it's upside down. It's so adorable. It's the... She's showing both sides of it? I know, but it's upside down. Yeah. Look back over. <laughs> uh, and then Hannah, who is... Uh, are, we, are we on day, day 11 of sobriety, friend? This is the book I'm working through for my recovery. It's difficult to be honest with myself, but so freeing. So she is recommending Do the Work by Gary John Bishop. Good job. I like the cover. So check that guy's out if you're into that sort of thing. Yes, she says day 11. Good job, friend. You got this. I need to take these away or I'm going to eat them all. And you know what, though? Is it one? Are you sure it's not one of those things where you actually burn more calories for chewing it? Because it was really hard to get it was, that It cookie. was very chewy. And like it wasn't that. chewy from it being bad. It was chewy from it being um, full, of caramel? Fair, full of caramel. Yeah, yeah. All right, so the next thing that I see is they got these like blue highlights, but I'm pushing it here. That's looks that looks hard. We can do it, Dan. I have faith in you. Are you just gonna? Is it the same blue? I want to. I have to do background. When do I do the background last? Your swirly doodles. Yeah. Huh? What color goes on top of this? What color well, goes? If you want to kind of replicate what she did, you can use a slightly darker blue, which means you can take the blue that you have and mix a slightly darker blue into it, or you can do what you use this one. Yeah. So this one's like kind of a turquoise. You can just add a little bit of that blue to your blue, just to darken the shade. The turquoise is long, makes it lighter. That kind of gives it a whole different feel. It does. You can really do whatever you want. Like I can either bring up the volume with this, or I can like lower the volume with this if I want the background darker. I don't know. I can't tell. I wonder if I should paint some of the other stuff first before I do that. It's up to you. It's going to end up having pretty much all the colors. The main is going to be rainbow. Right. Well, I just, can't, you just like I just can't tell if I want the overlay to be a darker or the lighter. I'm leaning towards this light. I'm leaning towards this lighter blue, but this this isn't the right brand, right? Don't you do? Is the artist loft stuff suck? It'll be fine. It's just lighter, but you already have a base coat. That's the one that's not as opaque. Part of me wants to do it with a marker because I'm afraid it's not going to do the lines that I want it to do. That's fair. You can do that if you want. We have a whole drawer full of uh, sharpies, but it's going to be very sharp lines. If you look at the, uh, the sample painting, it's got light kind of wispy lines, but it depends on how you want it to look. It's kind of like thick. Is it? Yeah. It mix, might be. Mix a little water it, into it. It might be sad. Mix a little water into it, it'll come back to light. Uh, the Gaming Hand says, I'm going to be doing a cast aluminum doorstep and engraved by me. Ooh, that's kind of cool. A doorstop. Like, the, yeah, like the wedge doorstop. That's kind of cool. I am lactose intolerant. Who eats ice cream and cheese? Me too. Mouse Queen with the Super Chat. Thank you so much. I've gotten to the coloring phase. I'll post a pic once I've colored his head. Yes, please do. Please do. Put water in it? No. Mix what? No, you're not going to be able to look. It's, it's going to be clumpy. Let me help you, Dan. Are we on camera? No, you're not on camera because the camera's over here. It's okay. Well, I just want to show like what I'm doing. So, I just dipped the paintbrush in the water. 
occasionally this doesn't work, the paint is too far gone, but usually you can just add some water to it and it'll bring it back to life. I have this little practice canvas and I'm drawing on first because okay. I'm not messing up the best picture I've done so far ever. Ever? Yeah. It's yeah, so far this is looking good and I'm happy with it. I'm happy with that. Just a little bit more water, I think. Dora says, I like my new painting better, but need a break. It's dusk. My eyes don't want to focus in the semi-dark and I'm refusing to turn on the light yet. <laughs> That's fair. I'm Yes, I'm stubborn. Admit it. Doris, if you got the clapper, then you could get mad at it and be like, turn on, and then it'll turn on for you, and then so, you can be stubborn and have your light. I don't know how well you guys can see this on the camera, but it did come out really thick and clumpy. I added some water and just vigorously stirred it, and now it's back to a soft, creamy paint. Thanks. I'm going to practice on this little piece from Cedar Center. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Jody with the super chat says, growing up, Turtles were a symbol of luckiness. I like turtles. I have all kinds of turtle. Uh, we have one right there. <laughs> I have a real turtle, a uh, tortoise, and I have all kinds of uh, turtle and tortoise paraphernalia all over the house. The unbleached titanium is also really good for if you screw up. Like I got a little bit of uh, the blue onto the horn area, and it's, the opacity of it is amazing for covering up mistakes. I don't like this color. It's like nothing. It's, no, it's also it's thinned like, out a little bit, it's but nothing. okay, then don't use that. I'm not going to use it. It's, it's, it's a no color. I try to put some of it on here, and look, you can't see anything. Alright, I can't do that. I'm sorry. Um, okay, what you got then? You you painted the edge, but you painted over what should have been uh, a curl of hair. Yeah. But the good news is, if you use this now, it'll cover that up because it'll. Oh, cover, did you I, get I, more I brown? Just talking about how the titanium. Yeah. No, but I the top has like a film over it, but I shoved my paintbrush down oh, underneath good, I need it. Some. Do you want me to squirt more on there? Or you just need a no, that's bit. fine. I'll use that. I have to find another color for the background because I don't like it. Okay. Like I said, you can just take your color that you're using and just make it a little bit darker. I think I might go on and come back to the background. Okay, let me see what she used, because I think you used the same background color, and she she gives a list of the colors that she uses, and I have so many, I matched most of them. I think I didn't have the right purple, but... What are we looking for now? We're looking for the shadow colors. Is that what's next? I have to, like, read. Do, would you like a refill? Sure. I have to, like, redo that. Oh, it's so good. Your drink looks so good. <laughs> Don't drink it. Oh, yes, you see something about our pizza. Can I, I wanted to know what was up. Permanent is what you use for this. this bright aqua green. I think that's the one I did. Oh, aqua green. Okay, so you use the color for your background that she used for the swirls. Gotcha. Christina said her pizza's just as good. Aw, oh, boo. What kind did you end up getting? Uh, Brittany has two lamps that have smart plugs, so she just has to press a button on her phone to turn it on and off. Makes this lazy girl happy. Plus helps me wake up when I set it on a timer. That's smart. I just get mad if it gets bright before I'm awake. You do. You start problems. Uh, Brittany has a smart plug that works with ALEXA, so she just says, ALEXA, turn off the living room, and the lights shut off. I forgot to mention I have Hue lights, too. That's fun. My mom, we set up her whole house, um, or like a good portion of her house with lights that she can turn on with the ALEXA. We tried to do it in here, and it it doesn't really work for what we do. I hooked up the green doorbell at her house, and oh when God. you walk up to her front porch, it goes off on one, two, three, four Alexas. And her phone. And her phone. All <laughs> like, like, like the ding whole ding neighborhood ding knows ding somebody ding ding is at her door. You're all the way out into the street and everything. It's, it's great. It's crazy. It's great. Um, we do have one in the bedroom, but... It stopped working and Dan never fixed it. But here's the problem with our house. Our house is small enough that they all start picking up each other's... They don't know who to, like, be in charge. Right. Right? So, like, I'll say something in the bedroom and the one out here will start talking and stuff. And, it got and you can't quite hear it, but you can hear that yeah, it's talking. You got, it got frustrating. Okay, so I think... 
Let me see what she uses for the. Which is getting water. If you hear water running, he's drinking over there. Light blue. Color. Okay, so the one that you use for the background is actually. Are you going to do something here or? Oh, what was I supposed to do? I was supposed to. Um. It goes like this. Oh no, my picture ends here and it okay, comes back. Okay, you on just the have paper. a blue frame around it. Uh -huh. that, that's fair. But I'd rather. That works. I'd rather have. Okay, so. Very lightly, you're going to go in and shade, like, the neck part and stuff. But very, very lightly. And I think I might put a little more white on here just to be able to mix it with some white. You always turn the faucet on, like, full blast for me, which Also, you put way too much water in here. Did I? Go yeah, I'm going yeah, to end up spilling it. Of course I'm like, Splashing it. It only needs to be, like, half or three quarters full, maybe. No, or a quarter full. <laughs> Thanks, Dan. Fraction! Fraction Dan! Okay, so I feel like this blue is going to be too severe. I'm going to add a little bit of it to some white. So I have a lighter blue for shading. And then I'll have some ears too? Sure. Okay, I can sip your, I can sip your painting. That's fine. We'll see how this looks. We can make it darker if we need to, but let's see. So my new TV connects to the ALEXA, and it's like, I don't need to yell at the TV. So I did not hook it up for that. So really lightly, like, you're going to make this motion and just kind of see how it's barely touching on there? I don't know how well you can see that on the But we're not putting like a solid line of color. Like we're not just filling in. We're like very lightly. So you get paint on your brush and then just kind of smash it onto your palette a little bit. So there's paint on your brush, but not like solid clumps of paint on your brush. Okay. And if you want to hit up some spots a little bit darker, you can just dip it in the blue first and then get some of the blue off of there. Okay, like highlights. Okay, okay. I got this. And if it ends up too dark, you can always go over it with a lighter color and just try to blend it a little bit more. There's no wrong way. Nope. Only happy accidents. I'm really happy with this Britney brush. It's like, puts down enough paint that I want. <laughs> this Britney brush? Sorry everybody, I'm trying to concentrate. So up here, you want to kind of see here how it shows like the ear, you know, it's on this side of the head, so it goes down. So you want to kind of create a line with your shading because that's going to be like behind the ear. And that'll kind of give you the impression that the ear goes down a little bit there. <laughs> yeah, Take we talked about how well we share, but we keep going for the palette at the same time now. Take a number, lady. We'll be back to y'all just a second here. I feel like my paint's time sensitive. Oh, your shading is going really well. You like that? Yeah, you did a really good job up here. Thanks. So basically anywhere like the hair lays on the head or the neck, the head like puts a shadow on the neck, that's where you want to do some, some shading. And just kind of come out from where it's 
closest to whatever's causing the shade and lightly brush outward so you're creating a shadow layer. Okay. bottom part of the head is going to have some shadow on it. I can't blend this, but I'm running out of my hand. That's okay. I have too much paint on my brush and I'm creating solid lines. So I got a little too dark here, so I just put some more white on my brush so I can kind of lighten it up a little bit. There's a couple places that I'm going to need to touch up with a color later, but then I just go over that later. I'll uh -huh. just do that. I don't need any more if you're making more. I'm just getting myself a little dot of white because all that white dried out. Uh, Megan just screamed and might have freaked out her neighbors because she saw a snake and is deathly afraid of snakes. Oh my gosh, me too. Oh Are gosh. you outside or was it in your house? I would be terrified if there was a didn't snake your hunk make you? Didn't your hunk forge you a sword from his blacksmithing so you could slay the serpent? <laughs> Right? You're gonna slay the serpent? I think that's how it goes. Don't compare, Dan. We're each our own person. I think I'm done with my highlighting. That's cool. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry if I blew out your eardrums. Just blending some white really lightly over the top of everything just to kind of lighten it back up a little bit. I think I'm happy with my highlighting. Are you? Yeah. I think it's shadows, but go ahead. I did it. I did it. Katie Art says unicorn it is. Dan is so focused. I am kind of focused. I don't know why. It feels good today. I remember today going like, I can't wait to paint. So oh yeah, sorry. I'll pay more attention. I hope everybody's having a good night tonight. I think Griffin has figured out we are moving. Uh, dogs are smart. Pets know what's up. Griffin's the cat. Oh, Griffin? Oh yeah, duh. <laughs> Pets are smart. So, so, what's the next? Are you do? gonna work on your background? I need to take a bathroom break. I, even though I know I just got up a bunch and ate a cookie, and I can't figure out what to do with the background because I want to make these swirls, but they need to go all in one pen stroke, like it looks like on there. They don't when have to. When they I paint, however you want it them to does it look like it? But that's how I want it to look. Here. This one is on me. Okay. But see, like it's like not right. So I don't know what carries enough ink. Are to you do using that. this brush? I was just yeah, a little, round brush will give you a smoother swirl. We'll practice. Okay, you practice. 
Uh, John said, John, Don says, I do enjoy watching you guys paint and seeing the paintings everyone does. Well, thanks. I'm glad. Thanks. That's a lot of fun. Is this right here? This right here on mine? That's this, right? This right here, this right here. Yes. Okay. Yeah, that's your, your background color. Okay. Then I can't do nothing with that. I'll do some light touching up while I talk to while I talk to you. Hello. Dan, just paint G's and sixes for your swirls. I will, but I wanted them to look a certain way, and I didn't want it to be I didn't want it to end up looking like the green on here. I wanted it to, to end up looking more like this little itty bitty swirl that I made right there. Which is what I want it to be. So I'll practice those for a little bit. And I'm gonna have to do it a different color. Maybe like purple or something. But I don't like the Artist Loft brand paint. I like the Liquid Text, I think it says on there. One's better. I, I, or the Basics one's better. I don't like the other one. It's too it's too thin and I don't have the patience for that. Like I can make a stroke, but I can't do the same stroke twice so then it gets sloppy, you know? Sometimes turn your canvas upside down so they all don't go in the same direction. Okay, I'll make sure to do that as well. I'll make sure to do that as well. And then I'll just keep touching this up until Crystal says we can go to the next step. I've been doing well keeping up with her. I think that's it. Wall off, wall off, whatever, whatever it says. Uh, Mouse Queen with the Super Chat. Thank you, Mouse Queen. I posted an update to my art. Can't wait for you all to see it. Okay. I will have Crystal do that here in just a minute. Crystal's looks good. Let's see. Is there any cats doing cat things? Topo's by the door. Kamiko's on the outside of the door. And Precious's tail is just flopping down. Now, the first time I painted with you guys, it kicked my butt. I haven't been able to pick it up again. It kicked my butt, too. A lot of these paintings do kick my butt. Today, for some reason, I feel really good about my painting, Dawn. Uh, but, yeah, they usually kick my butt as well. Is Jess in the live streams anymore? Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh, right now, she's, uh, I don't know where she's camping. She's camping, uh, geez, for a whole week. Can't wait to see the update. Uh, yes, when Crystal gets back, um, we will do that, Dawn. Uh, yes, but Jess is uh, Jess left to go camping uh, this morning. This morning, and you will see those videos uh, the week after next. We're about a week ahead on videos, so you'll see it then. Oh, anyway, so that's what the cats are doing. Let's marvel over my Brett Moore. Yes, I hope all of you are having a great. Uh, Saturday night. Faint, painting's physically hard. Glad it's not just me. Yeah, no. And I suck at it too. I'm happy with this though for right now. We'll see what happens when we get to the to the technical part. But this is the most even paint I've ever distributed on a canvas ever. So <laughs> apparently typing is too. Yo, Dan, one of the podcasts that really is a podcast is going to be. It will be, I think, like thir Thursday or Tuesday, Tuesday of next week. Looks good to me. Thank you, Will. The one that really is a podcast? Yeah. Jess? No. That's the one that really Oh, that is a one. Um, it's so hard in the summertime because Jess isn't back for the CC Mouse one. So I'm trying to pin her down, but she's uh, obviously, as you can see, she's out of town for another week. So it'll probably be a little bit. Kitty Art says, uh, I haven't painted since high school. I love doing digital art. Digital art's good. That is art. Creating is art. Okay. Oh, thank you, Kitty Arts. Maybe we should wait till the end for the... Because are you going to do a black... She... So, for the sake of her tutorial, she did the whole stencil in black. Like what we traced with the carbon paper. She did it in black. So that's why you see all the black here. Like key lines? Yeah. Yeah, see, she's covering it up with her paint for the hair. Um. But I think we'll wait till the end. We can do the black if we want to, and then the eye and the nose. Okay. That sounds good. Okay. So I think it's time to do the hair if you're not going to do your background. This is going to be hard. The hair is going to be hard. 
It's not. You can literally do whatever you want to do. So she started with the, the pinkish magenta color. I have a brilliant magenta and I have a deep magenta. I don't want anything for Artist Loft. I don't know if I have, but we have a base down, so it shouldn't be a big deal. It shouldn't be a problem. But I don't know if I have any like pinks in the, uh, you have to make your own pink because I don't have any pinks in the base. That's okay, I'll use, what's, I'll use what's here. Okay. So I'm gonna try the Brilliant Magenta. Me too. Okay, that's for both of us. Are you going to follow the way that she did it? Yes. Okay. But I, I didn't. Oh, you browned all there. I look. I didn't brown there. You should brown there. Okay. I'll brown there. You keep going. It's actually on bleached titanium, but that, that's dry. Yeah, I'll brown. I'll brown there real quick, and then I'll catch up to you because you can keep on going. Oh wait, hold on. We need to move those two pieces. Is it better? Yes, thank you. Okay, so like across the top, I feel like I want it to be pinker though. How do you make it pinker? And why? Oh, okay. Like I, you I want, want it, it lighter. You want it lighter. That that artist lost the pink one. Is pretty, oh, that is that's, it. That's that's what I'm using. Yeah, but I, I feel like it's a little too dark. This is very goopy pain. Should have just added a little white to it because. Start over. What do you got in your paints? Don't you got paints? I do. This might work. I, I kind of like this. Okay. Do you want to use the straight magenta, or do you like what I'm making here? I want, uh, I don't know. I got some color. Mustard blood came out. This is vermilion. vermilion. I thought you purchased vermilion. You own vermilion. We used that last time when we used the pink, whatever we did, I don't remember what we did pink on. I don't know. The paintings are all stacked up everywhere. They are, huh? Oh my gosh, I need to check to see what the score of the hockey game is. Sweet. Okay. Oh, zero, zero in the second. Nice. No, no. Nope. Who's zero, playing? Zero. The Rangers and the Lightning. If the if the Rangers win, it goes to Game Seven. If the Lightning win, boo, uh, it go they go to the Cup Finals. Yes. So you're hoping for the Rangers to win. Correct. Um, okay. So. Also, I can't forget that you know, thanks, Mouse Queen. Mouse Queen says she's got a next post. Oh. We'll do that real quick since we are kind of waiting on your stuff to dry. Yeah, Although it's, it's almost dry. Here. You can you can start on the the lower and like this part and stuff before you <coughs> do that. Okay. Jasmine says hi guys. Hello, we're painting tonight. Sorry. I'm... Oh, you're fine. It gives me fifteen different damn notifications. I know, huh? I just want the one post. She's starting to color it in. It's hard to see the, the key lines. You can see the, the colored in part really well. Can I see? Oh, Tristan says, you know we're going to win, Dan. Champa Bay. Who said that? Tristan. Oh, my God, girl. Um, Mouse Queen, that's really good. It, like, instantly turns Disney-ish. Inspired. Your stuff's really good. Champa Bay. Chumpa Bay. Oh, Chump of Bay is what I think it is, right? Okay, so... I'm waiting first to see if you even like the coloring. Yeah, I think I like the pink. But I gotta figure out where these lines are. I 
It still may need two coats because it is so light. Um, but having that base coat of the titanium really helped. The unbleached titanium. Yeah. Yeah. So this is hair. You cannot screw this up. Do it in whatever way you want to do it. Um, is this thinner than what you're using? A little bit. That'll work though. Oh, no, that was good. That was good. And because it's hair, you're going to kind of blend the colors together. You're not going to make like solid lines necessarily. So do whatever you want to do here. The next color can kind of cover it up a little bit. And if you're painting this at home, you don't have to do rainbow hair. You can do like all purple hair if you want all purple hair, whatever you want to do. And Tristan says, so many sore losers, yet we just keep winning. <laughs> Well played. Oh. <laughs> did I just bump you? You did. You've been bumping me this whole time, though. So don't sweat it, Dan. One day we should do a remote live stream at Paint a Dream. Paint a dream? What's paint a dream? What, is that where you paint the plates or where you do paint? Yeah, like we could this? paint anything. We could paint plates or we could dip our hand. We could hold hands and dip it in some sort of cast oh stuff. Oh my god. And it comes out, we can paint them. Good. You guys going to the trap? Oh, yeah. Or it's a Poke stuff. You might just be playing Pokemon Go. Gaming hands is 2.30 a.m. I'm out. Sorry, y'all. No Bye, worries. Gaming Thanks for hanging out. We've been at this uh, two and a half hours already. It's been fun. Yeah. I'm glad you're enjoying this one. I felt like you were getting a little burnt out with some of these. I was, but it's been like stopping. five months, six months since we painted. Gotcha. Also, it's a lot easier to sit down and do it like this than standing up and painting. Tried to tell you. So many times I tried to tell you. Uh, hey, Dan. Fat Pharaoh says, I play Pokemon Go on the boulevard every day. You guys should add me. I don't play, but Dan does. On the Lancaster Boulevard? You're walking around the boulevard? I'm kind of new at it. I have my Poke number. It's like a 40 hundred digit number. It's ridiculous. 40 hundred? Yeah. 4,000? But yeah, I could add, like, we could add, we could be pokey friends. I lost the, the design in the base coat.
This is coming along. I think I want a bigger brush. Do you? I'm not sure yet. Okay. The You can use a bigger one, but I would stick with the round one because of the curves that you're doing. It's going to be harder to get that curve with a flat brush. Okay, that makes sense. I feel like I need to be a little wider. Do I need to be a little a little wider on my pinstripes? It's up to you, depending on how you want to do the hair. This is how this looks. It just depends, like, do you want the pink to be wide, or do you want to come in with other colors wide? It's supposed to be, like, orange and reds to yellows and pinks. Yeah, however you want to do it. There's no wrong way to paint a unicorn mane, Dan. Hey, unicorns aren't real, so nobody's going to fact check. But nar narwhals are? Narwhals are real. But unicorns aren't. No. Huh. Weird, huh? Alright. Tell that to the Scottish people, though. Oh, you lo you're lucky. I live close enough to a few Pokestops in a gym. I get to play Pokemon Go in bed. You're so lucky. Um, there's a Pokestop, like, 500 feet further than me being close to it from my house. Like, just long enough that it's a hassle, but it's, like, right there. Right there. I watched Miss Marvel today. It was pretty good. I do want to see that. I do want to see that. requested a bigger brush, but this brush is like, I think it's just all clapped out. It's a little blown out. It might work once you like get it wet and put some paint on it. Okay. How is that going? It's going pretty well. Um, it's a little tricky because I can't see the, the lines, but I'm just kind of making it work. Like the stencil had lines for how the hair falls, mm. where the curls are and whatnot. But, you know, it doesn't really matter. Again, it's, it's unicorn hair. Sam says their job is a Pokestop, and on breaks, they're just trying to gather as many Pokeballs as possible. Mm -hmm. Like I said, we had a Pikachu. We had a Pikachu that lived at the bike shop at the back of the bike shop. Did you catch it every day? No, well, no, I had one. Could you catch the same one every the, day? Here's the problem, and I don't know if you guys are good at this Pokemon Go stuff, but I have like I played in 2016, right when it came out, right. So I have hundreds of Pokemon from 2016. It has like this little like orange tag on it. And I want to delete them all because I don't have any more room to catch new Pokemon. So I looked it up and it's all like, those ones are supposed to be traded to people because they can be shiny or something because they're so old or something. So I don't know what to do with my Pokemon. So I just don't do anything with them. <laughs> and now and now I, have, I don't like have enough room to catch more Pokemon. And that is my pokey problem. Is that your pokey problem? It is. Unicorns are real. There is a goat that was bred with one horn. No way. I guess technically that's a unicorn by definition. So the orange is still a little bit see-through unless you lay it on thick. Are you going over it at all? 
going over what? Mm -hmm. Like a second coat? Is that what you're asking? Yeah. Maybe um, we're going over the pink. Um, a little bit, just depending on how I feel like the the hair needs to flow. You definitely don't want to have a gap in between, and you know it's hair, so you can have little wispy bits where it doesn't, you know, it's not creating a solid line. Uh, Wilton says, I transferred all but the highest evolution of each Pokemon I had. I just can't keep them all, and I do not want to pay any actual cash to get more storage. Yeah, me neither, so... I can delete them, You but... bought something with real money, because we were doing our budget for last month, and there was some sort of Poke Charge. What'd you get? I upgraded my bag, because I thought that was going to help, and then I realized that, like... You wasted your money? That didn't help. Unicorns did exist, but they are rhinos instead. I'll take it. I almost feel like we should have made this orange lighter too. Just to kind of be in the same color family with the pink. I'm getting to the part where I'm not liking this. I don't like the hair. I don't like how I'm laying the colors on. I don't like any of it. Oh, well, what are you going to do about it? Like, wish for more talent? Well, wish in one hand, Dan. Or, you know, just practice a lot. Well, it doesn't help me right this second. No. Aw, are you getting huffy puffy? Yeah, a little bit. Narwhals are the unicorn of the sea. Uh, Sarah said, I finished my picture! Dot to dot to dot to dot to dot! Good job! Did you post it in the group so we can see? So change it. I would like the orange to be a little lighter. How do you do that? I'll show you, Dan. Same way I made the magenta lighter. I feel like it's a little too severe of a color. This is not what I want. I'll figure it out, but this is not, that is not what I want. How do I control Z and undo? Paint over it. Acrylics are great for that. Now, Teresa says, honestly, I can't even do a straight line good. Oh, Practice? I don't know if practicing helps you with that. Dan's not really good at straight lines. Uh, my brother Jason, I painted with him. He's not the best at straight lines either. Just, just work with it. Some of it is technique, but some people just, like, don't have a steady enough hand to make a straight line. One thing that I do is I'll hold the paintbrush, you know, like how you hold a pencil here and then put your your pinky finger down so it steadies your hand and just move your fingers like this if you move your whole hand like this it's harder to make a straight line but holding your hand steady and moving your fingers makes it a little bit easier out. I don't know what that means yeah, I think this might be a little bit more on the color palette of what we wanted here Uh, Sam says the national animal of Scotland is the unicorn, so they must be real. She learned that from Dantix, because I did. But Wilton says I do the pinky thing, too. Yeah, if you see, um, like, pinstripers will do that sort of thing. Uh, sometimes people will have, like, they'll hold some sort of stick like this to be able to hold, like, their fingers onto it. But anything that'll steady your hand so you're just moving your fingers and not your whole hand along well, it. I don't have no pinky. You do not. I can't help you there if you don't have a pinky. Oh, this is much better. This is the right color palette. That orange was too red and too severe to go with that pink.
Uh, maybe hold the brush and move the painting? That might be a little tricky. You could try it. I like that. That's only something Bruce would say. Who's Brittany? I don't think I've seen Chris and Amanda tonight. I think they're living their real life. Mousepin says he's coming alive! It's alive! So you guys can see, I painted that dark orange and I didn't like it and it just painted right over it. You can't even tell. It gives it a little bit of a darker base than it'll have in the other spots. Mm -hmm. going for? Uh, I'm not sure yet. Regrouping. Okay, I did make a different orange, so that may help with how the color's looking for you. I can't help you with how you're laying it on there, though. feeling the brush? I got water on here from the brush. Oh jeez. I think I'll probably mix all my colors and make them a little more pastel-y. Uh, Jody with the super chat. Thank you so much, friend. It says, Hi, I've Jody. made some vegan chicken nugs. Mmm. What, uh, what brand? What are you vegan into? Vegan nugs. Um, I'm not vegan, but I'm vegetarian. So I eat lots of uh, vegan items because that's like, they make things vegetarian and then just go ahead and make them vegan so they appeal to a wider audience. So I'm interested in uh, what brand you're eating. Can I see the picture again of like the, the organic one? Oh, they're adding more colors on top of colors on top of colors. Yes. And I think this might even be different. Sometimes she'll do multiple versions and then I notice the pictures are different, can I see a different throughout. Yeah, can I see another picture of that? Can I go down more? No, that's not good. No. No. I don't know what you're looking for. No, okay, now go back up. There's one that I like. I want to take a picture. I'm going to try to copy it. That's it. I think there's more. There has to be more. There we go. Uh, All the way up to the top. Maybe that will go, keep going up to the top one. Hmm. It was one that had like spot colors on there. Can I look real quick? You can. I will read some super chats. Yes, please. Thank um. You. Anyway, Jody also said I have a pencil once owned by Shakespeare. Oh wow! Thanks to the cat, it's so chewed up. I can't tell if it's to be or not to be. Oh, you ah. got me. You got me. Oh, dang. <laughs> I'm Shut. like, wow, that pencil lasted a long time. How do you know it was owned by Shakespeare? That's you got great. Me good. Who said that? Uh, that was from Jody. Thank you so much, Jody. That was really good. Jody from uh, Hawaii, I believe. And we were talking to her yesterday. Oh night. yes. Mm -hmm. uh, spelled like Huey, but pronounced Hoi. Hoi. If I'm not mistaken. Correct. Uh, Mouse with the super chat has posted an update that just needs approval. I gotcha. Christina Sidios with the super chat, no message, but thank you so much for the support, friend. Thank I you. It. Happy Saturday night. Okay, I got the one. Uh, Judy, you tried to post something. I don't know if you're watching here, but it says the content's not available, so I can't. It might. It pro that. that usually happens when it's like um, it's private, maybe. Yes. Um, and then I saw Doris says, "I think I hit my painting wall. I posted where I ended up on the Facebook group." It's okay, Doris. It, it I happens. Have, I have tons of unfinished I've, things. Yeah, I've hit oh. many of painting walls. Uh, Sarah with her thousand dot dot to dot. She made Iron Man. Let me see. Oh, dang, that's pretty intricate. Yes, it is. Well, it's got a thousand dots, Dan. Two dots. Um, I'm trying to show you guys these as well as I can, but if you want to see them better, the RFS Facebook group is where I'm getting these. Mouse Queen with another update. This good boy finally has his dapper suit. Oh, it's coming alive. Nice. It is. Looking good, friend. 
And then, oh, Doris, I love it. I tried. Yeah, it looks really good. I liked this one more than my first one, but I think I'll have to keep tweaking it this week. It needs more something. Had fun painting with everyone. I love your background. Absolutely love your background. I think that looks really good. Um, I have a hard time with trees. It looks better. Um, it looks better than what we're showing. Yeah, if, if I turn it sideways, you can kind of see the color better. But go check that out on the the Facebook group. I mix these up. Which one were you using? I haven't used red. I'm just sitting over here. Okay. I haven't. I was using this. What is this? Red, red. That's crimson. Whatever looks red, red to you. They all look. That's cadmium, so that's going to be a little more orangey. I thought I had one more red in there, though. Okay, this um, is fun. One thing with the branches, I noticed always, like, from the trunk, go a little bit bigger. The ones you have towards the trunk are almost the same size as the ones at the end, so maybe thicken up the bases a little bit, and that'll make it look a little more realistic. I am no expert at all, but... I think it looks really that's, good. That's where I have a little bit of trouble, though. Yeah, it does look really good. This is one curl coming this way, so this is the end of this. Did you find the picture you wanted? Yes. So what is it you're going to do? Because now you have, like, just I want it to be colors. more like this. Okay. But... Go in with the lighter base colors first. Because it looks like the heavier colors, um, like the purples, are on top. Do I need to paint over this brown again? Over this brown? Where, where the hair is? No, I should cover it. Look, I covered my dark orange with light orange. So you don't want to use, like, pastel-y colors, and you don't want to have it so, like, wispy? Mm. I just don't like the solid straight lines. I want things to fade into each other more, but... I don't know if I own that skill, or I don't understand. Um, so what you can do is you can kind of paint the whole thing, and then go back in and touch up with those colors. Or kind of try to blend them as you go along. Like, it's hard. I went in here, you know, get less paint on your brush, and then just kind of go in here and, and blend them together a little bit. Okay. There's, like, a few different techniques you can get to make that work. Jody, I'm still thinking about your joke. You got me good. Yeah, that was a good one, huh? Yeah. I didn't even see it coming. I pulled a Dan where, like, I didn't read the whole thing. Like, what, 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 what? What, what? Uh, Teresa says, I gotta go in a sec, but I love the live stream. See y'all on Wednesday, Bye. I think. Yes, we will be here Wednesday. Uh, we're doing Name the Movie by the Quote on Wednesday, yes, that, and that's an answer in the chat trivia, so you guys can all play along with us. Ah, uh, Jess is here. Hello, Jess. Hi, Jess. I hope you're having fun camping. We're painting unicorns. Uh, Christina says, still putting a box together for you guys. Any special requests, Crystal, from Hawaii? Dan had none when I asked. He said, surprise, you guys. But I thought I would ask you, too. By the way, Dan, you look adorable when you pout. <laughs> oh, who said that? Uh, that was from... Uh, uh, Christina? Christina, yes. Ah, don't, tell Steve, don't let Steve know that. <laughs> um, Christina, I don't know. I always love unique things. You know, I like to try the bootleg snacks. So if there's things that you know are not, like, mainland items that are unique to Hawaii, I would love to try anything like that. We did um, Google and look. Yes. And it looks like, yeah, I was trying to look like what snacks are unique to Hawaii. And it looks like a lot of it's like from local shops and stuff. So I don't know what's local to you or, you know, how widespread those shops are. But just anything unique. I know you guys are, uh, you know, known for macadamia nuts and stuff. Um, 
I think those are pretty pricey though. So I don't, I don't, I don't honestly know. Caramel stuff. Yeah, you know, just know that I love caramel. I love snacks. So I, I'm always happy with anything different for me to try. And thank you. Yeah, I appreciate it. I feel like I'm just smearing mustard on it. And then I'm going to blend all the colors over it. That'll work. Adora says regarding her painting, my friend took that picture at a lake near here one sunrise. I was trying to do his pick justice. Thanks for the advice, Crystal. I'll play with that tomorrow. Um, I am no good at replicating. I have a picture in my phone right now that I'm like, oh, I really want to paint this. Um, That's neat that it's meaningful. Yes, absolutely. Um, my art teacher friend paints realistic like from photographs, I just don't have that skill. But to be fair, I don't practice that skill. So I'm impressed that you attempted. You did a really great job with the background. The, the colorings blend together really well. I thought it looked great. I didn't say that it didn't. She was just not happy with it. Uh, KK have... wishes it was still light outside there. Like run away. There you go, you got it. Oh, sometimes you gotta get scissors if you can't pluck it out. Um uh, Judy says, can't seem to figure out how to send what I'm working on. Uh are, do you have Facebook? Are you able to Oh, because you're the one that posted that it, it wouldn't show it. Um when you oh, see it's weird because you posted it in the group. I don't really know. But usually when it says it can't be displayed, it's because the, the picture is posted as private. Did you post it on your page, like yourself, your personal Facebook, and then try to share it? If so, then you might have it set to like friends only or something, so then it won't share to a group. You'd have to make that post public. And just somewhere on the post itself, you can click maybe on the three dots or something if that, that's an option. Um, and it'll just say, you know, friends only, public, whatever. You'd have to click on public for that. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I just didn't say any words for the last like 60 seconds. So I feel like I should at least say something. Uh, Jess is camping, trying to get my Starlink to work, but too many. Is that supposed to say trees? <laughs> she said YTs. I don't know. I think she means trees. Oh, Hannah is back. Hello, Hannah. Uh, Melissa, I think, talking to Christina says to send the popcorn with the furikake, furikake, and sesame crackers in it. Ooh. I did see lots of like Asian themed uh, snacks and stuff when I was googling it. Dan does like those like cracker mixes. Those are fun. Uh, just has to go. Uh, enjoy being a wallflower and watching you paint. Good night. Take care and bye for now. Thank See you, you so much for hanging out. Appreciate it. I have to do like a bunch of yellow coats over this top form stuff before I blend it. Actually, it's not too bad. It's working. Doris says, this is one of my first trying to work from a photo. Well, you're doing a pretty good job. If you do end up finishing the painting, if you could post the, the photo and the painting side by side, I'd like to see the comparison. like the worst reflection of wherever our lights are coming from in the paint. Is that, is that always that way on a canvas? Mm -hmm. 
uh, with with the lighting setup that we need for this, yes, absolutely. All right, I think I'm ready for some yellow. He says flat colors are done. Time for the details. Nice. Fun. Hey, Dan. Yeah. Oh, Gina with a tip for you. Uh, sorry if I didn't see it before. Lay down the colors you want, then take a wider dry brush to blend the colors. Uh, the problem with that is we have an air conditioning unit in front of us and a swamp cooler behind and above us. Everything's drying so quickly. It is. I'm going to have a hard time with blending on this. I'll try, um, but yeah, you're right on that. That, one. that is definitely a good tip, oh, but, but thank, yeah, thank we're, you for the we're tip. struggling. I need yellow. Can I use your plate so I don't have to put yellow on there? I'm going to blend yellow with white, but I'll do it up to the side of yours. Careful, Dan. Uh-oh. Oh, no! Do you have an extra paper towel that's wet that you can get that off with? No, I'll go down Yo, Hannah says it looks like tornado weather outside. The air turns like a green color. Hard to describe if you've never seen it. If you know, you know. That is uh, terrifying. Doing, can we just sing? Oh, yeah. Hey, Dan. Yeah. Why do cats make terrible storytellers? Uh, because uh, I don't know why. Because they only have one tail. <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay, yes. Uh, good one, Jody. Tristan says she lived through an F5 in Joplin. That's when we decided to move back to Tampa. That's absolutely reasonable and justified. Tornadoes terrify me. I think that one in Joplin, yeah, that was a really bad one. When you say F5, I remember that happening. shut that off for a bit. Let's see. That's going to be one of the new things. Okay. I have the lighter yellow here if you want to blend that in at all. You're welcome to use it. Thanks. Gina says use a damp brush, not wet. Same results. For when, what? when you're blending, since it's drying so quickly. Uncovering the mistakes. Mistakes were made. Happy accidents, Dan. Happy accidents. Sam says, I love the difference between the two paints. 
like the actual paint or the two paintings. I like to see anytime anybody's ever, you know, posted the pictures of, you know, they've gone and done a paint night or something. It's always neat to see the different interpretations yes. of the same painting. I'm always like, why didn't I think of that? Every time. Oh, I should have done Morgan's that. always, Morgan's looks so amazing because she puts that like dark spin on it, like horror theme kind of thing. But like in their household, there's all kinds of paintings of the girls hunting up there. Yes. Um, I'm so worried about just trying to figure out how to do the mechanics of painting. Like I don't even want to interpret anything. I just want to copy what I see to like learn the thing. Right. Yeah, you're still trying to learn technique. Right, but... so it's really cool to see everybody be so creative. When I'm here barely just trying to copy what it says on, on the internet. Judy says I sent it again. Let me see if it will show up. Um, I don't see yours. I see Dale's. Now this is my attempt at art tonight. Maybe not great, but definitely me. Oh, it looks good, friend. Let me see. Lock my screen. So I'm going to turn it this way. It looks really good. Let's see. The, the lighting's blowing everything out, but it looks good. Oh, Hannah's dad found her Heath bars today. Does that mean you're making amazing, delicious cookies? No, that does look really good. Good job. And Doris, I don't, I don't see yours. No, not Doris. Uh, who was it? Was it Judy? That's right. It was Judy. Try faster, please. Huh? I'm struggling. Libby's cave is here. Sorry I'm late, y'all, but I'm here. Hello, Hi. welcome. Don't Hi. worry, we are still at it. Happy Saturday night, Libby's cave. I would say we're, we're probably a little more than halfway done. We've been at it uh, three hours now. Yes. Well, I've done that before, like a minute ago. A minute ago? And just right now. Fun stuff, Dan. It's hard since we did the underbase and everything's just the same. Like, there's no outline on anything anymore. Yeah, I can kind of faintly see stuff. But I missed the lines, like when I'm going in where that line is supposed to stop. I should just paint the damn horn. Ajuna says, I'm no artist, but I did makeup semi professionally for four years. Same thing, it's just art on the face. I'm sure a lot of the techniques are really similar and, and crossover. All right, I haven't pre read it, Dan. Jody's got a joke specifically for you. She was walking down the street in Hollywood and ran into a celebrity with a mohawk and jewelry. He looked at me and said, I pity the fool. I said, hey, you missed a T. You missed a T or Mr. T? Oh my God. <laughs> okay. Yes, I get it now. Oh, I was Jenny adding the letter T. I give up. Oh. I I was adding the letter T to foot. Fool. I was like, fault. Uh, <laughs> good one. Judy, see if you can post it as a comment to the post about painting. Maybe that'll work. Send it to my email. <laughs> Dan will post it for you. Yeah, email it to me. Uh, Scott
Scott says, my mom fed me alphabet soup as a child and said I really liked it. I didn't like it. She was just putting words in my mouth. <laughs> Shut up. Who said that? Scott. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> that was good. I don't like round brushes. No? Nope. Okay. Nope, I don't like round brushes. You don't have to use it if you don't want to. It's your painting, Dan. I'm never using a round brush again. Uh, Morgan says, I'm definitely no artist. I just have an idea and I go for it and it happens to work. Uh, you are an artist. That That's that's the definition, I think. Like, I, I think of a thing and then I do it and then it, it is a piece of art. You, you are an artist. Don't undersell yourself. Brittany says when there's a background color, I paint the whole canvas the color, then I trace the outline on top. I didn't want to do that for this one specifically because I knew I wanted to use a deeper blue, and I didn't want to have to try to get the white to cover over that. I have no plan of attack yet. I just, I'm so new at painting, I have no plan of attack. Alright, I need to let this like dry for a second here. Are you still going to do stuff in your background? You can work on that. Are you over that? I'm going to pump myself up with doing this part first. Okay. Pump it up, Dan. Yeah, I'm going to look at the picture here and see how they blended it in afterwards. You were so excited in the beginning. It's just, now it's getting to the part where you, it's like skills to pay the bills. But it's hair, you can't really screw it up. I just want it to flow nicely. Like I have a, uh, a an example in my head. Right. So I kind of want it to be that example, but it doesn't always, you know, it doesn't always like work out that way for me. It doesn't Yeah. I try. I do like this flat tip brush better. Yeah. So this orange was that orange. Okay, no, never mind. And Morgan says, as long as you keep your expectations low and don't ever sell yourself, you can never be disappointed, eh? Yep, and neither will anybody else. So I did the yellow and I'm just going back a little bit and putting my hand in the yellow apparently and just kind of blending some orange into it. And okay. I think I'm going to do the same with the pink down into the orange. That way I don't have such solid lines. You can kind of see the yellow through the orange here. Time. Don't forget to stand up and stretch. Yeah, I try to do that about every hour or so, just because otherwise my butt will hurt and I'll get all stiff. Yeah. But thank you for the reminder, friend. softened up that line quite a bit to that I'm happy with how that looks. Did that make you happy? Yes. I fumbled. Did you say fumbled? I did. I set the brush down when I shouldn't have.
And Judy wants to know what your email is so she can just email it to you. It's rfsdan at gmail. Dot com. Dot com. Um, when you want to blend, it also helps to, I think this is kind of what Gina was saying, but I don't know if she was just dry brushing, but the color that you want to blend in, get your brush wetter than you normally would, mm -hmm. not like super wet, but a little bit wetter, and then get the paint on there, and then you can kind of go in like this, and it'll go on a little bit thinner than if your brush wasn't really wet. Okay. That makes sense? Yes. Uh, Mouse Queen with the super chat. An update has been posted. Thank you uh, for the super chat, and I will get to that in just a moment here. Thank you, Mouse Queen. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. Should we be talking? Well, you know, a little I bit. I mean, we're I'm okay. I'm trying here. Me too. I'm just trying to figure out what the heck I'm doing. I just want to eat more cookies, Dan. Can I have another cookie? I really shouldn't. is here and says hi i can finally say hi my chat was not working oh youtube is a fickle beast uh yeah <laughs> hi happy happy what saturday <laughs> you like to trail off a lot on your sentences yeah a little bit you just get distracted by the next thing and then painting fair is it coming out more how you wanted it to Yes, but no. We're like, yeah. I'm trying to blend previous colors because the paint is starting to dry out. So I need to get to the blending before I can't because I mixed all these colors. Right. Yours looks really good. Thanks. Yours is very pastel-y. Yeah, I, I think that's kind of what I'm going for at this point. I, I like the softness of the colors uh, against that real deep turquoise background. Nice. Mine's, uh, mine's very colorful compared to yours. Yes. Your colors are a little more, uh, like, severe. Yes. Not in a bad way, just, like, not soft. Which is what I'm going for. Linda posted her stained glass unicorn, unicorn picture. I will get to that in just a moment. Doris says, thanks for the fun, guys. I'm out for the night. Can't wait to see your finished art. Yes, we will post it. Um, Hi, Doris. Along with everybody else's uh, is on the RFS Family Facebook group, so make sure you check that out. Later tonight or tomorrow, I'll get that posted. The brushes are drying out. Like, not just the paint, but moistness in the brush. Oh, yeah. He's gonna get it wet again. Yeah.
I'm digging. It's, it's blending a little better. I think I'm getting the effect I want. You missy? Yeah, good job. Uh, Esol says, Greetings. Dan, flat brushes are good for large areas of color that you want with little texture. Round is good for taper-like objects, leaves, swirls, branches, and details. See, I should be using a round brush for this, but it's not doing what I want it to do. That's fair. Do what feels comfortable for but you. But I know the, I'm wrong. But the different brushes do have intended purposes. But if you're not comfortable with it, then it's not going to help you be happy with your painting. But I should learn how to, like, do it right. Should schmud. Oh my gosh. Thank you for the advice. <laughs> Thank you, though. The round ones just, like, turn easier they for do. detailed things. All right, Judy sent it. Okay. And I didn't forget about you guys that posted things. I just want to get uh, these colors done before they dry. They're starting to get kind of thick here. Uh, Mouse Queen says, Dan, your unicorn is giving me Rapidash vibes. The Pokemon. Oh, there. It's like a Ponera or something. Ponera? Ponyta? Yeah, there you go. I don't even play Pokemans. I learned a lot of them when Blake played. Or when Blake collected. I don't know if he really played. You guys played Pokemon cards for a while. He would collect them on the Wii. He'd have to log in every day to get the, the daily one. Okay, who was sending me something? Jody? Yes. Uh, Judy. Judy. Jody. And Jody sent you jokes. Jody sent me Mohawk jokes. Send those in the chat. But I did not get anything else from anybody else. I got your Mohawk jokes, but send put those in the chat. Oh my gosh. Judy. Who was supposed to email me? Judy, but I think she's having Jody. technical difficulties. No, Judy Lacey. Yes. Otherwise, send, don't send stuff to me. <laughs> send stuff to the chat. Okay. Uh, Wilton says she is three subscribers away from 790 subs. Nice. She got a lot of new subs since she posted that semi-truck parade. Oh, right. Awesome, and congratulations. If you guys have not checked her out, uh, awesome. Wilton in real life. She's up in the Michigan area, too. I know you guys like uh, Michiganders. Here it comes. Okay. I got your picture now. Judy's? Yes. Hooray, Judy, it worked! Mm -hmm. Oh, I love it! It looks really good. She painted a dragonfly. Dragonfly? Is that a dragonfly? No, because it doesn't have the things to get. Is it a butterfly? It's a but I, I would go with butterfly. Butterfly? Yeah. I was thinking dragonfly because the wings were oh, so really long good. Good out. I love it. And thank you for going to all of that effort to share it with us. Yeah, we I did it. I don't know why it was so difficult. Oh, yeah, I have to go back to my picture. Your reference picture? Mm-hmm. Coming to yourself? Sorry, a little bit. What song were you humming? Was it just made up? No, it was Reading Rainbow. It's Reading Rainbow. 
Is there any rainbow song in my head? Is that alright? I do need to run the rush. And Wilton says she's about an hour west of Jess. I thought you were close by. Because you talk about like the same shopping areas and stuff. I need to go clean Um, Eosol? 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 Is that right? Um, it says there's a previous known painter, Donna Dewberry, that I watched and learned from. Interesting. Is that on YouTube? What are we talking about? Help us out because we all need to learn something here. Uh, Mel Shane wants to know, Hedy, I'm just wondering how were Pokestops created or made for Pokemon Go? Um, there was this other game that came around before Pokemon that was kind of the same style thing. You were like this like detective thing that was like deactivating bombs or whatever. And they would pick like monuments and stuff. If you notice, like a lot of church or Pokemon stops and stuff like that. So, and which they got when they, I think they bought that other like app that already had it all laid out. So I don't know if Nintendo picked them, but a lot of like monuments, cell phone towers, uh, things that are like landmarks and stuff or Pokemon stops, if you notice, um, and and churches. So that's that's how. Yes, Judy said it was a dragonfly. My first instinct was correct. It represents an important part of my life. Well, you did a great job. Wilton, Sarah, subscribe. You're now two subscribers away from 790. Uh, Wilton's videos are, are vlog style. And it's neat It's neat for me to watch them because you guys live a different lifestyle. Like, you got nature. You have a big yard. You have nature. I love it. I love to see... Uh, just what it looks like around where you live. It is very outdoorsy. Yes. It is kind of pointy-ish. A little bit, huh? Tracy subscribed too. You're a one away. Oh, EO Soul says you got my name right. Donna Dewberry was some Channel 9 commercial artist. Think Bob Ross, but less known. Oh, okay, I get it. I've never really done anything. Like I took a I took that thing in, in fourth grade where you have to fold the paper and learn about perspective and draw balls and things like that. Mm -hmm. um, and then I took an art class in junior high and that was it. Other than that, I'm just a creative kind of person that likes to create things. And I may not be terribly good at any of it, but I'm mediocre at all of it. What more can we hope I was for? so excited in junior high for art class and when I took it, I was like not good at it and it was so frustrating to me. Yeah. You just have to practice. If you want to be good at art, just practice. Agreed. You just kind of try different things other than the things you know. Like, you may know this one technique, but just play around with it. I like acrylics because they're very forgiving. I feel like I haven't done thick enough chunks of color and I'm going to run out of... Like, I'm going to be done with the rainbow of colors, and then have more to paint. Golden says 792. Yeah, can we get Wilton to can we Oh get, my gosh, can look we at get you. Can we 800 subscribers? It won't let you close your channel link, huh? No. Just email me your channel link. Email me your channel link, and I'll put it in the chat. Okay, guys, here we go. We have... Uh, Mouse Queen, I almost said your real name, Mouse Queen, can't stop giggling as I'm coloring this guy. I've been dying to nail this particular pose with this character, and he's finally here. Man, you're fast. Good yeah, job. Yeah, you are. It looks so good. Yeah, that's really good. Good job. Um, we have, like, green, green, green. And Linda is doing, um, 
like dark green. Yeah, but like, do you have it in like basics? Yeah. I'm snobby. I'm sorry. <laughs> Look at you. Yeah, like maybe like pale green. Is that it? I don't know if that's going to texturally be okay. That's tired. You don't know. I'm gonna squirt it out. I need like popping green. No. I think that's the one for you. That's basics. Thanks. Why are you put them all over there? I don't know. I don't have enough fingers in my hand. Uh, this is Linda's color by number, but she changed up some of the colors. I love it. I love that you did a unicorn with us. That looks really good. Good job. Good job. Looks amazing. Okay, I need to take a break. Uh, Jody with the super chat. Thank you so much. Says, hey Dan, what do you call a pig that paints? Hating bacon, I don't know. Pincasso. Oh my gosh, I was thinking <laughs> way too hard on that. Good job. We'll email you her channel link. Okay. Dang. Yours looks really, yours looks really good. Thanks, Dan. I don't know what part I was on. Mm -hmm. I was on some I think I might need to add a little bit more yellow. I don't know what I'm, I need. I need to step away for a minute. Is what I need to do. I'm gonna take these so they're not right under the air. You're not using these. No. Okay. Don't want my colors around. Okay. But I need to, like, get a walk around for a minute. Okay. Alright. You can do that. Let's see if there's any cats. Let's see what's going on in cat land. Let's, let's go. Let's go bug the... Let's go bug the cats. Let's, uh... Let's see what these guys are up to. Let's go over here and uh, visit Old Man Beach. Hey, Beach. What's up? Yeah? Oh. You like the fact that Crystal is eating stuff again? I ate a bunch of salad this year before. That makes it okay. So the guy whose cheeseburger wrapper is over here. Oh. Uh, how, how many cheeseburgers did you eat today? That was earlier. Well, how, how many cheeseburgers did you eat? Two. Yeah. That was all the cheaper today. Right? And what else did you eat? Uh, like 10 nuggets. So much. I don't have any cheeseburgers or nuggets for you, dude. And I said, I love that Precious mixed in with your pack so well. Yes, he slipped right in. No problem. Oh, look, here's everybody on the screen. Thank you. 
Give me some snacks. Rich wants a snack. Mooch always, Mooch always wants, Mooch always wants a snack. Oh, let me go turn off the other microphone. Alright. Okay, that's, that's better. Hi everybody, Mooch is a cutie pie, he is. Mooch is a cutie pie. Okay. What was I doing here? Okay, let me grab that thing real quick. And then... There. Wall wall off, that's what it's called. Wall off, wall off, I don't know what it's called. Okay, I gotta figure out this green, but... I think I'm pushing it here. What's up over there, Topo? Let's see what Topo is. What are you two doing over there? There you go. You can get some cat. Some cat love for a minute. What kind of cat would you and Crystal be? Like, probably a cat that lived here, because those cats are spoiled. Those cats are spoiled. What happened to Steve? Uh, he hasn't posted in like three months. Just life. Like, he's around. Like, I talk to him. I, I talk to him literally every day. Uh, but he doesn't always social media, like, like, um, he didn't come from social media, like, he was subscribed to Jess, and then we met him at a convention, he became our friend. So he wasn't, like, a, he wasn't, like, doing this. So then, like, you know, when you hang out with people, like, oh, I'm gonna do it. So, like, he did it for a little while and stuff, but it's hard to keep up on. So he's around, he's doing great. He'll show up in a million dollars butt again soon. He'll show up soon. It's like, everybody's, like, going out in the world again, so he's just not doing his thing. But I talk to Steve every single day. Uh, so, yeah, he's doing great. But if he hasn't posted anything, it's just like nothing's come up. You know, I don't think he's nothing's come up. So okay, the green on the picture of the green of the green. Let's. Kind of swished around on the yellow, but I'm afraid I'm gonna mess this up. If it comes out of the yellow. It does. I want like a, I want like a tippier tip. I have some here, but this brush, this brush bristles are like so long though. I can't get this one out of the wrapper and I already pulled the tip thing off. Oh, I got to go back in, noise. Come out, oh my gosh. Why are you so hard to unsheathe? Ta-da, I did it. I did it. Oh, uh, what's going on back there? Riz is playing and Precious is taking a butt bath. <laughs> uh, the long thin brushes are harder to control. Okay, back they go. Well, I'm gonna air, I'm gonna air paint. You're right, I don't want that. I just don't want, here's what I don't like about painting, like, I don't want the ink to stop. That's the thing, like, I don't want it to stop. That's what I like about markers, that I can keep on going. But, I feel like this one's, this one's all clapped out. I guess it'll do what I want it to do. I'll get it wet, and I'll get it moist, and like, dry it off a little bit. I guess it's a little bit better for the green that I want to do. Let me see if I can see where this green went. Okay. Okay, the cats are being happy. Yeah? We, yeah. Are you switching your camera back? I'll switch my camera back, yeah. Are these for me? Oh, the, <laughs> the snacky treats. Oops, 
If I make the plates. If I make this a little smaller, I can make the cat cam a little bit bigger. There you go. Is that better? You can see the cat's better. Yeah, Mooch is over here doing the old man's doing the old man's stroll for sure. Isn't that cool? That's of you? Yeah. You need to try to fill in more of these colors before I run out of the uh, colors in the rainbow. I had to keep making mine wider and wider and wider. Yes. Because I'm going to run out. That's what I'm kind of doing. How many of you guys have heard of this thing that's going on today? It's I think it's called like Mush Drop or something. And people were creating mushroom themed art and then dropping it in public places and posting on social media clues on where to find it. Did anybody hear about this at all? I heard about it from my friend Nicole. If you guys want to check her out, she makes really awesome art. Uh, let me see if I can find her page. Where is she? Painting Pound Cakes. A good friend of mine I've known for like 20 years and she did some mushroom themed art and dropped it around town. Unfortunately, we were not able to go out and get it, but our other friend Nanda did, I think her family's sick right now, but somebody went out and got it for her. And I saw a handful of my other Instagram friends were doing it as well. Let me, let me see if I have, you guys can check out the hashtag shroom drop. 2022. It's not what I thought it um, was. Game of Shrooms or Game of Shrooms 2022. Those are the hashtags for it. You can see all this awesome mushroom themed art that people made. It's really quite cool. I did not have time to create anything. Although we did have mushroom themed art. It would have been a lot cooler if we hadn't already done the uh, that little mushroom house we did. Remember we did that, Dan? Yeah, that was good. I like we could have we themed that for today. A little orange there is good. We'll get some green going now, I think. Uh, ESOL says acrylic is harder because it's meant to dry quicker. You can add a bit of water to thin it. Be careful, it can become diluted for smoother application and slightly longer work time, or invest in a retarder, which will slow down the drying time. Oh, right. Good advice. Absolutely. Thank you. This one might be good as is. All my paints have crusty, dry bits. Yeah, because it does dry out. Squirting. It does dry out pretty fast. This one kind of fits right into the color palette, I think. Super glad we did the base though, because this green would have taken forever to get solid. Oh yeah, so, yeah. Good, putting, good idea there, Dan. Putting down that base is definitely way better. If you guys missed it, we were using an unbleached titanium as a base coat for some of these lighter colors here. Um, you know, if your canvas is white, you obviously don't have to do it under white. If you're doing dark colors, you don't have to do it. But if you're doing yellows, oranges, this light green, anything like that, it helps it become solid with one or two coats instead of like 15. I painted some, uh, I painted a giraffe for my friend when her kid was young and was struggling so hard with the orange and I could not get it solid. And her mother-in-law actually commented on my, my Facebook post about it and recommended that for me. And I have been using that technique ever since. It works really, really well. My last week adventure says, I'm big on mushroom stuff, working on some projects soon that has to do with mushrooms. Then you should totally check out the hashtag. It could be very inspirational to you. There's lots of really cool stuff on there. I was scrolling through it this morning when Dan was watching racing that I was not very interested in watching. 
and just appreciating all the different kinds of art. Whoa! You sat there and looked at all the times. I was like, look at this and look at that. And you looked. Oh, Dan, there's this thing we women do where you feign interest in things. You know, just to, to make you feel like I'm into the things that you're into. Wait a you, minute. You do it to the things I'm Wait into a minute. as well. Wait a minute. That's the only thing that you're faking. Totally. Okay. As long as we're on the same page. Come on, you don't care about Roger, but you listen to all my stories. You Not only that, you put on the big TV when he's live streaming on Twitch. Yeah, I'm supposed to see it. I can watch it on my phone. Oh, hi. You think I'm not watching it on my phone when you're not around? No. Do you, you're never not around. Do you think... No, I don't think you're watching it on my phone. Sometimes at work I'll put it on, like, just... So he has somebody else watching. Does like, it, I get it. You want people to watch your live streams. Like, oh, I'll pop in and just leave it on for a while. Does it say, like, you have Twitch app on your phone? No, he'll post the link on Facebook and I'll just click the link. He'll send it to your messenger? Yeah, it just slides in my DMs. Look cool like that. I like this green. Are you on green as well? Yes. Nice. Are you happy with it? Uh, Aww. It's, just, it's better than... I don't know. <laughs> it's better than I don't know. <laughs> this is my next start to stiffen up. You should lay on the couch backwards with your butt on the back part, and then your back where the butt part goes, and just lay your head over the end of it, and then hang there, uh, that helps. Yeah? Uh-huh. Purple, purple? Purple, purple, purple. Like dark purple? Um, I have two different varieties, and I, if this one's not good, I have a brand new one of these. I am that one. The lavender? doesn't really go with your colors. What's the two different dark purple? Deep violet? Oh, and then this one's metallic purple. Oh. It's a different shade though. It's like more purpley. It's more of what I wanted. It's not going to be too, watery. it's not going to be really metallic. No, it's but I just want it to be thick. Yeah. Whoa, whoa. That's just how Hurry, it put it up and down. It's coming out. I don't know if that's what I want. I'm going to scribble scrabble on something else real quick. Okay. Are you doing little paintings this time? Um, I have a couple that are here. But I have it. I've been concentrating on this. It's been really keeping my interest this time. Oh, good. <laughs> Morgan says, I've been getting some live tarot readings on TikTok. I love witch talk. Uh-huh. Wh is witch talk a real thing? Wilton says, my back's sore, but I'm not stopping. Yeah, I'm not the most comfortable in this chair. did it again. Oh no, do you need something? No. Wow, yours is starting to look really good. The green really helps. It's like a whole different a good green. shade. It blends with my colors really well. Yeah, good job. Thanks. Is there a toy on or is somebody playing with something? Oh, Rizzo's uh, playing. Rizzo's kind of playing. All the cats are just over there staring outside. They don't actually want to go out there. They just like to look. What are you going to do for your horn? 
the unicorn's horn. I have a, like, gold here that I pulled out. I think I'm gonna use that. Yeah, I'll probably use, like, a gold. Uh, Mouse posted another one for approval. Okay, I will get to you in just a moment. She says, I still plan to improve it, but I think I found a nice pause point. I love how it turned out. Nice. I will get that in just a moment. I want to add some yellow here and just kind of thicken this up a little bit. Oh, Tampa really won, Jess? Gosh darn it. Now the avalanche not what you wanted. has to win. No, I don't want him to win another three in a row. All right, really? What was this? Let me see what the score was. Oh my gosh. Uh, Morgan Shoot said it's like the witchy on. side of TikTok. Spiritual stuff, tarot, spells, manifesting stuff, crystals, things like that. I love it. Um, I was into tarot for a short while. Wasn't really my jam, but I love runestones. I have a really cool set of runestones and a couple of interpretation books. And I'm pretty down for those. Did you figure out your purple? I'm working on it. I don't like this brush. <laughs> Tristan says, guess who's going to the Stanley Cup? Champa Bay. Oh my God, would somebody ban her? Could so anybody? I just can't root for Colorado. All right, Mouse Queen says, I think this might be my final submission for the night. I might add some more of it later, but not sure. Really liking how it turned out. Oh, I love Ooh. that. That purple background yeah, makes that, everything really that pop. That background makes it look really good. Nice job. Good job, Mouse Queen. Again, that is on the RFS Family Facebook group. That really chaps my hide. What does that mean? Tell me what you mean by that name. I don't know, the Pace McCartney commercial people used to say it. Oh, man. Yeah, you, you that upset about it? Yeah, Dad, you fired all your mods, I did. I got Jess here. Modding from the campsite. <laughs> I gotta like hold my breath. Yeah. I can't even tell it's purple, it looks black. Lightened up. You said lighter purple. One of them was kind of. Oh, okay. It's like too dark. It is a little dark. How do I get more of this purple? Lighten it up. Lighten it up. Just add a, a touch of white to it. Put the white on the side, and then use your brush and just add the white to the purple so you don't lighten it too much. Okay. Add the white to the purple? Yeah. Yeah, because you just want to lighten it a little bit. A mouse queen with a super chat. Thank you so much, friend. It says, I dare say, I think the human version would have really liked him too. R.I.P. to the OG. Uh, Absolutely. That's like, that's an awesome homage. I'm sure he would have appreciated it. Thank you, mouse queen. I agree. All 
Alright, I'm lightening up my paint over here. How's that going? What's that? How's that going? Uh, it's getting, it's definitely doing what it said it was going to do. Oh no, but now it's too light! Add more purple! Before you know it, you have 10 pounds of paint. Oh, that green looks so good with those colors. Alinda Roberts is here. Hello. She says, this is awesome, guys. I'm sorry I missed it. You didn't. We're still going. Yeah, we've been here for, what time is it? It is 8 o'clock. <laughs> four hours? We've been at it for four hours. It doesn't feel like it, though. It this this one's like been a fun it. one. I imagine we'll probably go like another hour or so. Are you feeling that? Yes. Megan says, hey y'all, I'm back. Had to finish making a cookie cake. Oh my gosh, cookie cake. That sounds amazing. This live and live chat has been a really nice distraction for my life. Much love for sure. Well, I'm glad we could help and thank you for joining us. Mm -hmm. It's been a fun night. I am a little bit glad that we took a break from it. It was getting a little... I was getting frustrated with my painting ability. And it was nice to take a break and come back to it and come back with a simpler painting. Me too. Now Brittany says, it's just like pancake mix. Too thick, add milk. Now too thin, add mix. Too thick again, then end up making 30 pancakes. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I'm over here making 30 pancakes. I have to keep wetting my brush because the air is just drying it out. Athena says, I really love the RFS family and friends. Well, good. I'm glad. And Me I'm too. glad you're a part of it. We love you guys. You guys do as much for us as we do for you. You give us people to talk to and hang out with. Otherwise, we just have to talk to each other. Oh, I like it. You did good. Lightened it to a good purple. Thanks. If you guys are getting into painting, you can see I have like 40 different tubes of paint. You don't need all that. Primary colors and a little variation off of that. Get yourself an unbleached titanium, a white, a black, a brown, red, yellow, blue, purple. Don't buy them if they're not on sale because they will be on sale eventually. Like monthly? Um, probably. I would say at least once every like quarter of the year they'll go on sale. Um, I will only buy them on sale if I need a specific, or not on sale, if I need a specific color for a specific painting. Otherwise, I just kind of keep a running list of colors I'm running low on. A lot of the ones I have here I got when we worked, um, you worked at the bike shop and I worked at the print shop, same owner, and for Christmas he handed everybody a $100 bill and said, go spend it, you have to spend the whole thing or you don't get to keep anything you bought. You have one hour, go spend it all. And I immediately went to Michael's and just bought a bunch of canvases and paints that I wouldn't have purchased otherwise. That's where I got all the metallics um, and just bulked up my supply of you know what i had just laying around not necessarily things for any particular painting just needing some some additions that i wouldn't have purchased otherwise 
So if you guys have like birthday or Christmas coming, like you have no no ideas of, of what you want, Michael's gift cards are the way to go. Agreed. here. Hello, Amanda. We we're missing you guys. Sarah says, we once had that with cookies. Added too much of an ingredient and ended up with a quadruple batch, if I remember right. Oh no, that's so many cookies. Took us all night to eat them. <laughs> <laughs> At that point, like, take them to a homeless shelter. <laughs> this is too many cookies. How would I do any blending now? Okay, so like, so let's say I painted all these colors. Okay, so I will show you, if you want to wait just a minute for me to finish this bit of green, I'm going to go in and blend with some yellow, and I'll show you how I do it. Sounds good. Well, this has been so fun. I wish I was better at this. We're getting better every time we do it. I mean, I'm having fun, so I don't care about it. Talk, Dan. Huh? Don't forget to talk, Dan. Oh, hi, everybody. <laughs> Had an unhealthy dinner tonight. LOL. Yeah, that's going to be me later, too. And I fire up the air fryer and shake the freezer out into it. The whole freezer? The whole freezer. This sounds healthy. Cat cam died. All right. Thank you so much. Oh, that feels good to stand up for a minute. I'm going to go switch out the battery. GoPro down! <laughs> Uh, Sarah says, I don't remember what we did with them all. I'm sure we gave some away and froze some to keep longer. They were chocolate chip cookies. Nice. Amanda says, I missed hanging out tonight, but also had fun with other friends we'd not seen in a while. That's awesome. It's fun to uh, kind of get back to real life a little bit and hang with people. Lost my walk. Gina has that problem painting on canvas. I can't get the color I want, so by the time I give it up as crap, it's like an inch thick with paint. It happens. I've mentioned it before when we've done the painting live streams. I have a canvas over here that my friend Nanda came over and painted. Uh, I think she might have painted like one for each of her three kids, and this was the last one. She put the kid's name on it and everything, and absolutely hated it and wouldn't even take it home with her, and it's still here. So at some point, I'll probably paint over that. And, uh,. Make something else out of it, but it's pretty thick with paint. She was doing the same thing, just like, I don't like this color, I'm gonna paint with this instead, and then this, and then this, and it was just too many damn layers and it wasn't working. I'm gonna have to go over the green a little bit. Trying to make it thick enough to be dark was making it too thick, so you can kind of see the base coat through it. So I'll go over that again in a bit. Uh, Kitty Cam is back, yes, and completely uninteresting. Those two spend a lot of time over there though, next to the door when it's open, just next to each other, existing in the same space. They do that a lot. They're not, they, they play but they like swipe at each other and then run away or they hide behind things and jump out at each other. 
they don't really like play like if they were siblings and they would like wrestle around and be having fun with it. It's more like gentle fighting, but that's kind of how both of them are anyway. Like if you pet Precious and he doesn't like it anymore, or he doesn't like where you're petting him, he'll grab your hand with both of his hands, he'll chew on you a bit, and then put your hand on his head. Like, no, this is where you're allowed to paint me, or to pet me, not paint. Um, and then Topo's a little feisty too, so you know, they're both still fairly young and feisty and kind of feeling each other out. Amanda says, our paintings look great. Thank you so much, friend. I will show you what's going on here. Mine is more pastel -y colors. And then Dan has more like true colors, I guess you would call it. It's coming together well. Um, you adding the purple to yours did what adding the green to mine did. Just kind of pulled the color scheme together. Okay, so I need to blend a little bit of green into my yellow. So I'll show you like... You blend dark into light? Yeah, it, it works a little bit better that way because you're kind of going over the other color and the yellow is not going to go over the green as well as the green will go over the yellow. I'm going to switch this out. Let me switch you out too. Thank you. Let's go see what the cats are up to. Nothing! Yeah, we were talking about how they like to just hang out in the same space. We can get Topo to look this way. Hi, Topo! Okay. So we switched out the water just so the color of the water won't taint the paint since we're going to get our brush a little bit wet. So get your brush wet and don't dry it as much as you would, but you don't want it like dripping wet. And then just get some of the color on there, but kind of do this thing again. And then you just kind of see how you go over it so then um you know what it's like it's like half tones because the the canvas is textured so it's only going to pick it up on those like top bumpy parts if it's thin and watered down oh, okay. okay so you get that like half tone blend i need to wash this off i need freshies Last week adventure says, hope it's okay to say this, but happy Pride Month. It is absolutely okay. You know we are all a very accepting group here. I actually, uh, we had a conversation about Pride Month and all that that entails last night on the stream because I had on my uh, Proud Ally shirt that kind of opened up that conversation. So do not be afraid to be whoever you are here in uh, the RFS family group. And happy Pride Month to all of you who that applies to and uh, your loved ones and just happy Pride to everybody. I've always thought it would be fun to go to like a pride parade, but, um, you know, me and crowds. So that has not happened in my life, but one day. There's funnel cake in. <laughs> I don't know if you guys heard that Dan said if there's funnel cake, he's in. Hannah says, I came out to my dad today as asexual. I hope that he took it well and was very accepting of you. And if not, uh, we are. And some new colors in there? I don't think so. I think my brush is still just too wet. Yes, if it's too wet, you're not going to get much. It's going to be watery and kind of puddle on there. So what were you doing? You were getting your brush wet. Dry it, but not as much as you normally would. Okay. You want a little more moisture than normal. Get some paint on it, but then wipe the paint off. So you're getting a really light coating of paint onto your brush. 
and then you just kind of go over the lighter color with the darker color where they meet and just kind of feel it out and blend them. And Courtney is here and says, hey everyone, I had the most fun today. What did you do? I need more information and I'm glad you had fun. Thanks for joining us. Good times are good times. What does that even mean? I'm not sure. Kathy is here and said, wow, those look great. Thank you so much. We're trying here. Thanks. I'm having a hard time with blending. It is a little hard with the additional air movement in here with the cooler and the uh, AC unit on. She says, thank you for being an ally to us, LGD, LGT, oh, why did that fumble? LGTB, Crystal. I will possibly be in a parade next month. Awesome. That sounds like a lot of fun. I hope that you vlog it if you do. Linda says, Dan and Crystal, those are so pretty. Thank you. I'm really happy with how it's turning out. I hope that, that you find your happy place with your unicorn, Dan. Me too. I hear lots of uh, emoting over there, so I'm not sure that you're there yet. Me neither. <laughs> it's okay. I think green is all blended. I think I need to find a blue. And I think I'm going to go with a lighter version of this turquoise rather than just using a light blue. Let's see how I can get that to turn out. Are you using this green? Yes, it is. But yeah, it's working. Mm. It's working. I'll put some more green cover up some here. And keep stealing the paints, can I have white? Says, Dan, I can see where you're going. Soften your lines a bit. What is soft? What is the, the blending so you don't have such severe lines between the two? Yeah, um, who said that? Gina. Gina, that's what I want to happen. Like in my head, in my head, it looks like look at in my head, it looks like this. Watch. I, I really liked, I really liked this one, but look how extreme it is, and then I like the top of it. But mine looks like not that. I get it. Mine looks like the skill that I have, which is fun. But it's not quite there. One, two, three, four. Uh, Aunt Courtney says, I went to Metropolis, Illinois for Superman celebration. I got to see Smallville's Tom Welling and Michael Rosenbaum yeah, and met George Newbern from the Superman cartoons. Aunt Courtney. Dude, Aunt, Aunt Courtney, Courtney, screw Superman. Look at, oh, Jesus. Look at me. Look at me. Don't yuck her yum, Dan. You know what you can do with your superhero that's one big cheat code? You can send him right back to wherever he came from. Krypton with Jor-El. And, you know? You know? He has got every power. He's never broke. You never see him ask Batman for like, hey, can you know, spot me at Subway? No. It's just one big cheat code. Do you know he's got laser eyes? Do you know he's got seeing? Do you know he can see he's, through he's walls? He's got what? He's got like, he can see through walls and his eyes also do lasers. Right, I don't know how that works as his eyeballs spin in his head. He can stop a train with his hands if he wants to. We see many people out here on the tracks not be able to do that. He can fly, he can breathe in space. He can do anything he wants to. He's invulnerable. Sounds pretty cool to me. Oh, in, he's just one big in, invulnerable. He's invulnerable. It's like having Game Genie. It's ridiculous. 
Um, I'm glad that you went though. That sounds like an awesome time. Where was it at? But yuck, you're young. <laughs> yeah, no, I just like could you pick some Metropolis, somebody, Illinois. Could you pick somebody oh, like that's got stats in one, that's got like stats in one area? Just cheating. The the guy can never die, unless you get some crypto, some kryptonite. But no one's got kryptonite. Well, except for Lex Luthor. Didn't Krypton blow up? So yeah, like, can but you even get it? shards of it can down. Oh, I see. Just yes. in case they need them for a future storyline. Right. Well, yeah, that'd be, yeah. That's how that's how Lex Luthor was able to like. At one point, Lex Luthor. At one point, Batman wanted to beat the crap out of Superman because Batman's just a human, right? And he got kryptonite. <laughs> And put him in gloves and had these kryptonite gloves and he just beat the crap out of Superman. I like it. Where's your hero now? <laughs> Where who's who said yeah, that? Aunt Courtney. Aunt Courtney, where's your Superman now? <laughs> I had no idea you were so passionate about Superman. I hate him. I get when we used to play Hero Clicks at the comic book store, I used to just give people such a hard time when they played Superman because he had like every power on the dial and it was just, it was ridiculous. But didn't you make us all go on free hero click day so we could get the Superman hero clicks so you could have like 10 of them? Maybe. Maybe. So where's your hate for Superman now? I just, you know, I just pick, I mean, I, I would even respect Batman. <laughs> Batman. But Superman? The guy can do it all, uncancelable. I mean, it's right in the name, Dan. He's super uncancelable. My son agrees on Superman. He's always been a Batman fan. At least I can handle Batman, even though Ben Affleck was Batman at one point. At least I can handle like at least I can handle Batman. I'm a Marvel fan myself. But Superman? Superman. I've never seen him skin his well, I did see him. Check this out. He's so invincible that when I was in sixth grade they killed him. And then they brought him back. Like six months later, they rebooted the series. Well, Batman was there too. I'm, you know, I'm just giving you a hard. I'm just giving you a hard time. I, uh, I'm envious. Scroll up, you missed the super chat. I'm, I'm, I'm super. Uh, envious. Chris is here. Uh, he wants to know if he goes crazy. Will you still call him Superman? <laughs> <laughs> Um, if you guys are too young to understand the reference, it's from a like late '90s, yes. early 2000s song. <laughs> Okay, hold on, hold on. Okay. That good, on. huh? I went on some Superman tiring. They can't even get the movies right. All those Superman movies suck. Suck. Where's your Superman now? So what you're telling me is you watch Superman movies. No, because they then suck. Then how do you know? Because, like, I was so pissed off. I, we drove, like, an hour and a half down to L.A. to go to a Hero Click tournament at a comic book store. And the whole place showed up, and they were hanging out, and they all decided to collectively shut down the store with the people that were inside it, and all go see the new Superman movie. <laughs> and then we got there, so there's that's nobody why there. You Superman? It's just it's just compounding things. Oh, I see. Uh, the Perfecto Thirty Nine with the super chat. Thank you so much. Your Barrett and Barrett. your Barrett and your paintings are beautiful. Yeah, here I'll get a Brett cam. Do we look? Do it's we starting to fall. Brett? It's like the eighteen hour brawl, but it's like the four hour Brett. It's already starting to fall because I'm like, would you call me baby hair? Yes, you have toddler hair. I have toddler hair, so that's hot. Oh, uh, thank you so much for the super chat. I told him he needs to get those little uh, Velcro barrettes. It'll work better. Right. Um, I used to watch uh, Christopher Reeves' Superman. That was my Superman as well. That was that was it. Um, now with the super chat. Out of nowhere, the computer monitor rocks from side to side until suddenly a medium-sized brown blur in a black suit leaps out of the seat out of the screen. Oops. <laughs> is that is that uh? Wait. It came to life? Uh, the picture? Yeah. That's what I'm thinking. Would you Would you be cool with drawing stuff and having it jump out of you? At... No. I would just draw burgers, but I'd have to draw little burgers so I could catch them in my mouth. They'd jump out the screen. Ow, ow. That would be me. Thank you so much for the super chat. Uh, Christopher Reeves is an amazing actor, plus he was a New Jersey kid just like me. I, love, I was a Christopher Reeves fan. I like the Christopher Reeves Superman were fun when I was a kid. They weren't that bad. They weren't as bad as like the Fantastic Four movie when I was a kid, or the Superman, uh, or the uh, what was really bad back then. I guess just like that. The old Spider Man's kind of sucked too. But Christopher Reeves was fine, except for like Superman Five when him and like it was like he saves Richard Pryor. 
for a guy who's got so much to say about Superman, you sure have seen a lot of Superman. I have, like, com I'm nerdy, so I have nerd knowledge. I had nerd knowledge before it was cool in, in movies. Oh, watch I was out. there. I was there when the movies were in the books. Watch out, guys. He's not like other girls. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> Your picture looks really good. Thanks. Alright, I gotta focus then here. Then stop putting my fingers in the paint, I'd be doing a lot better. I gotta focus here. <laughs> Linda says Superman 4 was partly filmed in her city, Milton Keynes. Don't think it was a good thing, though, I'm as sorry. the movie was pretty bad. I'm sorry. I don't even remember what happened in 4. I remember 1 and 2 were good. But by the time I got to 4, I don't even know. I do like doing these paintings on the stream because it pushes me to actually finish a painting. Yeah, yeah, there's like, this is it. Yes. Yeah, clearly, because the I've ones never, that I have not finished on the stream, I've never yeah, gone I'm back to. I'm never touching another one again after this. Or like, I'm not going back to it after this. Meanwhile, everything I've painted on my own in my free time, uh, unfinished. That's because I'm a distraction. You always want to, like, play board games or watch a thing. Or show you sports you clearly don't care about. I pretend like I care. Doesn't that count? It does. Thanks. Yeah, I don't do a lot of uh, crafting things in my free time. We, like, do things together. When you're gone, I try to get projects done because there's no distractions. I did uh, hem some curtains for the bedroom. <laughs> What's distracting about me? Because you're like, I can't clean the house while you're here. Well, you, not you say I can't, but you say it takes longer when I'm here. You do this thing where you act like um, you have to help. And I get that. Like, you feel like I'm cleaning. You should be doing something. But you don't actually know what to do. So then you, kind of, here. you kind of follow me around and you're like, uh, can I help with this? Because I'm used to doing the chores all week long. Like, like, like oh, okay. the day chores. So, like, when you come to do the chores, I don't know what to do, because, like, I don't know what to do. Uh, Kathy says, you should start sewing again. You're good. I would love to. And you know I have a ton of fabric, um, three sewing machines. I know. Who wants to see a sewing stream? Oh, we did one once. We made, we made uh, animals. We, we made. We did. We did hand sewing. Um, I just, honestly, like, we put a lot of time into this, uh, like, planning and and coming up with new streams to like ideas of things that we can do on the streams uh, when we're not doing that we're playing board games so i don't know i just don't do a lot of projects i get into things i'm very add with things I think it's like phases yeah like oh i'm gonna sew and then i buy all the fabric and i sew all the everythings i made aprons for your mom and my brother i made skirts yeah, i made it's purses phases. that's a lot i'd be burned out on sewing i made stuffed that too. animals you sewed for a while i did and then now this is our thing yeah a lot of our free time goes into the streams doing them um, Setting up, taking down, planning. Well, it does. But that's the that's the name of the game. That's just our hobby for right now. It's our gimmick. That's what we do. We do it. This is a spot where there should have been green here. Hannah said I made one of those monsters for my friend for Christmas. Awesome. I love doing uh, handmade gifts. That's a lot of fun for me. When Blake was little, we'd often do uh, little ornaments and stuff that he would make to give out to the family.
over here with some green. It's coming together nicely, Dan. Thanks. Green is so light, it's barely doing anything. Uh, Mouse Queen with a super, super, super chat. Thank you so much, friend. What's up, Mouse Queen? Says, Dan, believe it or not, that's part of the reason why Regis got his gig as the host of Millionaire. His wife was partially the one who got him to take the gig so he wouldn't feel so useless at home. Oh, after he retired from the show. That makes sense. Maybe she was just chat. sick of him. It'd be such a fun gig to do that. I'd have such a good time. That is pretty much your gig, isn't it? I guess it is my gig. Do you have such a good time doing it? I do. You know, I talked about for like 10 years, I talked about wanting to host a, uh, I wanted to do a game show, but it wasn't supposed to look like what it was at Dantix. COVID really made it not what I wanted it to be. Uh, what do you mean by that? Um, I wanted to go out on the street. Right, like Billy on the street? Like, and ask people the questions, and then we were going to pick the what we thought they were going to guess the answer was. Got it. Um, I also wanted that to grow a little bit to where I could talk to three people when they come into our house, and be in on an actual game show where I hosted it. But then we stopped being able to go on the street and having people at our houses? Yes. But I talked about it for years. Um, I just didn't know, like, wanting to host a game show and doing it came with all kinds of back-end stuff. There's lots of planning and setup. I mean, you saw for the first few times we did it, where people took it serious. We didn't really have much in place. We didn't have questions the first time I did it. And then right away, you were like, we need organized questions. Yes. And yeah, then, you did the one all by yourself while I was out of town. And and we watched it. Uh, Terry and I watched that while I was at her house. And it, you know, it was it was a good 1.0. But you know, Yeah, I just turned it on. I just turned on the camera and went for it. But yes, yeah, so we had to come home. We're like, we need questions. Also, like, after the fifth or six weeks, we're like, we can't do four hours. Yeah, we would just go on and on until we were done. We, yeah, we, 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 yeah, we couldn't do four hours. Uh, Mouse in the Super Chat says he'd finish his morning show, then come home with literally nothing to do. And she legit told him, babe, you yeah, need a hobby. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Uh, my last week, Wicked Adventure says, Being autistic, I have a creative brain. Sadly, my hands don't always be able to create what I see. That's my problem, is I can't... I have the same problem. I have the problem, is like, I want it to come out of my head and look a certain way, and it's not gonna. So I have to, like, accept that, you know? Uh, I crochet too, but I'm so slow. I tried crocheting once, I can't do it. I, I, can't, I can't do it. I did it for a while, and I was not very good at it, and got frustrated and was done. I'm happy to make a turtles and I want to learn more animals. I have my eyes on bats next. We should do a fox. I, I like the turtle. Very cute. The turtle's very cute. Uh, Mouse with the super chat. Thank you so much. The two of them were also among those couples in Hollywood with the longest lasting marriage. So yeah, they were around for a long time. Because even before Reed came into our lives when I was a kid, he had already had a whole career back in the black and white days. You know, he was around before color. Was he really? Yeah. What did he do? Oh, he was an entertainer. I only really know of him from, like, Millionaire and that morning show. There's movie. younger stuff and stuff. Um, he might have been news anchory uh, for a while. Mouse uh, Queen, please, Mouse please Queen, is fill, he? fill us in. What did he do? He 
Did you ever post Wilton's link she sent you? I did. The paint looks so good sometimes. Crystal, I just want to eat it. Do not eat the paint, man. hard to pour out just like the tiniest little itty bitty bits of bits of bits of yes, bits. Yes, I leave more paint on the palette than I use all the time. Uh, Dawn says, I'm happy to announce the turtle I posted has already been adopted by my neighbor. That is awesome. Yeah, that's not going to last long. I don't think it was cute. It was really cute. No. Yeah. Keep trying. Mm. Wolfie wants to know if you ate the paint, if you would poop a rainbow. I need to know. Would I? No, it'd be brown. Depends those, on how much and of which color. All those colors just like make brown. Struggling to make a color. Yeah. Yeah, it's not turning the direction I want it to turn into. So how, oh that looks good, Crystal. That's coming along. That's coming along really nice. Thank you. I just have to do purple, and then uh, the black on the face. Oh, and the horn. I have to do the horn too. Uh, Mouse Queen with a super 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 chat. Thank you, friend. I appreciate Mouse the support. Thank you. Uh, he was a page stagehand for NBC and was Joey Bishop's sidekick on his show. He was a sportscaster for a few years before hitting yes, it big with Kathy right. Lee in 1985 locally and then going national in 1988. That's awesome. Right. I did not know all that. Thank you for the super chat. And, oh, he was so big in my house. My mom loved him. I don't know if my mom's still watching. Big Rage's fan. It's not on anymore. No, uh, growing up. Oh. You said I don't know if she's still, oh, she's still watching us now. Yeah, yeah. Gotcha. Thank you for the super chat, Mouse Queen. That looks just like the picture. That's so good. Yeah, the colors are very different. That's so good. Unlike in the pastelis. Uh, isn't there a comp uh, commercial with a unicorn pooping rainbow ice cream? That kind of sounds familiar. Crystal? I'm trying to think. I, I, it sounds familiar, but I can't think of what pro product it would be for. We don't have cable, so we watched like the same 15 commercials it's... for a month, and then they changed to 15 more commercials for the next month. So it may have been a while since that's been on. It sounds familiar.
The mouth of the super chat legit almost called you Reg in my response. <laughs> <laughs> you can. Like, like um, and then I think she tried to say my brain is fried, but she said my brain is friend, which is kind of even funnier. <laughs> I almost called you Reg. is drying out so badly. Yours is? Well, I guess you're not talking about my pain. Well, yeah, no. <laughs> my brain do be fried. I get it, friend. I, I know. How long have we been streaming for? Uh, it is 8.30, so we've been going four and a half hours. I feel good. I feel better than I think I have on any stream other... Uh, yeah, I, by four and a half hours in on other painting streams, I've been done. Like, let's wrap too. this up. I can't do this. Which is weird because it's really hot today. It's, we're down to 85 now. You can probably shut that air conditioner off soon again. Probably soon. Um, I thought we were going to be way too hot and miserable. I think Chris called it rage painting last night. That's right, he did. I, huh? I thought we were going to be rage painting. Uh, Sarah signing off for the night. Have a good night, everyone. Good night. Thank Bye. you for hanging out with us for so long. Don't, don't connect you. the dots in your sleep. <laughs> oh, that'd be horrible. Okay, now I need to make a purple. Oh, I needed to get some... What was I even doing? I was going back to do something. More. I think I a little too much blue here. Oh my god, I took a layer off. Yes! I did it. <laughs> Is that what you wanted to do? I just performed the first successful undo. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Uh, that's what he says. The big miracle for me as of late. Haven't had a dream about the guy in a while. Interesting. I haven't had any dreams lately. I've had lots of dreams where I wake up and like feel tired. It's <laughs> my purple. This one's a little bit thick. I can too much. Uh, fix this and thin it out. Saved it. I brought it back to paint. Did you? I did. Yeah, um, only like a couple of times have I tried to do this and it didn't work. The paint was just too far gone. It's a lie. But in general, just adding it, the tiniest bit of water, a little little extra water on your paintbrush and mix it up in there will revive your thickened, goopy paint. What's that? Nothing. I'm not happy with... I'm not happy with what's... I'm not happy with what's going on here. And I don't know how to blend these colors. Yeah, you've got this weird line line here. Well, because it's supposed to come swishing in. Okay, then this should go up a little bit more. All right. Was that this here? The orange? No. Was it this over here? Yeah, but I mixed it with a bunch. I messed that one up. Gotcha. What was it? What was it? Stock? Is that is that this one? Yeah. Or was it this one? No, that's right.
I feel like I've been working on this mane forever. Oh, I know you guys are cringing watching me do this right now. I don't know how to blend. I think it just has a, I think it just has a bad haircut. <laughs> like sometimes you just get a bad haircut, right? I, I tried to show you how to blend. Get less. Oh, I don't have an answer for that. <laughs> she chimed in. She did. She had something to say about something. Oh. Just like, get the paint on your brush really light. And then just go along that line where they meet. This purple's doing the same thing the green did, where it's so light, I'm gonna have to go back with a second coat. Out there. Uh, Adrian says, Dan, firmly grasp it. Gina says, damp brush, run it between the line that separates the colors. Keep doing it until it fades into one another. With yeah, look, on look at what you did with the green here. You did a good job That's there. a different color. You still have a... Okay. I made a different color for the highlight. Yeah, you still have a solid line there. If you what use, was the advice? If you use the same color, you can blend them. you'll get that kind of like half tone look because you're not laying down a solid line. Now I'm just painting. Just pushing paint? Pushing paint. Adrian says, is there still time for cake? There's always time for cake. Oh, hey, what's up, also, Adrian? hello, friend. Hi, Adrian. Adrian. I hope you're doing well, friend. It's been a minute. Of course my last color would be a difficult one. Is it? Is it being difficult to you? It's it's thin like the green was, so it's not giving me a solid line, so I'm gonna have to go back over it again before I can blend anything. Right. But I was like, my last color, and then it's gonna take forever. says, well, I'm off. I gotta get to bed early because I have another busy day having my 35th birthday party tomorrow, but I won't be 35 until Tuesday. Well, happy early birthday, <laughs> friend. I hope you enjoy your party and your day. Yeah, say hi to Cal for me. <laughs> happy birthday. Thanks for hating out. I just give you a hard You're time. You're a jerk. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you sound like a Superman sympathizer. I just don't see what your problem is with him, Dan. I don't, I don't get it. Adrian says, soon me and a buddy might start recording music. Ooh, All fun. right, that would be cool. Aunt Courtney says, love you, Dan. <laughs> After you talked all that crap, she still loves you. <laughs> She will cry. 
Yeah, I watched this asshole on stream, man. He just bashed the soups. He bashed soups, man! How can he do that? That's my boy! <laughs> they did- they depowered him at one point. He wore, like, all black. He looked like Henry Rollins. He wore, like, all black. Yeah. And they depowered him. It was so- it was so, it was so boring. <laughs> I would rather watch Ar- I would rather read Archie. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Oh, Jughead. The cuck. Um, also, the super chat says, Dan, I just got done comparing What's you to Reach. Yeah, Don't make won? me change the comparison to John McEnroe. Be nice. Or the weakest link bra. I love John McEnroe. <laughs> Also, who won between me and me and Reed? Me and Reed. What if you had to pick? What if me and Reed were hanging out and you had to pick between us two, like to be friends? Like me and Reed don't see eye to eye anymore. Or it's like, I'm like, it's me or him, and he's like, yeah, it's him or me. Like, who would you, <laughs> who would you pick? She's known him longer, Nan, so yeah, but don't her, be offended if she doesn't pick Mouse you. Masculine and I are closer. She has to pick me, right? Right? I mean... By what standard? Like, that like... You're gonna cry if she doesn't? I mean, I, I, I can defend myself and he can't. So it's, that's not fair. Oh, she says, sorry Mohawk boy, Reach and I got history. Dang. She called you Mohawk boy. Dang, I just, I just got, like, schooled. Just got taken down a bit. Dang. I'm sitting in the back seat. Please call him Mohawk Boy from now on. Yeah, you like that? Yeah. I like the, the condescension. <laughs> <laughs> She says, that's my final answer. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. Oh my. <laughs> Dang. One of my favorite things, Dan, is when people just have your number. Oh yeah, because that's just fun for me. There's no, no, no. Nothing it's better fun than, for me. There's nothing better than that. Let's lampoon Dan, and after we're done, we'll throw him some love apples. Right? Yeah. Yara Bug says, oh snaps! <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Who's taking the cups this year? The Avs or Lightning? I'm rooting for the Avs. I, anybody but the Lightning. Um, after my Penguins were out, I was really rooting for the Edmonton Oilers. They were a lot of fun to watch. But they imploded, and the Rangers lost tonight. So, uh, Avs all the way. Anything but the Lightning. Anything but the Lightning. Damn, you hear that, Tristan? Them's fighting words. <laughs> Deidre says, love to me, dudes. blue here between the purple and green. Oh well. It is what it is.
<laughs> um, I'll screw the super chat. Hands reach a few love apples and takes a few myself. You might want to run, Dano. <laughs> I think Reed and I would be friends. I think he'd be like... He'd be my that, buddy. That's a cute little show you got there, Dan. We should team up and hang out. Alright, I have to let my purple dry for a minute. And Courtney says, well, anyways, now I'm really out. Love the paintings. <laughs> See you Bye. at the next game Have live. Yes, we'll be day. live again on Wednesday night. I need to blend my purple, but... That looks really good. We're, we're getting there. I need to stretch my legs and pee, and then I will come back, blend my purple, paint the horn, and do the black details. Mm -hmm. Oh, my knees are so stiff. Yeah. I haven't had a drink since my last break, so I put water bottle over here. No, I know, and all this air is flying around, so it's all dry. No, these have to, that's not what I want. Oh, yeah, hi, hi, everybody. Hi, hi, hello, hello, Mouse with the Super Chat says, yeah, a, a cute show you got there, Mosley. Oh my gosh, you do have my, you do have my number. Okay, how do I, let's see what the cats are up to. Oh, they haven't moved. They're still hanging out there. They'll probably want some food soon. I did feed them right, right before this. Ugh. I don't like that. Where's the yellow? I need to cover this up. Where's the real? Where's the real yellow at? I need a cover. I need a cover up. Some of this over here. Good night, everybody. Good night, uh, Amanda. Have a good week. I'm not good at blending things. I just want the yellow back. The yellow's back. Back again. What am I gonna do tomorrow? I probably won't talk at all. I think I talked enough. I think I talked enough today. That was supposed to be Regis's thought about your show. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Cute show you got there, Mosey. I think he'd be happy. He would happy. He'd be happy. Mine's and I posted it to the group. Awesome. When Crystal gets back, um, I'd love to see it. I'm no good at blending. I should just stop. I should just stop. Oh, there is still paint, because now it's on my hand. Oops. Wow, look at that. Good job there, uh... Good job there, Precious. Nice cleaning, nice cleaning skills you, you got there. Well, I hope everybody's having a good night. There's still 40 people here. Oh, nice. I hope uh, everybody's doing well. I hope we're entertaining enough. I really love the paint plates. They're so pretty. This is almost done out of frustration. Now this is turning brown. I should just stop. Stop painting, Dan. Stop painting. I don't even know what's happening now. I got some of the yellow into the blue and it turned green. That was so cool. I'm ruining it. 
Uh, this kitty cam footage is PG-13. I know, right? All right, all right, all right. It's still there in the corner. <laughs> oh my gosh. What is what is my life? This is what happens in my house at eight, five, nine o'clock at night. Is it nine o'clock or is it eight o'clock? It's nine or five, six, seven, eight, nine. Who's been here for the full five hours? Who's been here since we started five hours ago? <laughs> Hannah says, uh, Hannah has. Ask me, says, I have, you have, huh? I've been here, oh my gosh. Have you, any, has anybody eat, like, consumed a meal since then? Because I'm hungry. Ready to paint it gold. I can't figure this part out. I can't. I can't figure the top out over here. You know, I think I'm just done with this part. I'm ready to go on to the next part because this is awful. Dang, a lot of you people have been here the whole time. We had out dinner about an hour into it. I've been here a couple, two, three hours. Nice. Thank you. Hi. Thank you, everybody, for being here. Look, I'm starting to look kind of worn out, huh? We're getting close to done. I'm done. You say everybody was hung out the whole time. We've been at this for quite a while. I'm frustrated. I think I'm done with my... I think I'm done messing done with, the hair. with the hair, just about. I need to get back into my purple just a little bit. Soul says blending is a hard technique, especially between vibrant colors, and I think you've done great. Thank you. I think I just need more lesson time at it, like, in understanding it better. Just practice. I've painted with a lot of different people, and a lot of people have trouble with the blending, and really just practicing, just feeling what the paint does, and then it's one of those things that just clicks, and you're like, oh, that's, that's how it's done. Shut off the air conditioner yet? Oh, 50% background noise. Okay. There's only 50% background noise now. Hmm. Uh, I forgot Bolton posted it to the group. What you need, Bolton? Uh, um, Towel, a little bit wet towel. I've got purple on my white. Everything looks so good until I got to the hair. Like the shading's good. good and stuff. That's not terrible. Um, why do you have a blue spot here though? I don't know what that was supposed to be. Um, I noticed you followed the, she, like three different pictures yeah, different. the tutorial had a few different versions of the painting. Like it's a tutorial, but you can tell that she paints it multiple times and posts different versions of it. And some of them had like, this wasn't solid hair. Oh, I just saw a whole spot. I forgot in the middle of this curl. I need to do blue and purple there.
What are you doing? Dancing? I'm standing up and stretching my legs. <laughs> trying to figure out what color to put on this background. Oh yeah, are you still adding to your background? I don't know. My confidence is down a little now after after this last wave of hair painting. Aww. It was looking so well too. And then it's then I ran out of talent. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Walton says, I really like your pastel hair. Thank you. I wasn't really planning to do pastel at all, but then once I did that pink, it kind of needed to be. It told me what it wanted. Good I'm job. excited to see yours, Walton. Yeah, it's in the group. Is I was it? supposed to tell you about it. Oh. Looks good. That's how I wanted mine to look. Sorry, I pressed one too many buttons and it went away. See how it's kind of like correct? There's no incorrect. I really like the shading on the unicorn. That's what I'm saying. It's like correct. And the horn looks really good too. I like that you did the white highlights. I'm gonna take from that, I think. I don't know if I'll do white. See how she did white highlights on the horn? Um, I'm going to do my, my horn gold, so I don't know if I'm going to do white for the highlights. Oh, damn, there's another spot there. I was, like, too eager to be done. I'm just going to go in and do the blending, and I'm done with the hair. The hair definitely took a lot longer than I anticipated. Yeah, I had to give up. But, you know, I'm perfectionisting it. Are you going for background now? Once I find the right color, I don't like this purple's not what I want. Uh, maybe I'll do a little darker blue than this. Yeah, you can just add a darker blue to that light blue. I wouldn't, like, usually to darken a color, you'd add a black. But I wouldn't do that with the blue because I think it's going to make it gray and muddy. I would just take, like, a darker blue. This is a darker blue? Yeah, and add that to your light blue. There's a, here, look. No, look. I think I want it just, just. Oh, just the straight maybe. color? Ew, maybe. Why ew? Because it came more spitting Easy out. on the cerulean, that's I my know. favorite. It came spitting out. The paintbrush is getting a little uh, blown out. Is it? ESL says, Wilton, that looks amazing. Yeah, she did a good job. It does look really good, Wilton. Wilton always has awesome. She was the, the one that surprised me the most. Like, you're way too skilled to be painting with the rest of us, friend. Like, you can actually paint. <laughs> you put me to shame. So I saw, uh, while I was taking a break, Nichols paintings all got found. Mm -hmm. She did, if you guys missed us talking about it earlier, it was a uh, shroom drop. Uh, there's a handful of different hashtags you can go check out. Uh, let's see. Let's see if any of hers are uh, safe for work. So this was one of the, the paintings that she did for shroom drop. Just anything that was mushroom themed. Uh, you guys can check out hashtag shroom drop, hashtag game of shrooms. Uh, what was the other one? She did some other hashtags on here. Some of hers are definitely not safe for work. Just a uh, heads up. Uh, shroom drop 2022, game of shrooms, game of shrooms 2022. Um, it was like mushroom themed art, like just uh, the thing where people put art out in public for somebody to go find. Urban arting. Is that what it's called? Um, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> it fits. It definitely works. Um, but it was really cool. And you guys should check out those hashtags and check out some mushroom art. But all of hers got found, and that's neat. And I went through the hashtag and saw some other people all excited at the stuff they found.
Well, and says, I don't feel like I am. And I only just started painting on canvas when we did the cool cats painting. I just painted ceramics and colored my drawings with colored pencils until then. Well, you do a really good job. I, I hope that you are impressed with your work. I know, like, nobody ever thinks they're as good as other people think they are. Uh, but you've got a good eye for color. And you've, you've got skill as far as, um, like, ability to you know, lay the paint down well and blend well and all that stuff and and see good color schemes. You really impressed me and, and put me to shame with your uh, kawaii sweets. That was the one that I really liked, the, the color scheme you came up with for that. Okay, back to purple. To fill all the spots. Are you making them squared? Not rounded? Yeah. I can't see what I want it to be. One says, I had a lot of high school and college art classes that taught me all that kind of stuff. Well, it's stuck, and, and you're good. I liked your owls, too. She posted them, if you guys missed them, in the RFS fam group. She bought some, or found, I think you found them at somebody's house that they purchased or something, and repainted the owls, and they looked really good. I loved that, the color scheme and the highlighting that you did, and the, oh, I don't remember what you said they were, like iridescent or something, paints. Looks really good. What are you doing? Arting? Trying to figure out which way is supposed to go. Uh, Lily CK says, I was here at the start of the stream, then I finished my pear, the fruit painting, then I took a break to eat a meal. Yeah, we haven't even done that yet. I know, huh? I stopped, I uh, grabbed some pasta salad. Thanks for it turned out really good this stuck time. Stuck around. Thank you so much. I want to draw like a pen line, but none of these do like a pen line. Do use a pencil. How did in would she make that fat on hers the background? Um, probably lots of paint and just one fluid motion. Do you want a pencil? I have pencils right over here. No thanks. Uh, the background's not going to do what I want it to. I don't have the skills to make it look like how I want it to look like. No. ESL says, I might have to paint along next time y'all are live with another project like this. My fingers are itching to be crafty, but I'm avoiding coding, so no craft fun right now. Yeah, we were doing these once a month for a while, and then we took a little bit of a break. We tried out some other new shows and stuff, but um, it's it, fun to do these it, about once a month. It's very uh, energy draining. Yes, when we're done here, we are done. Like, it's hard to continuously entertain and talk and, and also to paint for well, so many hours. To do it consistently. This is fine. Like, I'm happy today. But to do it, like, all the time, it was just too hard. Yeah, we just need a little break from it. Um, but if you're interested in checking out where we get our designs from, it is stepbystepppainting.net. There is a link posted on the RFS family group. This amazing um, artist has come up with all these templates that you can print out so we just printed this unicorn and then we used carbon paper to transfer it although you know if you're good at freehand and you can just do that too this one actually does have like a step-by-step -step tutorial for how to draw it if you're just going to draw it by hand but i am no good at drawing by hand i'm pretty decent at painting cannot get what's in my head onto paper what are you doing? I'm trying to get some headphones out. Oh, you're like thumping around on the ground. Oh, damn, you're like the whole ass purple. What was 
that noise. <laughs> Doris is back. She says your unicorns are awesome. Thank, Thank you. you. Doris. Shaky. I have to wait until you're done. Sorry, I'm like two inches away from being able to do this. Oh, that's what she said. Thank you, Tristan, for the reminder. If you guys haven't already, please hit the thumbs up if you like what you're seeing. It helps with our algorithmy bits. And uh, I don't know what else it does, but it does stuff and things. Oh, I just saw a whole nother spot I forgot to paint purple. trying to find? Like a pen? A marker? Like a sharpie? Or like a pen? Like a sharpie. Oh, you're so shaky. Doris wants to know if the cats have moved since she left. Uh, no, probably not. They look a little closer together. Oh, I think Topo is using Precious for a pillow. He's at the rear of the other screen. What's that? He's at the rear of the other screen. Still can't hear you. He's at the rear of the other screen. Ow, toes! How did you manage to smash my toes? <laughs> oh, look at them. It's almost like they're snuggling, you guys. They're buddies. They're being buddier every day. Yes. They're getting buddier by the day. I'm really liking the colors here. Paintbrush is dying a bit. The Precious was PG-13 for a bit. Oh, oh, it's a clean in his bits. Yeah. Oh, what are you doing? This is my side. Were you? Did you just bonk my head with your no, head? No, you bonked my head with your head. What a calamity. <laughs> okay, so... This is the line. I want to do the horn. Okay. What color do I need for that? What color do you want to do the horn? I am going to do this metallic gold. I hope it's metallic -y enough. Are you using this blue? No. Calamity Jane. I know, right? It's Calamity Crystal. You did and it. And this says I'm making Hot Pockets. Which kind? Is that crispy, crusty, tender, flaky crust? Don't they all, Dan? Please tell me it's not ham. You. Ham oh, pepperoni, good job. Does the whole stick get it? I think the hair is done. Like, it covers up all the cerulean. All the what? The color underneath. Yeah, 
Yeah, see how I filled mine in a little bit more? You did. It was kind of gappy. I don't like this paintbrush. But I don't like. Yeah, my... and then she goes in oh, with a is. marker and kind of outlines, but she only outlined like some of them. Um, are we golding? I think we're golding. I had tater tots in the air fryer. Yummy. Ooh, that sounds good. Cool. I need to switch paintbrushes because the one I've been using, I like the size of it, but it was failing me a bit. Kind of getting blown out at the end. Wilton says, I used a brush to outline mine carefully. Uh, Dan likes Sharpie. I, if I go over anything, it will probably be with, uh, with paint. Oh yeah, that gold is good. Didn't go on thick. Put it on thick, Dan. Ooh. You can always do a second coat if you need to. I'm sure I will, but yeah, that helps me put it on thick. It's gold. It's very gold. All right, this will be fun when it's dry. Yeah, sorry, we're painting. Hold on. <laughs> uh, ESL says I would probably cheat with a sharpie too. Yeah, Dan. Dan that's not cheating. Likes that's it. like old school. <laughs> it's easier to get an even coat for sure. Yes, that's the skill levels easier. Dale says in hot pockets. Uh, my favorite is meatballs and mozzarella. Second fave after that is one they don't seem to make anymore. Chicken, cheddar, and broccoli. Haven't seen that one in a while. I haven't had a Hot Pocket in a long time. No, I think it's been years since we've had them in the house. Blake never asks for them because he says they always have them at his mom's. They don't really have any good vegetarian ones, so... It's not really a thing I, I remember I, for a while there I got down on them when they were new because there was nothing really like it. All right, it's a, uh, it's gold. I'm liking that. Dry faster, so I can go ahead and uh, gold it up again. Um, if it looks too thick and lumpy, if you let it dry just for a few minutes and then go back over it, you can kind of even it out a little bit. You may still need a second coat, but you'll be able to even it. To paint on my face. But it'll also give you like I'm getting thicker edges like the paints what well, was the advice right before that i'm sorry i already forgot um let it dry for a couple minutes and then go back over it and you can kind of even it out if it looks lumpy okay this yours is a little thinner than mine already yeah and then i'll <laughs> thicken it up again people are liking the philly cheesesteak and doris says it's multimedia painting if you're using a sharpie yeah that sounds even fancier see like you didn't just paint dan you did some multimedia art that sounds fancy I can't believe we've been at this for over five hours. And that you guys are hanging out so long. I know, huh? This is crazy. I hope everybody's having a good night. I hope we hope we're entertaining enough. I don't know if the cats are still doing nothing. Yeah, we checked in on, on them a second ago. They're just uh, laying there. The barbecue pop pockets are good too. Yeah, it's been a while. It's just been a while. It's been a while. Oh, it's Kitty. Did you guys see her on the camera at all? 
No, I don't think the cameras are aimed that way. She she was in Blake's room when she came out. Back to our bedroom. Mel Shane says, on the website it says you can add glitter in your painting. Are you going to add glitter on your unicorn? I don't even know if we have glitter in this house. Nah. We have glitter in the paint. Yeah, this is a, a metallic gold. I'd be afraid to do it because then there would just be glitter everywhere. <laughs> just everywhere. It never goes away. There goes a cool guy. Now we'll listen to the next mile and a half that he drives. At five miles an hour. It's probably a Honda Civic. Sometimes I think that, and then I look out there and it's a Honda Civic. Hmm. Like one of those old school hatchback ones. Yeah. Liquid gold. Yeah, I'm glad I dug this out because this looks really good on here. A mouse going with a super chat. Thank you so much for the support, friend. We really appreciate you. That's she great. says, Dan, you guys are awesome. Dan, for all the guff I give you, please know I appreciate you. And among the living, you're a big fave. Thank you. Among the living. Hold on. She had to qualify that. Hold on, Mouse Queen. So you're telling me, thank you for the support, <laughs> that among the living, like, I'm like in your top ten, but when we have to combine living and dead, I don't even make the cut. I don't she, even make the cut. I didn't say you didn't make the cut. Do I rank higher than Grumpy Cat? <laughs> I don't know, man. He was pretty cool. She? I think Grumpy Cat was a she. I still can't wrap my head around this background. I'm, I I don't want to I don't want to like mess it up. I know what I want. I know. I know what I want it to be in the background, but it might not get a background. It might be like a Dan special where it doesn't get a background. I don't think I'm doing a background. I like it just solid. If it doesn't come off, you can touch it up. That's what I was doing. I just went straight to the touch up. Fair enough. Right. Dan, you're still top 10 either way. Don't ruin it for yourself. Holds another love apple. I'll take it. Thank you. I'll take the top 10. Thank you, Austin. I'll take it. I'm glad you showed up tonight, Mouse Queen. Yeah, it's been a long time since we've seen you. You've been, like, living your real life, and while we're happy for you that you're doing that, we've all missed you. I think we last time you popped in, we mentioned it. People ask about you a lot if you don't show up for the, the trivia things. You're like, where's Mouse Queen tonight? They do. Coming down to the home stretch, Dan. Are you doing it? Yeah, yeah we've just got to uh, do some black outline after this, or like whatever degree of black you want to do. I don't know if I'm going to do maybe on the ears to distinguish that bit, and obviously the eye and the nose, but I don't know if I'm going to outline everything. Hmm. You just want to be done, huh? No, 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 no. No, not at all. I'm happy. No, I'm fine. I'm, I'm good. I just don't feel like maybe it needs it. Right. No, I'm, I'm good to go still. I'm having a good time. Okay. 
Ill. Mel says, you read my regular comment just as I clicked enter on the super chat. Oh, well, thank you for the support and the super chat and, and for just being a part of thank our you, community. Masking. More layers of uh, gold. I'll do another just layer, too. Just a little too. touch up on it. What you doing? Back to the hair? I was touching up some of this blue. Uh -huh. It's a big back and forth of the background bled into the picture, then it bled back into the background, then it bled into the picture, and then it... Until you have a really thick layer around the, the edge of your unicorn where it meets the background where you've touched up both ways. But I like that thick paint look. Otherwise it doesn't look like a painting to me. Fair enough. Uh, Ashley O'Dwyer says hello from Ottawa, Canada. Hi, hello Ashley. from Southern California. We're almost done painting our unicorns. We'll be going a, a little bit longer. We, we might actually make it till 10 o'clock. Six hours. Dang. It's been a long time since we've done such How a long How do we stream. have like such this energy right this time? I don't know. You gotta get under it? No, that might Wait, be Mine's too... over here anyway. Yeah, you're Oops. just using some other paint. I'm just using some other person's paint. Do you have any chalk or watercolor pencils in the house? You can draw on what you want to do on the background and paint on top of that. We do not. That's why I was suggesting a uh, just a pencil. We don't have anything like that in the house. But that's a good suggestion. Wilton says it's better if you don't outline it at all. When you don't, it's called implied line, and it's more visually appealing. Wilton, what was for dinner? Dropping the information. What was for dinner, Walton? Mouse Queen's thinking about whipping up some chicken nuggies. Ooh. And uh, Hannah says Hot Pocket hit the spot. Okay, I think I gotta go back to this one. I'm a little scared about this line because I can't really see it very well. You can do it. Oh, what a mess. What? Just my photo. Or my paint my photo. My paint on my paint photo. Oh, we got chicken barbecue sauce. We had chicken with barbecue sauce, chicken garlic rice with hamburger in it. Alright, that sounds good. You can tell I'm getting hungry when I ask other people what they had. Yes. Like type it to me slowly, Wilton. I need to know Pervert. what you ate. <laughs> Burger. <laughs> Oh, I said pervert, not burger. Oh. <laughs> I like burger. <laughs> you better. might be hungry. Mouse Queen said, uh, you might have to fight Reach for those nuggets, though. Dodges the jumpy trainer at my side. Dodges the jumpy terrier at my side. He's still here. Fair enough. You and Reach can enjoy nuggets. I'll stand between you, Reach, and nuggets. Ashley had spaghetti for her cousin's birthday. Mm, spaghetti. Spaghetti sounds good. You holding your wrist? Um, for steadiness. No, not that like not for like a fatigue thing or anything at all. Just like holding it, trying to get super steady since I don't have some like all the skills. So what's up? What part are you working on right now? It's the black. The, just the few little black lines I wanted to put on there. So 
I don't think... I almost feel like this ear needs a little something, but... I think I might be about done. some pink here because I feel like one spot needs a little bit of pink. Topo and Precious look like they're having a conversation about something serious. Let's look at them up close. They're very interested in something outside. I feel like the yellow up against the white wasn't really working for me, so I'm putting a little strand of pink hair in here. Uh, Walton says, it looks great, and so does Dan's. Thank you. Uh, Mouse with the Super Chat says, LOL. No, I meant that I might have to fight for them. I'm having another mouth of feed. Having another mouth to feed changes things entirely. Oh my gosh, here too. It's ramped up the food and poops for the cats for sure. For another mouth. Um, Precious is big and likes to eat. Wow, yours looks so good. Thanks, man. Thank you for the Super Chat. I put my hand in the gold. Does it feel? I'm sorry. The mouse queen says, Dan, you kind of stumbled over that comment. Are you okay? I think I'm fatigued. I think I'm fading. I think I hit my wall. Are, are you finally hitting the wall? Can you tell, mouse queen? I mean, you haven't had a cheeseburger in like three hours, so. You know, that could do it, Dan. Oof. I like your idea, Gina. Put a tiny line of pale pink into the other ear. Make it look like you can almost see in the ear. I like that, and I think I'm going to do that. I was looking at it thinking, like, I don't know if I want... Like, that's a severe line, and I don't even know if I like that. And I, I wish I had thought to do a pink before I did the black, because that is pretty severe. A little bit of my pink has not quite dried yet, so I'm using it here to just kind of blend this. I felt like it just needed a, a darker color here against the white, uh, between the white and the yellow. Okay, let's see. Oh, that's a little too much. Digging it. Thank you for that suggestion, Gina. I appreciate that. I'm going to put a little in the other ear, too, so it's got that same kind of vibe. And then I'm going to soften that a bit with some white. <laughs> uh, Mouse says, fair enough, bra. All out of lifelines. Want to walk away? Voices edge with snark. She's like, you know I love you. <laughs> I know. I like that, like, she gets a little sassy and then always backs it up. <laughs> she's 
glasses. I'm getting a bit fatigued myself. I know, me too. That's just really light pink, but that helps add a little bit of depth there without that stark black line. Alright, I just need to touch up this spot where I mashed into the gold in the back on the canvas. Can't believe you guys are still going at it. These darn walls come out of nowhere and get you. Yeah. For Dan, especially if he doesn't eat often enough. I think my gold is dark enough too. I don't need to go back on that. Just a little cleaner line down here. Oh man, my 10 year old self would have loved this in my unicorn decorated bedroom. Did you ask for the unicorn bedroom? I did. I was allowed for, I don't remember if it was my birthday or Christmas, but I was allowed to go through the Sears catalog and pick out any bedroom set that I wanted with like the comforter, the sheets, and the curtains. And I picked that lavender unicorn. I know if you guys didn't have it yourselves, you knew somebody who had it if you were a little girl in like the 90s, late 80s, early 90s. The let me see if I can find it. I'll show you guys. Hannah says, I was planning on watching some intervention before bed, but now probably not. Oh, that still stresses me out. Uh, what was I looking for? Lavender. That's right. It's like midnight back east and still. Sheets. Type in nineties. Nope, that wasn't it. Nineties. Uh, apparently, a set of two rare purple unicorn pillowcase pillow shams by Sears from the nineties goes for seventy five dollars and sixty five cents these days. Still. Yeah, I don't know if anybody's buying it at that price, but that's what it's listed for. Uh, Hannah says, why does it stress you out? Because the whole thing is just, I don't know, it's stressful. Oh, here we go. Someone pinned it to their Pinterest. All right, here is straight from the Sears catalog. The twin bed spread was only $40. I did not have a canopy bed, so I did not have the canopy. Uh, my bedroom was also painted that lovely shade of purple. Right. Yeah, I thought I was so special and grown because I was getting a whole matching set of curtains and sheets and pillowcases and everything. Yeah, that was terrible. It was really terrible. And Gina says, geez, I'm old. There wasn't anything like that when I was a kid. No? I was so excited for that. Jason had blue, like, whatever he had. But, oh, my whole room was lavender. There was a lot. But it sure beat those, uh, day-glow yellow. Well, not day-glow, but, like, fucking oh, so bright yellow blinds that were in my bedroom window growing up that just made it daylight as soon as the sun even started peeking out. Maybe that's why I hate light now, Dan. Hmm. Maybe that's why you have three. PTSD. Maybe that's why you have three uh, sets of curtains to get. Uh, three sets of blackout curtains, Dan. <laughs> we are now up to three sets of blackout curtains in the bedroom. We've had three for a while, but the, I just got a new blackout set for the 
the front layer. I felt like this pink needed a little depth, so here I am back at it again. Hey, Topes. Where's she at? Over here, peeking at me. You want to know where the food's at? Holly says, mine was strawberry shortcake and Care Bear sheets. Mm -hmm. Isol says, all about the multicolored tigers for me. Mouse Pink got into Lisa Frank hardcore, but it was definitely everywhere. Oh my gosh, yes. Lisa Frank everything. Lisa Frank Trapper Keepers. Oh my gosh, Trapper Keepers. Lisa Frank was popular when I was 21. I, you're not that much older than me. Come on. Lisa Frank was popular like when I was in Lisa elementary Lisa Frank school. was like... Yeah, fifth grade, fourth you're grade, not second like in your grade. 60s. Come on. She was popular when you were younger than that. I was obsessed with the stickers. I kept buying them and sticking them all over my first apartment. <laughs> Hannah had Pocahontas. Gina says, I'm a Gen Xer. Best we had was white background with maybe tiny pale flowers. Yes, my last week adventure, the Lisa Frank stuff is back, which I guess uh, then makes this extremely topical. Okay. It is done. Oh, good. Good job. I don't know which. Let me see. Oh. Are you going real picture of it? Nope, nope, that's not it. Oh, there we go. There's my unicorn. That turned out way better than I anticipated. You can hold it out more in front of your face. Good job. Thanks, Dan. Good. good job. I'm happy with it. Are you done? Are you going for mm. more? I don't know what's happening with. I was working on its stick. Do we need to cover faces for focus? There you go. I was working on its stick still. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, I didn't do any highlight bits. I don't know if I, it needs Mine's it. bad news. My stick's bad. It's a horn, Dan. It's like coming apart. <laughs> a little bit. But to be fair, that's. Can we get. That's how the stencil had it. Wait. Yeah. That's how the stencil had no, it. Like, still better she than mine. drew like that's... the lines of a, a triangle and then tried to fill it in with circles. That is not. That is not what's going on here. <laughs> it's that is not what's going on. They're here. laughing at you calling it a, a stick. <laughs> it's it's yeah, whatever it is, it's it's a stick. Oof. It started out so well too. Kathy says it looks like a marshmallow. <laughs> a little bit, know. huh? I might just have to take some blue and make it a horse. Like, <laughs> just cover it all. Like, I might just uh -huh. have to make it a horse. It's not bad, though. Um, her, her hair's a little bit thin over here. She's you got can, that, that fullness that mine has. You can see the skill level. Like, you can, like, see my paint skill. I, I mean, I'm fine. And you have paint on your shirt. <laughs> that should wash out, though, unlike the house paint you got all over your clothes. That's for later. Uh, ESL says, awesome job, Dan. Thank you. To be fair, you just started painting, like, not even a year ago. Like, you've never painted a picture. Oh, I like the highlights. I don't, I'm afraid I'm going to screw it up if I try to do a highlight. Um, Dan has been painting for less than a year. You've done about half a dozen paintings now, yeah? Mm-hmm. And I've been painting a lot longer than that, so I've had a lot more practice. So if you guys just keep at it, you can, it's fun. You can increase I mean, your I don't skill care level if I'm good with every painting. It sucks. There's, there's no highlights. <laughs> I don't even know. I kind of want highlights now. Nothing else has highlights. I don't know why that does. No, but it's like gold and shiny. Oh, I think we're going to say gold and shiny. I'm going to do them really small, though, in case I screw it up. There it is. Here, I'll put my little name on it. I changed my mind. I don't want my name on the front of it. <laughs> Too late. <laughs> I like it. What's that? I like it. I put it. I put it on the front. But I think I want it on the back now. 
Are you going to paint over it? Yeah, I You better wait for it to dry. You're going to smear black I can do whatever I want with this thing and it works. Your highlights look good. Dora says, I went to the Disney World for my 40th birthday and danced with Pooh Bear and had dinner with him. That's awesome. Where's Mooch? He's chilled. He's right here off to the side sleeping. Well, there it is. That's this is mine's done. I don't I don't know where to go. Like you have to walk away, right? I'm walking away. At some from, point you do have to walk from away. the crystals is a unicorn. Mine's a unicorn. <laughs> I added. Uh, we, gotta, we just have to put it in front of our faces. There we go. I added some highlights and I think it worked well. I just did the thinnest little line. Good job. I had a lot of fun. It's not very good. I will sign mine on the back once it's dry and I can flip it over and then tomorrow once it's all the way dry we can take them outside and we will spray them with a sealant so that they uh, last forever. Mouse Queen with another super chat. Thank you so much for the support, friend. You are awesome. <laughs> Thank you. She says, a million dollar effort if I ever saw one. I'm not kidding. Thanks. Thank you. She says, great job for both of you guys. I had a lot of fun. Uh, Hannah says, good job, guys. Perfecto39 says, great colors. Thank you. Uh, Walton says, looks great. Both of them. Thank you. I'm, I'm pretty proud of this one, actually. It I, turned out way better than I expected. Although, can we talk about proportion? Does this thing have a, like, a giraffe neck? It's to be snooty with. Like, the neck is a little long and narrow, am I right? A little like, bit. It, it feels like it should be going out more, but, you know, we're not going to nitpick our giraffe accord. I'm happy with my... <laughs> wonky paintings or they always I like it you whenever i look over at the shelf and i see what it makes me laugh you I have, have, your mushroom one is really good I, that's your mushroom one i think that is your mushroom i did not put white on my mushroom cap oh uh, that one i yours. think i did with my with my finger you did but it looks really good um i have fun making them though so i don't the care. neck is hidden under the mane okay, okay i guess i can buy that see it's throwing me off because i have blue here and blue is my background so it looks like this is not hair but this is hair so okay okay i get it Dawn says they are awesome paintings. I'm low-key jelly. I didn't make this one. There's still time. You guys can print this out mm -hmm. on step by step painting.net. There's a template on there to print. You can uh, follow along and she'll show you how she did it. Some of them are very different. Look look at this one. It has like wispy hair. Like she did different things on this one. I know, huh? Yeah, it, which is kind of misleading and confusing when you try to go through them. Um, great job. Nice work. Love them. Thank, Thank you, you, Athena. I think the back part of the neck is covered by the mane. Yeah. Like I said, the blue just confused me. I should have just done more purple here. And then it would be less confusing in my brain. Mm -hmm. how, how long are we streaming for today? Uh, it is 9.45. We've been at this for 5 hours and 45 minutes. Plus setup. Uh, yeah, minus like 10, so four, 10, 15 minutes. So four day. Uh, not a unicorn fan, but a great job. Uh, yeah, me neither, me, but I, I wanted to do something either. with like fun oh, colors I like unicorns. Shapes. I didn't think she was going to. I like, I like unicorns. All right. Let's eat something. Let's go eat. Yeah, I need food. I know. Me too. Well, thank you everybody for hanging out. I hope you all had fun. I hope this inspires you to be creative. Absolutely. I hope you have a great uh, Saturday night. For some of you, Sunday morning. Oh my gosh. Huh. Ah. I know. After this, we're going to be poop, pooped out. I give it like 10 minutes after this before I'm just like... Psh. So we'll shove yeah, some food I will be in front of us. We'll clean up all the crazy stuff. One more goodbye to the cats. You're, you're left with Precious. Go get foods. Yes, we won't even play any outro music. We'll just say goodnight. So everybody, thank you for being here. Thank you for the support and the encouragement. Thank you for the super chats. Thank you for just hanging out with us tonight. It was a lot of yeah, fun. Yeah, it's been fun hanging out it with was. you guys. It was. It's been a good day. So uh, we'll see you next time here. And have an awesome weekend. Bye, guys. Good night. Bye, everybody. Oh, wait. Look, we have no outro screen because we had to remake the theme. And it just goes <laughs> just, it just, just black screen. It just goes to black. Aww. So let's do this weird thing where I'll stop streaming here. And it's going to pause on some sort of weird frame of face. Oh, like should we not make a stupid face? You know what face? I mean? It doesn't matter. It's just going to pause Can I try on to look it. cute? You can. I'm going to see. If, <laughs> yeah. Ready? So we'll see what face. We'll see what face it gives us. All right. Bye, everybody.